Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup. And guys, we finally got our mods together. It took a little doing and some time and some figuring out. I'm very new at this crap, but uh, yeah, this is it. It's a, it's, a, it's a brand new, beautiful world. And I'm not alone here anymore. This is no longer a solo venture. Hey guys, I want you to meet Timely Crow. Oh, well my, my wave didn't go off. Let's try this. There you go, wave, hello. <laughs> yeah, good to be here. Yeah, uh, we've been friends for a pretty good long time, and uh, it's exciting to finally get to, to go through this together and do all the mods. He's definitely the modder. I, I'm very new to the modding. It was very difficult to get into this. Yeah, uh, pretty amateur myself, but do what you gotta do. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we just loaded up this brand new world. Uh, it's a modded world full of all sorts of crazy things. We're gonna slowly go over the mods as we play today, and I'll, I'll try to break down for you, all you guys watching uh, what we're using here, because there's there's quite a bit, and there's gonna be a giant list in the uh, in the description below. So if you want to check it out down there, go ahead and do that. And if you're excited for this whole adventure, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and stick around, because it's only gonna get more exciting as we get deeper into the game and the mechanics of all these mods. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, guys. Um, I guess I guess we need shelter because everything in this game is gonna be harder. We've buffed uh, we've buffed health and damage. What what else have you buffed? Uh, Timely's running this world for us. Uh, he's hosting it. He's got all the details. So, creatures just they their health skills a little bit, uh, not as much as their damage. I tried to make it so that we're not fighting damage damage sponges, but we uh, but they are gonna hit harder, especially as they level and their levels can get much higher. And um, that comes from the creature level uh, loot control. Um, creature level and loot, control. loot control. There we go. Oh crap! And that, yeah. Uh, you can just you can really buff up how just how uh, much how hard they hit. Um, it gives them little affixes that uh, we can I can go over here that we'll you know we'll, we'll run into. And, uh, but also, I think a really the fun the fun part of this uh, that makes it interesting is as they grow in power, their size increases as well. So eventually, you might see a grayling, possibly the size of a uh, of a troll. Who knows? I'm so excited for that. Actually, like I can't wait to just see a towering creature, like just stumbling toward us. Speaking of creatures, yeah. So even, so even now you can see these graylings are a bit, you know, like usually graylings come up to about your waist sometimes, or maybe up to your shoulders. These are towering above us already. Um, this two star is glowing and it's because it is uh, lightning oh, infused. If it hits us, it will give us the lightning deep or the, the shocked debuff. Um, got not let it hit me, uh, but. Nice. Ladies, Man. This, I feel like you're doing a lot of damage with your fists. I don't think I'm doing as much with my torch. Yeah, yeah and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, it's funny, you know, torches I feel like need to be, I don't know if they're, uh, are they a mace? You know, what, what are they? Because they definitely need to they're like a have, club. uh, like a skill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a club. <laughs> like a club with a tiny, tiny bit of fire damage. I know, that's what it is for me anyway. That's you know. crazy. Uh -oh. Um, oh, and uh, we can, you know, mention this real quick. Uh, when you're modding your game, make sure to back up your game files, mod at your own risk. Not, I've never had a problem with any of these as far as like uh, corrupting my, my my games, but it's it's this is not officially supported by the Valheim devs. So what you're doing is at your own discretion. Um, I, I this is more of like a disclaimer, just so that we don't. You know, if something something goes wrong, uh, it's not the devs' fault, um, and we are just yeah. Same, same with us here. We're, we're just we're here goofing off. Um, the if you look at the mod uh, site, there's usually a pretty good debug. There's some some troubleshooting there that the the, the creator of the mod will go over. Um, uh, but it, it's all it's all pretty intuitive. Um, if you're if you're into modding, you know that that's that's there's there's slight the tiniest risk involved but right yeah um, it was yeah. it was actually really easy for me to get into and this was my first time ever doing anything you know like this i i was an xbox boy before this happened and this modding experience was super easy thanks to all the great like just programs they have out there and like the simple installing mod that i've been using it's all been great all of it's been really great 
yeah that's a that's a good warning i i wouldn't have thought that like i i figure you know just if you're modding you know if you're messing with yeah, mods right. you know you're you're <laughs> messing with the game man like yeah I'm gonna we're gonna run around and grab some like tools so we can get to chopping stuff. I don't want you guys to sit here and watch us punching bushes for a little bit, but uh, when we come back, I'll be build we'll be building up a little base and we'll go over some more of the mods. Okay, so we're wandering out here looking for here it is. We got Ike Thier's summon spot. Uh, one of the awesome mods we're playing with today is called Valheim Legends. Yeah, mm -hmm. Valheim Legends, and uh, Valheim Legends gives you the option to become like a different class like it breaks all the all the characters up a little bit you can actually have like skills and become kind of useful to each other or and like interact with the environment a little more it's really fun yeah and it it's kind of uh these 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 feel like they're so much a part of the game like the developer of the mod did a great job making them feel uh they're not so over the top um if you think that you're going to start up a game and break it by choosing a class uh you'll you'll be quickly corrected you, you still have it adds new skills that you have to level up kind of like you're jumping and running and axe and uh it's it's you're not going to start off as a god you have to it's like it becomes sort of rpg-ish where you have to level these skills by using them yeah i so saw yeah it definitely adds a bunch of different like awesome little spell conjuration and abjuration or something some, something like that <laughs> cool yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and try. You can sacrifice uh, items to the to the what is it the Ike Deer altar here, and it's a bunch of different items. If you want to see the full list of classes and skills, just check out the link below, and you know pop over to Valheim Legends. The full list is on the mod site. But uh, I'm gonna alter up uh alter. <laughs> I'm gonna offer up what some meat, I guess. Yeah. What are you gonna go for? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I've just got some stone. Um, and see that's it's stuff like that. It's so simple. It's that you get it early on. Whoa. All right, it's got some effects here. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> did your uh, what? did your screen just change to like Ike Thier got summoned oh, yeah, in the boss battle? Yeah, yeah. It's it, uh, this is how you know the game lets you know it's like you've chosen, you know. Oh, that's um, awesome. And then Hugan, you should see Hugan pop up and say, "Oh, you've chosen." Yeah, he did. So and so. Um, We're just yeah. gonna skip his conversation for now. Sorry, Hugan. Love you, buddy. All right, I'm gonna up the stone. All right, I've got three new skills: um, sanctify, purge, and heal. Heal sounds pretty uh, straightforward, but I don't know what purge or sanctify do, so I'll have to mess with those. Yeah, I've got shadow wolf and power shot. I'm a ranger. I think I've, I need a. I'm gonna need me a bow, but uh, I'll have to mess with summoning the wolf when we get into trouble. Guys, these these skills are gonna help us survive just a little bit because right now we are naked. Everything is one star, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but everything we've been fighting is infused with an element. Dude, look at this mountainside. Can we climb up here and look? We're still looking for our base spot. But uh, yeah, like you're saying, um, it, when we're when you're seeing uh, us run into enemies, not only can they have stars, like like levels, you know, but those those stars and those levels can be, um, they can have affixes, they can have infusions. So it's a quick quick little list there's not much to them um if it's magenta if it's kind of like a light uh like a bright purple um purplish pink they they move faster they have 40 percent increased move speed so oh that's cool um you won't have to imagine it for long but you know you imagine uh, you're wandering through the black forest and you see a troll and you see it it's magenta um you see that like that it's you know affix is magenta it's gonna be cruising through through the black forest yeah um Red is they just attack more. Their 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 attack speed is up by twenty five percent. They, uh, they try to attack more. They'll circle back for more attacks like three times as fast. Um, so they're just all over you. Um, green, uh, probably you probably guessed this one. It's they they regenerate health, um, and they regenerate more health depending on what level they are. I hate enemies uh, that can that can heal themselves. The fight is yeah, always we already just have to endless. Worry about, yeah, you have to worry about shaman, but like you know, if there's a shaman healing some regenerating enemies anyway, <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Um, cyan is uh, which is like you know, like a lightish blue, a little like you know, light light teal almost. Um, they are just curious. They they want like they'll 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 come from further away to check you out. They're not. That doesn't mean they're necessarily more aggressive, but 
Um, if you see those, you know, like a grayling, um, that's off in the distance. If it's if it's got a lightish cyan color to it, it's going to really be, uh, um, tra you know, like wondering what you're doing. Um, oh, and see, you see hiccups here. He spawned his little shadow wolf. He's got a, you've got a you've got a wolf pup now. Yeah, he's a little itty bitty shadow wolf. I love that he's a little pup. Oh no, a little buddy. Okay. And he's tanking, tanking some hits too. Hey, that's what I summoned him for. Um, what was that? Oh Did you just summon a I hammer? Just, I just summoned, yeah, I just used Sanctify, which I guess summons some. <laughs> oh, I am going to slow mo the hell out of that. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was great. Dude, um, I love these big stone circles. We should set up here. This is a really nice area. It's good. Sorry, did you have more stars? That's a lot of stuff. Oh. Like. Last, yeah, last one is armored. It's, it's If it's a blue, just like a straight blue, they take less damage. They take 66% less damage, and their movement speed is reduced as well. So they become uh, these, like, clunky, lumbering, but hard to kill. And you'll notice it, too. You'll, you'll be wailing on them, and you're like, why is this, you know, this is a, a neck. Like, it's taking one point of damage or something, uh, and that's because it is armored. That's awesome. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the end of, of those. There's there's like element infused. Um, those will be self-explanatory. There'll you know there's your fire, frost, lightning. It's all, all of the elements that are within the game. Um, an enemy can or like anything from a, a deer to a boar to even a boss can be infused with those elements. And that just means they have a chance to uh, you know hit you with that that damage um, yeah. when they're attacking. That's uh, that's intimidating. That's gonna give a lot more use to the potions. I feel like I only ever used potions when I went out to either to the mountain or to the swamp, and that was pretty much it. I didn't really bother. Um, you know, I think I made fire resistance once when I uh, when I fought Yagluth, and I actually just made it recently to go explore the Ashlands. But they're so specific that like, you know, you don't want to just carry one around just in case. I feel like now you're just like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna what what are we gonna fight today? You know? Oh yeah. Oh and um. If you notice this, this the uh, river is a bit more pronounced. It's more there's more space to it. Yeah, um, I like the that. game spawns. Yeah, it spawns these little creeks, but uh, better continents gives you uh, these these rivers that you can almost float a, a carve through. Oh yeah, better continents. I don't think we've mentioned that one yet. Have we mentioned that one? Yeah. Is no. That... And it's it's the reason for this steep. You know, this yeah. steep uh, cliff here. I really like this. And, I want to um, build up there. Like, we should definitely start down here, but eventually we should put a tower or a castle. You know, me and my castles. Or you need to teach me how to build a longhouse, but I digress. Better confidence yeah. is pretty awesome. Um, and just for fun, I'm going to try to uh, sneak up on this deer. I don't know how, how much. Oh, it's let a me try. Deer. I've got shadow. Let me see if I can oh, really sneak it. up. Yeah. Let me see. Well, let me get my stamina oh, back. Okay. You got, a, you got a great dwarf behind you. Oh my there. gosh! <laughs> He's like you're Turn trying to sneak. <laughs> it's like a Pink Panther situation. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me sneak up on this guy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow stock. Oh, the wolf can do it too. What? I have no stamina to attack. Oh, he still doesn't know I'm here. Oh, I can't kill him. Oh no. I'm too wimpy. All of our skills have reset to zero, guys. My axe chopping is no longer in the 70s. Let's see if I can get him. We're going to try some different weapons this time. Oh, yeah, he is regenerating. Attack! There we go. All Hell right. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Ugh. You always have your fists. Oh, my good. gosh. The flock of neck. The 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 gallo of necks. That's grim. The gallo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me I don't see if I can uh You're crazy. I don't want to deal with that. That that's nuts. That's so many. I'm going to try to purge him. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Um also we've got a nice rune stone here. Uh we'll come back to rune stones. They've they've got a with a mod um they have a special something special about them this run. Yeah, All right, have let's see. I added so much stuff. Yeah, go do it. I'm I'm watching. <laughs> what does sanctify do? Oh gosh, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Whatever it was, it wasn't enough. <laughs> oh, we need defenses. It hit, with, it hit them with something, but I don't know what it was. Um, That's hilarious. 
We've got a magenta one. Uh, it's fast. Yeah, it's definitely the, the leader of the pack. It's just zooming along. Oh, crap. Are we going to be able to outrun them and get rid of them? Hop up on a rock. Yeah, yeah. Join me. Jo join me on the cower stone. <laughs> cower stone. Oh, God. All right, guys. We're going to deal with this and hopefully build a little something overnight. <laughs> what the? Did that hit all of them? <laughs> It did. Yeah, oh. just Necta. Now, just it does have a. Uh, it took all of my stamina, and it has like a forty-second cooldown on it. Um, so it's not like I can just go around, insta nuking everything. But um, well, I thought the priest would be more. This is more like a cleric or you know yeah. semi paladinish. No, I hear that. I can actually use the shadow ability, which gives me a cool little run speed buff. But the wolf is still on cooldown. Apparently, the wolf will, I'm assuming, get more powerful as we go. Oh, that was oh, awesome, yeah. though. Yeah, no, that's a good oh crap button, though. Like, you just smash that when we're in trouble like that. That was awesome. We need to make you, like, <laughs> a purifying tower. Uh, yeah, no, this is just the beginning, guys. I doubt, I doubt, and it, you know, that was a neck. You know, I can see great orbs probably taking that a little harder, especially two stars. And, guys, everything is one star. I know we already went over that, but everything is one star. Remember that. Like, this is going to be a tough playthrough. Is that just a heal? At, and yeah, it's at a heal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that pose. I healed you. Um, yeah. At at baseline, that means like there's no level Timber! one. Timber. Timber. They're all. Uh, they're all starting it with one star. Um, and then from there they can go up to. Uh, it says five stars, but I, you know, you you hold me to this. There will be some six and seven star enemies. Oh, good. Um, no, I'm excited. And all right, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's I set do something not up. Like the dark. No, me neither. Let's set not. something up, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there. We'll come back when we've got something built and <laughs> we can go over some more mods and safety. All right, it's finally morning. All right, we're feeling a little safe here. Yeah, much safer. Yeah, I got some more food. health. More health, more food, um, better digs. Timely threw us up a nice little, uh, nice little longhouse here, something to get us by, so we can sleep. I'm excited to get into building. We've got a bunch of different building mods, including what we've got. Uh, you said Valheim Plus has some awesome build options. The yeah, Valheim Plus is more. Uh, it's more of like intricate. Um, you can. You, you can get more intricate with how you rotate things uh, from everything from, you know, the X and Y axis, like those, uh, should I think how to put it? The game baseline has a pretty choppy, like it's like a 45 degree angle on how you can rotate things. But with Valheim Plus, you can get very like one degree changes. Um, but then you can also, cool. you can, you can turn things upside down. You can, uh, um, you can freeze it in place while you're editing it, so it's not, you know, following your cursor the whole time. Um, it gets pretty wild. That's pretty cool. We've also got uh, Build It, which I've got the improved hammer in my inventory for that right here. I'm going to go ahead and build that. Guys, look at the new crafting material just continue to pop up. You get so much with this. Let's go ahead and pull up that Build menu while that's all popping up. Look at all this new stuff, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to get around. Small hearth? I haven't even looked at this yet. Oh, there's candle. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's part of another mod, though, right? Is that candle? That's part of the candles, lanterns, and beeswax? I believe so. Yeah. Well, we do have a mod called candles, lanterns, and beeswax. I'm assuming it adds a bunch of candles, lanterns, and some beeswax so you can make a candle. Beeswax. I'm so excited for that, too. Uh, but yeah, look at all this other stuff. Man, look at all this stuff. Well, I'm going to try We're going to build something here, you know. Hopefully, before the end of the day, we'll have uh, a couple of cool little builds to show you. I'd really love to get this starter place <gasps> built up. Oh, no, the hiccups have returned. <laughs> Do we have any other build mods? Oh, we have, uh, I guess, uh, Valheim Raft should be mentioned, I guess. Valheim Raft is going to be exciting. So it's a raft that you can build on, just like that raft game. And it's going to be really exciting to be able to build a, like a pirate ship or a semi functional mobile base. I mean, we won't really be able to have comfort on it, will we? Can we build stone on it? I it's uh, man, that's something we should check out for sure. Yeah, it's definitely something we'll need to we'll need to experiment with. 
I'm gonna start trying to build um, a bridge over here. We need to get our, we need to get over there to where all the trees are and start getting us a little forest going. Yeah. There's one slightly, uh, one more that is, um, it's called uh, plant everything, and it's not your typical build mod. Um, you know, we're built like you know, usually building is your st structural. But plant everything allows you to place. Uh, you see these tiny little saplings that are hanging around um, these bushes that aren't very oh, yeah. bushes. Um, you can plant those as well, and it's it's you know like you if you wanted a garden, if you wanted um, something beyond the normal uh, you know plant options. Um, that's it's a good mod for that. Um, that's a little bit more flavor to your world. Yeah, I love, over I love jump. stuff like that. There's a level 3, aka a 2 star grayling. Swimming our way. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's <laughs> go to war real quick. Guys, wish us luck. He's so big. Look at him. He's kind of. He's, he's really not that deep in the water. Alright, I'm summoning the wolf yeah. for this. Dude, I love that wolf. This is such a little. I can't even see him. Little buddy. There he is. He appeared. Oh yeah, we got this, no problem actually. Yeah, that went well. Nice. Not so bad. Guys, Not if, so bad. if things keep continuing to be that easy, we may have to turn the difficulty up even more. Yeah, well, remember, that's just a grayling. <laughs> that's true too, that wasn't like a gray dwarf or anything. Am I out of wood already? Yeah. That's good. So it's not really a build mod, but I guess it's it's like on the next, it's on the same page as like plant it. Um, but uh, there's a mod we're gonna use called uh, We Eat, We Want to Eat Rice. We Want to Eat Rice, and I'm super excited for that one. That's a bunch of rice recipes and the ability to to grow rice, which is I think just a favorite of everyone's. You know, like if some something about being in games and being able to grow rice, really uh, really charming. Yeah, I like the water. I think you do. I think you have to get it like kind of slightly submerged in the water too, so that'll help out being around here, living around here. A little rice patty. Cool. Yes, absolutely. A uh, couple of couple of UI mods, guys. Let me show you what I've got going on in my inventory real quick. I'll let I'll let time like keep building there. Yeah, build that bridge. Do it. Build the bridge. Uh, so we've got multicraft. Uh, multicraft is pretty awesome. It's gonna let us just, you know, you know, you don't have to sit here and just hit craft and craft one item at a time. We can actually increase how many we're gonna craft with the little, little number toggle down here. That's super nice. Um, what else do we have? Um, a lot of the benches. Oh, that's a totally different mod I'm getting into. There's a recycle mod at the workbenches. Let me go see if I can show that tab off. Yeah, so we've got this recycle uh, tab, which we're gonna be able to use that to like break down. Uh, pieces. Oh, look at that! You can actually break down deer trophy into hard antlers already. Like that's a. Uh, that uh, that is part of a uh, epic loot. Um, oh, that's part of epic loot. Yeah, and that's what's that, that's uh, it's going to be for enchanting. Oh, uh, all right. Deer antlers and things like that can be used for enchanting materials, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that's awesome! All right, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Then we'll come back to epic loot. Uh, yeah. guys, I've got a equipment and quick slot mod here. Uh, we're going to be able to equip our armor in our own little slots out here. You know, you're actually wearing it. It's not in your backpack, so that'll be nice. Um, and you get a couple of extra quick slots down here. I've got a trash inventory item slot over here just to get rid of items that we don't want anymore because uh, that happens occasionally. Look at my little wolf. He's still following me around. So those are all pretty fun. Simple recycling and trash items. I probably... Would have loved, actually. There were a few items in the main game that I was just like, this needs to go now. <laughs> yeah, I think I see, like, if I, you know, if you look at any of the forums uh, or just f uh, fan discussion, people are always asking for a way to, uh, something that's within the game, an easy way to get rid of stuff. Um, you can always, you know, just throw it on the ground away from a, a crafting bench and it'll disappear eventually, but it takes a while. Just, it takes a long while, yeah. which is nice. You know, you like you don't want to drop stuff and know and be afraid that it's it's gonna disappear. Um, but uh, what other mods can we talk about while we got time here? Um, 
I guess uh, we could go ahead and get some of the... We've got some nice little enhancements and, and framework things going on. And I don't really know much uh, like what to say about those other than they're just going to help the game play more smoothly, look nicer. Yeah. Am I on the right track with that? Or... Are you talking about like Valheim Lib and... Yeah, Valheim or... Lib and we've got what the... Uh, um, where'd it go? The extended item data framework and that kind of thing. Yeah, and all that is really just to... It, it allows most of these mods to run. Um, without them, we just couldn't... It, it, uh, so any any time that the game... You know, you're, you're wanting to play with beeswax, uh, you wanted to play with items that just aren't in the base game, um, these build on top of the game's engine and say, you know, hey, like, you, you recognize that this is, this is a thing. Uh, a funny thing that would happen, kind of like with Raft, you know, whenever we were testing it out, if I have the mod installed, you're in my game, but you don't have it, you'll just see, like, nothing floating in air. Right, um, yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Right. So and we have a few like that, little. too. There's, uh, what is there? Uh, we've got, sorry, guys, I'm actually reading through the list right now. We've got Jotun Lib for the library and the Jotun Valheim library itself, the Hook Gen Patcher. And again, all these are down in the description below, guys. You can go and check it all out at your own leisure and just see what we're using. Yeah. And you'll you'll notice that whenever you're trying to install these, any, any mod, um, they'll tell you, hey, like, hey, you need this to, to run, like, you, this is a required to run um, the mod that you're trying to install, so you're most likely you're not going to install something uh, blind, um, and, and, you know, and be like, why isn't this working? Because the game will tell you. Yeah, they are all very well, uh, they, they all keep up with that really well. The mod community is really awesome. Coming into it brand new, I was really just like, it made everything super easy. Everybody communicates really well, and everything is like, yeah, you need this to run this, make sure you've got that. They all work together. It's it's a pretty tight community. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm running up and down hill. We do have a mod for um, slope combat fix, you know, when you're, when you're just trying to look up at an enemy coming down above you, and now I can actually, see, look at this, we can actually attack things above us as long as we're looking at it. We've got a nice combat fix. It's a subtle thing. That's probably something I would have wanted. It, it does, especially when I, like, I like to farm locks. I fight locks all day, and uh, sometimes they do that, like, big smash attack, and they'll chunk out the ground right in front of me, and it does. It lowers you a little bit. And this, this, this that slope fix, I mean, I would recommend it even it's it's this is just me like doing some troubleshooting real quick don't no you're pay good. No attention I'm, to the I'm, man behind I'm, the thing. <laughs> i'm here to help uh, i want to get it yeah we can get this it's gonna work being able to hit an enemy or best believe or even like being able to point your cursor down and chop wood that's directly below you like like, oh, like, yes. like a stand in this river it's it's just so nice i i would recommend it for just a, a even a vanilla playthrough personally but that's that's use at your own discretion you know no that is super that is super nice actually it's gonna make things a lot easier a lot of i don't know just a lot of there's just a there have been a few moments in combat that it does it really surprises me and it really just kind of aggravates or it's just like really like i am swinging and my axe is like literally going through your avatar like yeah. you should be taking damage yeah and like just i guess just to clarify my uh like if i ever sound frustrated with the base game uh I know that you know we wouldn't have these mods or any of this without the uh, without the devs. So it's it's uh, game development is hard. <laughs> and, oh yeah, no uh, doubt. I'm not I'm not going to pretend that I know better than the uh, you know the developers are actively working. I'm sure that they. Um, oh, by the way, you know, um, like you know, cheers for Hearth and Home uh, coming out soon. Yeah, that's going to be really yeah. awesome. I'm excited to see what it does with the shields and stuff and the food. Mostly the food. I'm really excited to get more food and, and onions. Like, that's why I'm excited for we want to eat rice, but, like, onions is going to be really fun. to see what they what yeah. they do with that. Uh, what else? What other mods we got? We've got, uh, guys, I'm really excited for Jotun backpacks. We're going to be able to make backpacks and actually carry a few more things on us. So, oh, crap, I'm getting attacked. Um, so the backpacks don't, like... Guys, they're not going to, like, you know, make it so that we just have a huge extra inventory. They just, they, they reduce the carry weight that you put in them, um, they reduce the carry weight of the items you put in them by just a small bout, uh, amount, and, uh, and the backpacks themselves, I do believe they weigh something. Um, yeah, 
they reduce your movement speed by fifteen uh, percent. Yeah, so there's 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 drawbacks, but it's gonna be really nice just for longer journeys, for trekking, for building and and carrying build material around. It's gonna be a a nice nice little thing, nice little nice little way to farm materials. And with some of these other mods, we're gonna need a lot of materials for certain things. Like for you said, uh, epic loot. Epic loot is gonna give us a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of like really awesome craftable and like enchanted items. Yeah, so epic loot's fun for that. Um, it, you know, you're you know how you're after you upgrade your capes and you get uh, you, you you've used bone a lot and and that you know you make it to mid to late game and. Um, it, you're like, oh, I don't have any. There's no use for this anymore. There's, you know, bones. Bones just take up space, and and trophies take up space. Uh, this will, you get. We'll show it off, but there'll be an enchanting table where you can disenchant those, uh, and then use those materials, the enchantment materials, to uh, create magical items. Magic, you know, like whether it's. Everything from the hammer and the hoe to your gear to weapons, um, everything is enchantable. Um, and it just adds, this gives more armor, or this weighs less, or this re you know replenishes your stamina faster. Um, it just adds a like a Diablo, if you're familiar with the Diablo series-esque uh, feel to it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's your wolf. Oh, I did not mean to summon the wolf, I meant to sit down. <laughs> no, he's burning you. Oh you, no! You, I'm sorry, no. my buddy. Uh, I guess we need the food right now. It's infinite food, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh Valhalla. my god! I'm so hurt. Did the did the that's what happened? Did the did he break the fire? Or did you? Oh, no. So there was an update um a while ago that uh because people were using fires to um they were creating uh. What do you call it? They were creating ways to farm enemies um, that the enemies would just run into, say, the hearth oh, and yeah. burn alive. And so the devs, uh, if 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 you take damage from a fire, the fire also takes damage, and it'll eventually just you know burn out and disappear. That's awesome. All right. Well, it's getting to be nighttime, guys. We're going to go ahead and just chat about the the rest of the mods we've got going on, and then we're going to go ahead and let that wrap it up, and we'll we'll continue it the next day here. But uh, what else do we have on the list here? We've got, a, we've got so much stuff, actually. Oh, guys, the equip wheel. So check this out. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually don't have a hot bar up in the top left hand corner anymore. We have this nice hop. We have this nice uh, equip wheel now, and the equip wheel is pretty fun. I'm still getting used to it. It kind of reminds me of Conan, uh, Conan Exiles. If you guys haven't played that one, you should check that out too. But that's a, uh, but that's got a, a similar feel. The the hot bar is still there. I can still hit one, two, three, you know, all that stuff to get my stuff out. But uh, the hot bar is very quick, uh, uh, or the wheel is very quick and intuitive. I like it. Yeah. Any for me, any game where there is an option for that wheel. Uh, I think it, it adds a little, um, it's, it's, it's a nice quality of life. It's quicker than what, like one, two, three, four, sometimes five. Um, I know that there are some people who, you know, if you played StarCraft in the early days, you're used to, you know, sliding your hand over and hitting nine and zero and eight and all that. Um, I, I can do that, but having just a button that I press and it brings up everything in a quick, you know, quick flick of the mouse um i think is just way 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 cozier yeah i like it i'm not i'm not very good with the numbers i have died several times with just because of buttons just <laughs> buttons are bad yeah uh what else we have we've got uh oh speaking of the wolf the wolf just died i've got reduced wolf howl guys i don't know if you noticed but near the end of my solo run here i, I actually stopped filming a lot of my intros at my main base just because i bred wolves once and they don't shut up Wolves just continuously yell and howl constantly, so I, I wanted that one just just to have less of that this time around, because um, it is constant in the vanilla game. Uh, we've also got uh, speaking of monsters, we've got uh, we've got mount up, which is going to let us mount and ride pretty much every creature from the lox to the boar to the wolf, and. Uh, I may ride a locks in the battle. I do love locks, but mostly I wanted that. You know, me personally, I just wanted that so we could corral them easier. It's really annoying to try and like tame a boar in the wild and somehow t 
tease it back to your base, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that one. Uh, we've also got Lox breeding, because, guys, I, I want to breed Lox. You know me. I love Lox. And, I mean, it, is it... I just... I want to breed Lox. That's it. That's that's it. That was all that was. <laughs> I think that that's, that's, like... I think everyone felt the same, you know, after they tamed a Lox and they noticed that nothing, you know, they just weren't... No, no breeding was happening, and they were confused. I, I know I was, and so... Uh, yeah, I was upset. Actually, I didn't get that far. I only tamed one. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we've also got, uh, sticking with monsters and, and creatures, we've got uh, Monster Labs. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see a couple of interesting creatures in the uh, in the Mistlands and the Ashlands. A couple of new things added into the game that way. But Epic Loot also, is is that mod also responsible for changing some of the, the creatures we've been fighting here? It, uh, that's, I think that, well, whether or not it's the same developer or if they've collaborated, uh, people have noticed, started noticing that Epic Loot, uh, that, that like you know players started downloading epic loot and creature loot uh like creature level and loot control um those just they work really well together um so if you change something in one it usually affects the other uh, so epic loot is uh loot like loot control will determine uh, help determine what loot drops from these epic creatures you know with, with their um, going back to like the Diablo reference, you might see Hiccup or I will kill something. It's gonna drop a like a blue, it'll be a blue beam of light, and that means like, oh, this is this is an un uncommon item. Um, and then uh, it go, you know, it goes up from there. You can get you know epics, legendaries, um, rares, whatever. So uh, there'll be, there'll be some pretty wild stuff on items as as we progress through the game. So much variety. Uh, sticking with that, we've got harder, or hard, hard bosses, not harder bosses. I mean, it is going to make them harder, though. Um, yeah. uh, hard bosses just adds, if I remember correctly, it just adds, like, stages to the boss fight. Like, um, I know Ikethir starts doing, like, a, a crazy charge dashing attack once you get him down to a certain health point. So it's just going to add stages to the boss battle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, which everyone... You know, when you're per personally, when I think like make this boss harder, I don't mean so, you know some some a little bit more damage, sure, a little bit more health, awesome. But what feels more interactive and feels like better gameplay to me is when they do different things. They have they whether whether it's just summoning new enemies or they have a different move, uh, like their movement changes. Um, that's just it's so engaging. So. That's what hard bosses does. Is it, is it as as you beat them down, you lower their health, they start to change their patterns, which is uh, you know way more interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to see what what all the bosses have in store for us now. Um, we also have uh, rune magic, which is going to add a whole bunch of different stuff to the game. Um, it turns all of the standing rune stones in the world into something you can harvest now, I believe, for energy, right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas before, runes just provided bits of lore. Um, now we uh, and we'll we'll show this off a little bit. Where you craft a rune stone and it becomes kind of like its own, like a hammer in a way. Um, but it 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 only crafts whatever magics you pull from those rune stones. Uh, does each rune doesn't each rune in um, each biome give different like abilities or or runes that you can use? I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I know that so far uh, I was only able to to pull. Uh, you know, I, I could summon stones from the ground, and um, they add this really nice animation to it, where the the stone actually pushes up from below the ground into you know onto the surface. It's not like it just snapped into existence. It it feels like you actually are summoning a stone. Um, that's that sounds really small, but you know, imagine you're you have a base and you say you want like a you want a, a nice stone arrangement somewhere. How do you do that without maybe console commands or another mod? I'm not sure. True. But this This'll feels feel more, more natural. Yeah. Yeah, like we're actually collecting something from the world and using its magic, uh, and you know, learning as we go. So that that's really cool. That is gonna be awesome. Uh, what else do we have? There's only a couple more, guys. We've got Better Trader. Better Trader is going to... Uh, I think he offers up just about every item in the game for random prices. I mean, he's just going to add a lot of variety to that trader when he finally comes. 
and possibly some other cool things that we'll get into when we meet him. Oh yeah, and I mean, like, uh, as with you know, without spoiling too much, he also offers bounties. Um, he's going to uh, there's going to be creatures out in the world that we can um, that that he'll say like, hey, if you'll go slay this creature, I'll give you uh, either a token or an item, um, and uh, yeah, that's just pretty cool. Oh, that'll be pretty awesome. Hey, thanks there. Yeah, give me a little. Uh, we've also got any portal, which is, I think, um, I liked my Stargate command I had at my base. I'm a big fan of the Stargate franchise, guys. But uh, I like, and I liked what I had, but like, I think it'll be easier on the computer, easier on the mods, less clutter, just to have um, portals that connect to any other portal, which is going to be nice. We'll be able to just select, if I understand it correctly, just pick one portal from the portal that you're entering and you pick your destination and you can do that from any of them so that's going to be really nice yeah it's so nice you'll see you'll see it uh it adds it's it's one of those little quality of life things where um i i part of me agrees with the devs idea of you know like each each portal needs to um have its own you know sister portal but um yeah after a while you know you, you've played through games you've played through it enough and you're You've got twenty something portals around, and um, you've got like like you said your Stargate command. You know that's yeah, it's, I've got it's, so it's many. nice. Yeah, but um, eventually it's kind of nice to just have like you know your. I I, I also don't disagree with having uh, each portal connecting to each other. Yeah, no, I think it's gonna be. I think it'll be easier on the PCs, and it'll be easier on just the, I don't know. It's it'll be nice. It'll be less clutter, and it, it's it's it'll be that it'll be good. We could always add more if we need it to look like more. I know I forgot. I just found out there were emotes. God, God, how long have I been playing this game? And I just found out there were emotes. I was today years old when I found out. Anyway, um, and I think to finish it up, the last thing we've got is uh, crafty cards, which, guys, this is what we do with, with uh, the build materials already. We, we get the, uh, <laughs> we get the uh, you know, we, we get our workbench or our, our, our uh, stone cutter, and we just, like, move it around with us. Destroy it, move it, build. Destroy it, move it, build. Crafting carts is going to give us, like, actual movable, pick upable carts that have, like, workbenches made into them. So we'll just be able to pull them around and use them, which I'm super excited for. Yeah, you'll start you'll start seeing like what is that? And it, it looks like a crafting bench. It looks like a cart, and it's both. And it applies to the stone cutter. It applies to the regular cart, and I'm not sure there's something else that it applies to. There's there's three crafty carts. Um, so we'll 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 learn those as we go. That's gonna be awesome, man. I think that wraps it up, guys. That's all the mods we've got going. If you've hung out this far, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up and show your support because this series is just getting started. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me timely. This, this adventure is just getting started. It's gonna be so amazing. We're gonna go ahead and just let that wrap up, guys, and we're gonna get to building. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna get something going here, uh, but uh, be sure to stay tuned and check out the next episode because it's uh, it's just getting started. This is, this is barely the beginning. Yeah, good times. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup. This is Timely Crow. You can call him Timely Crow. And we are just starting out on our adventure here in... Uh, in our modded Valheim. We just got started last time, went over all the mods. If you want to check out all the mods, they are listed below in the description, or you can check out the last episode. I'll include a link to that too below in the description. Uh, you can check that out where we just sit down and talk about all of them and why we're excited to have them here. But uh, today we're going to get into building a little bit. Yeah, no, let's do it. I'm excited. Yeah, I want to get this place uh, built up a little bit. We, I love these standing stones. I love starting in these standing stones. They're so, um, I don't know, they're, they're just like free walls pretty much, kind of. Yeah, very, uh, it, 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 it just, I don't know, it, there's a atmosphere, there's a mysticism to it. Um, it is yeah. nice. I'm glad the bridge went up so quickly. We definitely need to just start chopping trees and letting them roll down. Yeah. yeah. Need a nice little base. Need to, like, go hunting, too, I guess. We need to go and find some deer. Yeah, I'm one, uh, timber, timber. one, uh, Shit. scrap away from being able to craft a bow. 
which like like a bow, you know, that might be more. Oh, there's a there's a. A bore now. Oh, very nice. Yeah, bow would be super awesome for me if you don't mind it. I got that power shot ability from being a ranger. <laughs> oh, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, so this is my hiccup character, but we've reset all the skills. Everything is back to base. You know, wood cutting's already up to 15, but what do you expect? I'm the hermit. I chop wood. I live in the woods. Oh my gosh, are you all right out there, Timely? Oh, crap. <laughs> I've got my heel. <laughs> oh, oh no. Don't you die. That's oh, cool, so I am I am burning it a little bit with that purge. So the purge looks like it hurts. I bet it I bet it heals you. It probably does. Um, Let me see if I've got I don't have a stat for it. Here, did you need the There you go. Yeah, I'll go uh, I'll get you a Yeah, bow would be super handy. Uh, I would, I'd start making wood arrows and just going hunting. Get those. Make sure we get all the leather stuff. I need my leather armor. I want to make sure we're beefed up to fight Ikthir, because yeah, Ikthir can become one of any kind of enchanted beasts now, and the bosses have stars. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, it doesn't you know? It's not just the one. Um, it can be, it can be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know now. It's, it's all. We'll see. That's that's we'll really see what exciting. They, what they have. Oh, we got a poison deer over here. A poison deer. It is poisonous. <laughs> we have cleansed the land. Maybe the. Maybe it's it's hide won't you know like it won't be good like <laughs> the meat won't be good. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be pretty funny. I don't mind this ranger class. I may have to trade it out, guys. This is not my comfy class. This is not one of my comfy classes. Oh, timber! There are trees coming down. All right, everybody, we've tossed together just a little, uh, just a little hut here, just a little nice little longhouse for both of us. It's gonna be a nice place to spawn into and a good place to like keep our excess tools and stuff because we will be finding drops and stuff as we explore and fight enemies, which is what we need to do now. Uh, Timely's already got himself a nice helmet there. I think he made one for me too, but uh, we need to go and get a bunch of leather so we can make some leather armor, find some better weapons and stuff to. To hopefully take down Ike here pretty soon because uh, we need to get the pickaxe. But yeah, we're gonna get a couple of uh, couple of pieces of gear together. I need some arrows and stuff, but we're gonna go hunting some uh, some deer here in just a minute. So let's go check out this landscape. Uh, also, come inside and check out the house. So we ended up building with the uh, the in-game pieces because I just feel like they fit better. The uh, build-it pieces are very nice and very smooth, but they felt a little plasticky to me, and they don't they don't go with the feel that I want. Um, definitely try it out because it gives you a lot of other things. Uh, that you can't do in the normal game. Like, guys, these boxes and these, uh, oh, Timely's busted stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, these boxes. Oh, and these actually act as storage. I didn't know that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a lot of storage. Oh, oh. Wow. That's so much storage. <laughs> I actually did not, did not think it was that. But guys, we've got tables, little boxes for storage. Look at these shelvings. I'm really, I'm really happy with the bucket here for some reason. And uh, Timely's got a little bonsai tree growing up here. Look at that little bonsai tree. That's so awesome. <laughs> Check out, uh, planted a tree outside. Oh, guys, look at the red tree. Oh, that's so awesome. That reminds me of an old story I was working on a long time ago. And uh, it's a nice little wood rack, you know? Yeah, no, it definitely adds some very nice aesthetics to the game. Something really just, I don't know, it it makes it a little more homey, a little cozy. You can decorate a little bit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's toss together what we need to go on this journey. And uh, I'll bring you guys back whenever we're heading out. Hey, a helmet. Give me that comfort. Yeah, comfort. All right, guys, we're just oh, grabbing our comfort, comfort bonus. And then we're going to set out here, uh, I guess, in, in any general direction, really. I was thinking up the trail where we've been chopping wood and just up that way and and out into yeah. the into the meadows and see what we can find. Sounds good. Oh man. Ah. He got away. I am a very poor ranger. I got a couple boar down there, but I'm not as interested in the boar. We need deer. Oh, I'll take care of them boar. <laughs> Get on over here. I'll keep scouting up here for deer. 
Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys. This is a tricky shot. Up ah, right in the heart. Right in the heart. I can see deer. Hiya! Oh gosh. Oh man. Where are you Getting at? Beat up. Where are you at? Exactly. There's, there's, they're, they're gray dwarfs, not gray lings. <laughs> what? There's no black forest around here. I'm almost there. Oh, Hang no. on. I, I'm standing in like this microcosm black forest. No. This is bad. Oh, one of those gray dwarfs is um is definitely defended. Yeah. Hit me. Burn them. Oh come on, I almost have enough for the power shot. Here we go. Alright, we you leave. We've got this nice tower shield. Oh, that guy's got a lot of health. Uh oh, is another one behind me, or is that just a grayling? Yep. Oh, that's a grayling. Oh, that's a grayling. So. All right, not as not as dangerous. Let me go ahead and try to stab this one. Wow, I'm doing like threes and fives. This yeah. guy is tough. Get out an axe, I think. No uh, axe is. Auto D extra special damage or whatever. Oh, oh no! He killed my boy. He killed my boy. He killed my dog. Look what he did to the boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was wild. That was crazy. All of this, and I still only have three more pieces of uh of leather. Eh. Where are all the deer? Right here, here uh, come come near me real quick. Yeah. Ah yes. The healing. Cool. Let's try to wrap up this uh, this hunting then. Something that I'm wearing is glowing. Something that you're wearing Something... is glowing. Is it the shield? Oh, it's these. Uh, I got these like physical resistant um, scrap pants. I figured I was gonna be like taking hits. I'd oh yeah. This physical resistant, but uh, yeah, they also apparently they glow as well. Oh, that's super handy. Yeah, let's make a loop around back toward the house. I think we've got. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to get more hide and, and leather as we go, but let's loop around back toward the house. I think we've had a, a good full day of hunting here. Damn. Okay, guys, I'm just hanging out in our nice little beginner hut, and Timely is actually out there building us a, uh, a boar pen. We're going to try and tame us some boar today, which I'm really interested to see because I tamed a one-star boar, and it did take a while. Um, but also, all of these boar have different attitudes and aspects to them, so it's going to be really interesting. They're also tougher. That makes me really nervous. But let's go see what uh, let's go see what he's got built. I actually stepped away for a while. He's been he's been out here without me just doing stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. round pole. I love round pole. Dude, it's so nice. Yeah. Uh, and for now, this will be super. Uh, it's going to be real makeshift. Um, the goal is pretty much just to get the boar in here for starters, and then. Once I can come back with a pickaxe and uh, and uh, I'll say, I, I don't know for flavor. I like to set up a place for them to be shielded from the rain and whatever. But uh, oh, absolutely. I, I don't know that the I don't know that the boar care, but I care. And that's what counts. That is what counts. No, we're definitely gonna make this comfy. I want to get a lot of building. I mean, we should definitely do. We might even have just a couple of build videos. I might just we'll pick out some music we like and just show people what we've been building off camera a lot because you know. That's, uh, I think a lot of people like that stuff. A lot, they like the attention to detail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now we just need... Oh, see? There's one right over here. There is. Let's see um, if we can... I'm going to come try and get that neck off your tail. <laughs> neck tail. <laughs> come here. All right. Come here. So now, right. pretty much just get... If we can chase, get this guy to chase us in here. Yep. And there we go. Nice. Uh, just go. Yeah, seal him up, seal him up. There we go. All right, should we like ditch to like so he de-aggros or? Yeah, let's get him. He's got the, uh, oh, check in your inventory. You should have some raspberries. Oh yeah, should I toss them on the ground in there? Yeah. There we go, I'm kind of tossing. Nice. I'm tossing it several around and there we go. That way he can, yeah. Yeah, and if we see, you know, if we see another boar, we'll try to do the same thing. It gets a little hectic trying to keep one boar in and put another one in but it's it's totally doable especially especially with two people yeah for sure but uh that starts that starts the team four process 
Yeah, I wonder if it's going to take as long as a normal one star for it. Like, I know, I'm just curious to see, like, I don't know, we'll have to come back and check. Yeah. Oh, I didn't fix my bow. Guys, I'm always forgetting at least one thing, huh? Hang on, let me go fix this stuff. Hey, what did that deer drop? Oh, a blue torch. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> it's a yeah. it's a blue torch, magic torch, guys, and it would be magic, magic. because it deals plus two frost damage. There you go. Yeah, that is magic. <laughs> <Of course laughs> that is, it does frost damage. Yeah, that is some straight up magic right there. That's hilarious. Yeah, see, look at our little spot here, guys. We've got a nice little river inlet over there, and like this nice. We're gonna turn this whole. I I just I see this turning into a really awesome, thriving little little settlement. Oh. Did he get out? Did he get out? I'm gonna go check. I'll leave this one to you. Might need to double up on the defenses. He did get out. You. Did it, is anything broken? No. He just weaseled out. He's not a boar, he's a weasel. What is this, feathers? Did some bird land in there and kill itself on the fencing pole or something? Yeah, where did he go? Let's see if I can get his attention get him back over here. I don't know where he went. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I know that um, boar, like, you know, these level two, they'll, they'll, like, mate and be level two and they can, they can spawn with affixes, whatever they mate. So you'll have these little piglets that are, uh, are like, on, you know, they're fire infused piglet and such. It's really funny. That's awesome. I've got this one back. Nice. <laughs> um, Where's the other one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this just for now. Uh, until I get the other one over here, it's kind of taking its time because it's all. Oh, it's it's trying to. Fight. Come on. I was it smashing the the little longhouse up there. Yeah. Your yeah. There you go. Pen oh, is now works. part of this pen. That works. Nice. Let's do one more. And Adam in here. Yeah. Come on. Toss some more berries around. I'm sure they won't weasel their way out again. Maybe we should use some of the bigger bigger fence posting, the pole fence. Yeah. Maybe. Let's we'll see. Oh guys, um, look at the hearts. Oh nice. That's that's the good that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, we've got hearts just uh, plopping right out. That's nice. Very nice. What kind of pants do you have? Uh, or, pant or like, what kind of gear do you have? I'm still wearing... Uh, I've got some magic rag pants. Uh, they reduce my stamina jump by 9%, or stamina cost for my jump, but it, I, I could I could get rid of I mean, they're not... I'm not attached to them. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah, have, let me get to two. I don't have any wood. Never have wood. Always building stuff. There you go. Pop. Oh, hey, leather pants. I would much rather the leather pants. That's cool. We've been keeping all of our uh, blue gear back here, guys. We've got a bunch of little... Uh, and they're all tiny. It's all very tiny bonuses. Um, but, uh, you know, apparently we can uh, disenchant these and, and, and use them to make more enchantments for later weapons. And the enchantments will get better as we go. Everything's going to get more exciting as we go. Yeah, this is the year. No, you're, we're in the beginner RPG here at Eno level. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just getting started. You guys know how it goes. You've played the beginning. It's the slow grind in the beginning. I wish this uh, log pile outside actually like stored wood. That would make my day. That would be so cool. Yeah. That would be so nice. For tame in. Let's go gather some stuff while we're waiting for these boar to tame. Which way should we go? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's go south. Follow the shore. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's one over, out here. Oh, there's a couple out here. Just gotta sneak up on them. 
No! Nice. Don't start moving. Hold still, guys. Hold still. What? Guys, these are some matrix dodges these deer are doing lately. Like, these guys are just like serpentining like the best kind of serpents. I don't understand. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'll sure lose, I will lose that arrow and they're just like hard left turn. Hard right turn. <laughs> just like dodging. Like super pros. Not okay. Oh, it looks like they ran. Oh, nope. We got one right here that didn't run. What was the other one running from? Oh, that was a terrible shot. So bad. Should just use power shot when I need to. I really enjoy the the better continents so far. Like the little tiny bit that we've explored. Like it's just variety, you know. Like the plains just has has nice variety. Whoa. Hey, I think I see a little camp, a little people village out there. I see a little boar pen, I think. Ooh. Let's go check it out. Oh, is this it? Nothing special, really. Nothing special, I think. That's okay. I saw something down this way, I'm not sure. Oh, man, the sound of my wolf dying freaks me out. Oh, too, yeah. Oh, nice. Check for bees. Bees, bees, bees. Really? No bees? No bees. How are there no bees anywhere? No bees. What did you do with all the bees? Seriously, though. Oop, I hear deer. I don't know why I'm still hunting deer, but it's, yeah, you know, whatever. Oop, I've got, I've got spites on them. Let me get just a little clear shot. One of them saw me. Oh, that was one spooked. Oh, you got the other one. Nice. Go for this one. Let me grab the spoils. <laughs> oh, man, that was in that one is just a moving. It's like, no, not not today. Not today. Bye bye. Ah. Hey oh. oh. Nice. Right, there we go. You, you sir, can fight my wolf. You will be practiced for the wolf. I'm not even gonna fight him. I'm just gonna let the wolf get him. Where is the wolf? There he is. Get him, get Wolfling! Him. Get him, little dude! How much damage does he do? I'm not even hurting him. Come on, little wolf, dude. Yeah, he's really. Yeah, I don't think he's hurting him at all. Huh. Oh, that's a shame. That's okay, little buddy. You can still hang out with us. <laughs> I'm not a failure. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get stronger. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, I just saw it, too. Oops, oh, turning around. Nice. Got it, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, good one. Awesome. What do we got now? 35. Wow, I think, I think it's a pretty good bit, and the sun's about to go down. Look at that beautiful sunset. Yeah. yeah should we head back? Yeah, let's do it. Which way is back? Consult the North. mapping. North. Oh, it Start is a storm. Yeah, it is a stormy day. Oh my gosh! Look at—I just walked out in the middle of this. This is this is terrible. Yeah. This is terrible. And I was gonna go and chop trees today in the woods. I mean, I'm still gonna do it, but uh, it's just not gonna be as enjoyable. Right. Don't mind me. I'm just leveling up my arm by punching this rock. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> All right, everybody. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up today's episode. We uh, I don't think we're gonna get the boar finished taming. They they do take a while. What were they at last time you checked? Yeah, about 50, 50 percent. 50 percent. Yeah. So they're they're getting there, and uh, we were gonna do some gathering and stuff, and it, it but it's just storming, and uh, it's it's just it's just no good. You know, it's just honestly, it's just no good. Save that gathering for another day. Yeah, definitely. But anyway, guys, if you've hung out this long, do me a favor, smash that like button. You know you want to. It's been a great time, and we're only gonna get into some more awesome stuff as it goes down the line. Uh, next time we'll have the board tamed. And we'll hopefully be building up the base a little bit more and working our way up to challenging Ikthir. I don't think it'll take us too much longer to get to challenging Ikthir. I mean, he's going to be challenging with the stuff and all the mods we have going for him. But it 
I don't think it'll be that challenging. Like, we should be able to beat him and move on pretty quickly. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's... They, uh... You know, he's, he'll still be a beginner boss, but it'll be at least a little bit more interesting. Yeah. That's gonna be great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next episode. Later. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup. And guys, thanks for coming back to our Modheim series. I'm so glad you came back out. We're still just getting started. This is our little beginner shack, and we've got a couple of boar taming out in the field next door. But, you know, it's the beginning days of Valheim, Modheim, and, uh, you know, things are tougher here. We gotta take it a little slower, be a little bit more cautious. Uh, yeah, but, uh, are you still wearing rag pants? Haha. <laughs> These are my glowing rag pants of physical resistance. Oh, I forgot that those were the. I thought I forgot those were the ones with the with the little, the little enchantment. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, here we can show. This is what a. This is what a like a. It's like a rare. Um, this is what a rare piece looks like. Whoa. Oh yeah. You know, look at played, that gold. You know, you got your Diablos. Um. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. Do we have anything like that, guys? No, we don't. Well, we have this blue shield. It gives yeah. faint plus 8%. But faint? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, how are the boar doing? Have we gone out and checked on the boar? I'm still very entertained. So, Sorry, I have to look at your bonsai plant. I'm still very entertained by the little bonsai. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Anyway, to the boar. So when we were, I think we were talking a bit yesterday, just like configuring, uh, we were trying to figure out if a mod was goofing up. Um, I think that's what we were doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were trying to configure the mods and um, look at that, they're, they're, they're tamed. Oh, and uh, we've got babies already. Yeah. Guys, look at the piggies. Look at the piggies. A pink star, blue star. I'm not going to name them, so we are going to eat them. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's three piggies. Why? Wow. So what? Yeah. yeah oh. So you were you were saying, um, guys, uh, Timely knows more about these things. <laughs> so you were saying there's a specific food that actually, like, makes them want to breed. So Yeah, so I'm not... So as far as I know, like, my, my normal process is get, a, you know, get at least at least two pigs in a pen. Uh, and then I uh, throw in some raspberries. Raspberries are plentiful, tons of them. Um, so, and that that tames them. As far as I know, that tames them fairly quickly. Uh, you know, like in the early game, you don't have access to carrots yet or turnips. Um, and then once they're tamed, you switch out to red mushrooms. Uh, I don't believe yellow mushrooms do anything, or golden glowing mushrooms. Don't think they even. I'm not even sure if they eat them, but uh, we'll red mushroom. We'll get some. Yeah, red mushroom starts the the taming process or the 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 breeding process for sure. Um, and fortunately, pigs can't starve. Just like you know, just like your our, our Vikings, you know, our uh, we can't starve. Um, so you don't have to feed them all the time, but if you want more piggies, for sure. Right. That's awesome. Well, heck yeah. Uh, let's get some mushrooms to toss in there then so they'll just keep going. I've got, yeah. Got a... There's four. I've got them. I'll put in another... 15 in here. I would uh, toss them in, but I need them for food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, they got enough. Like we, we got, We're going to have like a good little... Good little bit here. Yeah. Um, oh, and the size of your pen, um, it, it, like you can, you, the size of your pen determines how many they'll have, how many piggies will will spawn. Oh, I did um, not know that either. It, it'll yeah, it'll reach a cap eventually, and you'll you'll be like, why don't I have pigs? And it's it's because of that. Got it. Okay, that's probably what happened on our our on my solo world, guys. I uh, I had that tiny little pen, and I could never get them to have more than six. But it was a pretty small. It was a pretty small pen. In my defense, I was defending them from uh, death mosquitoes because at that point I lived in the plains, and that was a rough life. I love the plains though, but that still is a rough life. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, 
Guys, we're gonna go out. Um, we've got so we've got our leather armor. I'd like to upgrade stuff. So we need more flint. We need more leather. Um, and I'd like to scout um, a black forest. I think we we brushed a, uh, along the edge of one uh, in earlier episodes, possibly. Uh, but yeah, we should scout out a black forest yeah. and definitely do some more farming. Oh well, yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, we've got everything we need. We're setting out on the trail. Well, uh. Yeah, we're gonna go hunt some deer, get some more hide, get some leather, and hopefully scout out a, uh, a black forest. Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> Let the battles begin. Seriously. Yeah, ah. not bad. Hey, I got deer right here, actually. Nice. hi -ya! Nice. Saw that. That's a good shot. Where did a deer go? Yeah, I need to be using the shadow ability all the time to sneak up on things like this. They don't even know I'm here. Nice. Oh, this one did. Uh oh. Yeah, I might have. I blew your cover. Uh oh. Oh, hello. You want to fight? Knife. Oh, stab it. Hey guys, look, I have my flint knife back. I love, I lived on this thing early game. Holy crap, like so many good memories of the flint knife. I don't know why, but like that was, that was my jam all the way up until like the swamp. I think I had to finally give it up. <laughs> Do you ever make that a uh, abyssal razor? No, actually, you know, I did mess around with the, the, uh, Oh, what was it called? The harpoon for like an episode or two. But like, I don't know. I, I didn't really like it. And I never did try it on a, on a serpent, to be honest. I never did go out. I just find it too easy to hunt serpents and then just like hop in and get the meat. Like, I don't know. Drag them to the, drag them to the shore. Seems like an awful lot of work for one person. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, there's a deer. He hasn't spotted me. Oh, nice, nice. Ha! Nice. Yeah. I heard deer, but I do not see deer. Yeah, there's one. Uh, oh, it was right I here, see it. but it, it's yeah, it's running out in the distance. But it looks like it stopped. Hiya! That was terrible. Oh. I, I that was a horrible shot by the ranger. That was a better shot. Nice punching. Uh, that was <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, teamwork. Get this, get this guy. Get this lank. That's what they are. The lanks, lanky little lanky, lanky little dude. Hey, more mushrooms here. Ooh, mark it on the map. Marking it on the map. M for map. Boop. Hey guys, look! I think this is the edge of the Black Forest. I love these fir trees. Like we should definitely, if we build our own little like village, we should just surround it in a forage of a forest of fir trees because these are like my favorite trees. Yeah, they're really aesthetic. They're really yeah. pretty, pretty. Guys, look at this. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and hop over into the Black Forest. Let's get some. Maybe we can find some carrots. I know we can't like harvest any any copper yet, but like we, we can find some carrot seeds and some. There's deer in here too. Yeah, let's, let's go take yeah. a look around. Do I have a torch, guys? Do I have a torch? And we have carrot seeds and a gray dwarf spawn. What do you like to do with these? You like to keep them up? You like to you know burn them down immediately? Uh, for now, we could definitely keep it up. But yeah, oh, usually, nice. usually I, I tear them down, but I lived in the Black Forest, so like I wanted them gone. You know, they were spawning way too often. Um, I guess I could have turned them into farms, but that's not my style. We, we could totally get into that in this series and, and try that out, though. Oh, uh, I mean, no, I consider them a, a nuisance and usually just burn them down. <laughs> yeah. So oh. I get, uh, but... You want to go destroy it? Let's go destroy it. Guys, look at this sunset, and we're gonna go take on Grey Dwarf Nest. All right, here we Coming go. for you. Summoning this wolf. Getting the power shot. Oh, it was a shaman. If my stamina would come back, I would help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Burn it. We got it. Ah, guys, the stamina is bad. Oh, look at the goods though. The goods, are, the goods are worth it. All right, it's gone. We got it. 
Hey, get this little poison caster off me. I hate them. Oh! Did he poison me? He did. Crap, that's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, hey, thanks, man. Guys, that went a little... That went pretty well, actually. The poison ended up not killing me. <laughs> I got really lucky there. But I did get some yeah. good stuff, man. Um, I have a blue hoe that gives me plus 15 stamina. That's amazing for farming, actually. Well, not for farming, but for pathing. Guys, I can path forever. Yo. It's the good stuff right there. This is good stuff. There we go. Just a tiny little gray dwarf party in the middle of the night. Guys, we're trying to get out of the black forest. It's a... At nighttime, it is the, just a constant battle. You know, these gray dwarves, they just constant... Yeah, look at there's a shaman. Crap. The light of a loon. Oh, he's just going to heal himself. <laughs> You're not allowed to heal. Get Only I am. Yeah. <laughs> Doing nothing with this knife right now. There's another shaman. What is happening right now? <laughs> Flee the forest! Flee the forest! Good old, good old nighttime in the the black forest. I'm out. Party, party down. Uh oh, guys, look at them follow us out of the forest. Ah, I'm missing my shots terribly here. There we go. Nice, that's good. Just a couple more. Ah! Nice. On fire! Got him. Purify! You jerk. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got the blue star. He's, he's armored. Oh, he's armored. Yeah. Okay. Tough. That checks out. Yeah, tough guy. Jeez. There we go. Oh, we got another. Oh, it's just a grayling? Lightning infused, quick, though. He's a, he's a quick lightning infused. Bam. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's war. But uh, I don't want to live in that right now. No way, Jose. Guys, that's what we really need to do. We need to take down Ike there so we can get the pick, so that we can get over here and we can start harvesting up copper and move up the copper tier. Get some fine... I need a fine bow. Then I'll be deadly. Yeah. Swim, swim, swim. Oh, yeah, flint. Let's walk the shoreline. Gather, like, a whole bunch of flint and... Dry off real quick. Like, I do not like being cold and wet. Ow. Oh, man, Ow. if you catch yourself on fire, you're instantly you dry. That's awesome. That doesn't matter. Guys. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. We'll just immolate ourselves suddenly. My clothes are good to go. Yeah. My hair is fine. I hear deer. Oh. Yeah, he's up. Hey. Ah, oh, man, they zigzag so well. Nope, he got away. Yeah, they. They really, they really knew how to make, <laughs> like, the AI is better than it lets on. Yeah, they're reading the code, like, in the Matrix. They're like, left, right, left. They know. They know. Yeah, get that flint. Make some flint head arrows and get our axes and stuff leveled up. Mostly weapons. Look, guys, let's just get all our weapons leveled up. We'll get some... Some spears and some flint head arrows. Oh. That oh, was a couple of them. What? I see you. What? Guys. What nonsense is this? That deer split. Oh, is my bow broken? My bow broke. Oh, no. I'm no good as a hunter. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you just hammer that thing from this far out? <laughs> All right. We need to talk about this hammer. <laughs> oh, that was great. It's your wolf. Hey, wolf. You can hang out there. He doesn't like to swim. 
Uh-oh, I'm not gonna be able to get up on the rock. Oh no, oh no, I messed up, I messed oh, up. No. Oh hey, there's more deer behind you. Guys, we've been hunting all night long. Just, we've been hunting Gosh. all night long. This is so much, so much. I have no more arrows, my bow broke. No, I have arrows, but the bow is broken. Need oh, to, uh, yeah, let me see how much, how much hide do I have? Well, you got 14 pieces of hide. How much do you, do you, did you grab any? Oh yeah, oh, deer hide, yeah, I've got 24. Oh, yeah. that should be awesome. Let's go back and level up our armor. Guys, that should do it, what do you think? I think we'll be do good. It. I didn't mean to sit down and hit the wrong button. That's a little too relaxed. I was gonna say, we need to chill out and hunt the deer. But you're sitting still and waiting for the deer to come. What is the wolf doing? What is the wolf do? Wolf? He's like, hey, I just wanna help you. <laughs> He's not. What are you doing over he, here? He's not a bad dog. All right, never mind. <laughs> Uh, hey, is this the hill right up behind our house? I think it is. Can we climb up this? Yeah. I think we can climb up this side. A little easier. Oh, yeah, guys, let's yeah. see what's up here. Yeah, guys, this is awesome up here. Oh, more boar. More Four boar. Star. Come here, come here. All right, can we corner these guys? What? <laughs> I don't need a corner. <laughs> Just toss that hammer. I have, I have the heavens. <laughs> or Valhalla. Oh, guys, is this going to hurt us? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the shuffle mountain walk. All right, guys, we've got so much hide and meat and... We're going to get to cooking and upgrading some of our stuff. And I'll bring you back and show you what we did after we get it all done. All right, guys. We got everything uh, Everything I think we're going to need. I've got a bunch of flint head arrows. We weren't able to level up the uh, the armor because we, uh, we need bones for that, actually. So that's not going to happen. But uh, I think uh, Timely was able to level up some shield and weapons. And I've got some flint head arrows and a uh, better bow. And... We're going to get out and scout that Ithir area. I'm going to set up a little crow's nest so I can shoot some arrows while uh, Timely tanks it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and take Ithir. So, uh, wish us luck. We're going to sleep through the night so we're rested for that. Yeah. Cheers to it. Okay. Good night. Day 15. Time to get out to Ithir. Where's that mug? He's out here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go back around the back way here. All right. Here's the Ithir spot, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try and toss up some kind. We might clear some of these trees out to clear the battlefield, and I'm going to toss up a little crow's nest to shoot from. Uh, but, yeah, let's get to it. I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to summon the first boss. First boss. All right, guys. We're just uh, eating our food and healing up. We're getting ready to summon in Ithir. Can you guys see our little watchtower? Look at that. It's got a little fire underneath it. I don't know if that's going to do damage to the floor and burn it out from underneath me, but it's going to be okay. We're going <laughs> to we're going to see if it works. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. Let's uh, let's summon Ithir here. Let's move on. Time to get to the the plains. You know, the, not the plains. The meadows here. I always say, uh, you know, they're kind of. I don't know. For some reason, they're similar in my head. The meadows, plains, like. It's just a, yeah, yeah. the same. It's a, it's one. It's the same thing, really. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's <laughs> time to get out of the meadows. We, we at least need to move on to the the black forest because the meadows meadows is being pretty easy. We need more stuff. We need more gear. So, all right, guys. Whenever Timely's ready, we're gonna go ahead and summon this guy and try Ike there. A three and a two and a one and a oh dear. Oh, here we go. And the bosses can all have, the bosses are going to have stars and they have special like uh, attributes Ethics. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to drop a hammer on him. Do the it. summoner. He's a summoner. Oh no, <laughs> he's going to summon a bunch of minions and stuff. Yeah. Oh, be careful so, down there. Ooh. Oh man. It's so funny seeing the bosses hit harder, man. It's like <laughs> yeah, are you going to be able to do that? You can take him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he summons what? two gray dwarves. Oh my gosh, he's all over the place. You let me know if you need help down there. Uh, it's all right. I'm purging him. If you can handle the gray dwarves, I will keep ticking away at him. Oh, I need stamina. Guys, we need stamina. I also need to get rid of these. <laughs> there we go. 
Got him. Blocked him. Alright, yeah, stamina's back. Good. Stamina's back. <laughs> oh, what am I doing, guys? Power shot. I'm a ranger. I'm not even using power. Ranger is not my mindset. Alright. I need a different class. Yeah! Oh, I missed. Come on, hit me. Hit hey! Me. Oh, that power shot does a good bit of damage. Oh, no. Guys, we've almost got him. I'm not hitting him. I'm gonna try oh, and get this last is... shot. There yeah, he is. Got him. Yeah, we got him. Pop. Give us those antlers. Time to get some picks together. Ooh, and stuff. <laughs> Did he drop multiple heads? Oh, well, there's two of us. I guess yeah. we both need... Do we both need to sacrifice one? Nah. No? Oh, okay. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Oh, my gosh. He dropped a stag. No, we can just make the stag. No, he did. He dropped two magic he stag breakers. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Let me look at these. What do we have here? So, we've got the magic stag breaker that does spirit damage and damage 5%. That's amazing. That is amazing. And then we've got a magic stag breaker that attacks stamina, uses 10% less stamina. That's amazing. Dude, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these weapons. Look, I'm just gonna pull this one out. Look at this thing. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is the one that, uh... Oh, yeah, is this the one that requires less stamina? Yeah, this is the one that requires less stamina. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap it up. That was awesome fight, Ike Deer, special boss star, special summoner, Ike Deer. That's crazy, actually, that the bosses can have that much stuff going on with them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nuts. But uh, anyway, guys, I guess uh, next time we'll come back and we're gonna be venturing back out to that black forest and hopefully trying to set up an outpost and start farming some stuff out there. We're gonna need forges and kilns and. It's time to level up, but uh, we're also going to be in much more dangerous territory. So, uh, yeah, it's going to get exciting. Stick around. Guys, if you've hung out this long and if you had fun, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. Modheim. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Stick around for the next episode. And have a great rest of your day. Do it. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me a Hiccup. And guys, we beat Ike here last time, and it was pretty awesome. And we've got our antler picks, and we're ready to go and chop down some of that black forest looking for copper and tin. But first, I want to go change my class. We were uh, we were just chilling back here in the in the back. I'm, uh, I'm, tr I'm attempting to lean on this table, but I, I haven't quite figured out <laughs> how to do it yet. It really looks like you're trying to flex, and you don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pretty great. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to trade out my class today. Uh, I, I had fun running around as the ranger for a couple of, uh, for those few short episodes, but uh, the wolf doesn't seem to be doing much, and the ranger has never really been my class anyway. That's not my thing. I like a, I like a warrior. I like a tank, but. Uh, I don't know what all the rest of the classes are or what they... I mean, I read over the list once, but I can't remember all. I can't remember them all. Um, I'm going to go trade in this Grey Dwarf Eye and uh, see what that gets me. Did your health, your health either just dropped or you just ate a bunch of food? I just ate a bunch of food. Nice. Oh, I think I jumped away from your heel there. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't run from your healer. Don't run from the healer. Ah, uh, look at that awesome little little shack. Yeah. That, that was super handy. I didn't I didn't have a problem. That fight was so chill. <laughs> it was the easiest thing ever. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need to yeah, I need to see it from your point of view though. All right, yeah. What's this great orf I gonna get us, guys? All right, everybody, say goodbye to the pup. We'll say goodbye to the pup. Bye, pup. Yeah, let's see you around, buddy. All right, let's get this gray dwarf eye out. And, uh, get this out. Oh, what are we, what are we doing? We have Enrage, Shell, and S-Shock. 
Oh, I am a shaman. You are a shaman now. And I can barely read any of that stuff, but... Yeah, yeah. That's okay. No, yeah, enrage. Let me see. Oh, cool. All right, so yeah, I've got a little bit of a damage burst. I've got a stamina and uh, a st what was that? Stamina and movement speed boost, and then a protection Ooh, spell. So we're gonna be super tanky, super survive, guys. This is gonna be great, actually. Oh heck yeah! I'm excited to see what the uh, how the enrage looks and works. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pop it. We can uh, pop that. I think it's got a stamina boost, so we'll be able to run out to the to the black forest a little faster. I see you're already getting your getting your warm ups in. Mm hmm <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Let's see. Oh wow. I do feel a little faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're you're zooming around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty nice. Wow. I like the grumpy little like goblin head. Oh, it's gone. That's pretty cool. I want to go hit something with this spirit shock too. We got some necks around here. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> spirit shock! Wow. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, I am a new man. <laughs> ah, look at us. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Uh oh, it's actually getting dark. All right, you know what? That's actually pretty awesome looking with the hammer. <laughs> All right. We should go get some rest. We should actually sleep and then like take off in the morning. It's it's getting to be dark out. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to head back and crash and sleep through the night. We'll head out to the Black Forest in the morning. Yeah. All right, guys, it's a brand new day. We're all rested up, got our food, got our comfort, got our new classes. And we have a new side area. Look at this. Yeah, that pickaxe lets you manipulate so much, uh, like, l helps you manipulate so much more than the hoe. Mm -hmm. You can really carve the landscape with it. I'm a fan. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to set out to the Black Forest. Time to set up a new little outpost out there. Start harvesting that copper and tin. We need some bronze tools. Do it. All right, where are we headed? Let me pull up the map, guys. Uh, where was that Black Forest? Kind of off to the west. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to running out there, guys. I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Yeah, you know, it might be a good idea to set up on this side of the river. There might be uh, there might be a lot of danger over there. What do you think? Uh, you mean like this guy who being rather chill with me? Oh my gosh, I could barely see him through the fog. Oh, is he going to stay right there? I got you. Um, I've still got the bow. I mean, I'm no archer anymore, but uh, we'll help out from down here. Yeah. He seems to be stuck. That hammer, I just saw that hammer fall and it was useless. It's just like... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Hang in there, we're coming. <laughs> Guys, we're going to try oh out Shell. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that or not. Oh my gosh, are you okay? He just clocked me and I survived it, but woof. Oh my gosh, we don't have the stamina for this. Guys, we don't have the stamina for this. Oh no. Ooh, the water's got him slowed considerably. Oh, he's chucking rocks. Yep. I'm trying to make it back to you. Oh. Ooh, this is, uh, this is getting tricky. I'm trying to cast shell, but apparently it costs a lot of stamina. There we go. There you go. Guys, I don't think we should try and parry. We should try and dodge. Yep, okay. We've got this. Oh, yeah, there's a dodge. I've got his attention. You've got his attention now. Bam! Roll. Guys, can we get enough stamina for the spell, sh the soul shock? Oh, my gosh. This is a very tough troll. Oh, that about killed me. Oh, you just. That about killed me. I need to back up for a bit. Oh. Not good. Guys, not good. We'll provide support from out here. 
Oh, you Boss are... troll. You are a brave man. Get that hammer. Yeah! All right. Holy crap. Yeah, we should Ooh. definitely build on the other side of the river. We should build it, like, you know, level it out into the water so that they can't climb up the water. And then, let, yes, let's... Okay, let's, let's go back. <laughs> ah, guys, we're going to try and set up a safe little place to, to call home out here. I'll bring you back when we've got a little bit of a of a shelter going on. Yeah! Come on, big guy! No! Nice. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. What is that? T oh, I didn't mean to pick it up. Oh, it's an antler pick. Legendary but, antler pick. Yeah, that... So legendary means it has, like... Five. It's got five. Like a... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's weightless. It Attack stamina use is just minus 14. Attack speed, 18. Pierce damage, 16. No movement speed penalty. That's uh, it's pretty nasty, man. Here, you have that. Yeah, that's an awesome pick. That is amazing, actually. So yeah, awesome. Our first legendary pick weapon it's a pickaxe it's super nice i love i actually really like that you can get like legendary utility items oh yeah yeah you can get like me you can get a legendary hoe <laughs> that'd be amazing yeah no i want it all like that'd be that'd be great i want to i want a hammer that like never breaks you know guys what do you think of our little shack so far we, we just need some place to to get the rested bonus and to survive the night out here and hopefully keep the the gray dwarfs and the brutes at bay oh man are so brutal yeah actually did kill me once that there's that death right there it's just, yeah it's okay it's okay it's gonna happen this it's is a, okay this is tough heim tough heim in the mod heim tough heim in the mod heim anyway let's toss up a little bit more of this shelter and then guys we're gonna try and go search and mark out and maybe even explore at least one crypt today see if we can get a, a circling core because it's uh it's time to move on we need some bronze gear Timber! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Did not expect that to go all the way over there. No, it's alright, though. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Did you see that? Tell me you saw that! What did you do? I just jumped in the water. Hang on. Oh, what you can, is happening? You can surf on water? No. This is what is this a shaman a bit? What is shaman playing playing at a <laughs> shaman uh, playing at deities or what? That's not on any of my lists. Just a heads up. What? Can you do this? No. Uh, I will say I know that I have like an, like one other ability that is like a passive. If I'm about to die, I I have like a saving blow where like. The hit won't kill me, but like, like, I, I can only do that once every like ten minutes. Like the last hit won't kill me, and then I like, and then I, I stay alive. So, but that's I think that's just for the priest. Like the priest has like a divine light to it. Uh, but you, your passive seems to be that you can surf on water. <laughs> what? That's awesome. I didn't. I didn't. I. That's a surprise for both of us. Crazy. This awesome. is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, did you see wow. that? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me go. Does that does that use up stamina? Oh, or what? oh yeah, it, it drains the stamina. Uh, just probably a little bit faster than sprinting, but but holy crap, yeah. Here, this is just what one, two, three, four, five. So I got five bars of stamina, but just like, woo -hoo yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh, that's, crazy. That's nuts. What just a fun little. That's I don't have to worry about water anymore, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. It's shaman, shaman class. Seriously. Look at me shine. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, let us finish throwing up this this shack. We ain't got much left on it. Uh, guys, we really need to get a cultivator and get some carrots growing. Carrot soup would be phenomenal right now. Awesome. Okay, I just emptied out my stuff. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. I only have the one blueberry, but or I mean raspberry, but hopefully we'll be able to find blueberries. Oh, I got enough for raspberries. So I can share some with you. Oh, that'd be great. I think I only have one or two. Oh, hey, thistle. I love to start gathering thistle nice and early. 
yeah. Oh, wait, don't move, don't move. Oh, he oh, there's saw me. so many of them. Oh, blueberries. Here, come grab you some blueberries. Blue. Very nice. Oh, I see one. I see one. We've got oh, one, guys. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, hey, more carrot seeds. Man, the moment nice. we get a cultivator, we need to start harvesting start. out. Yeah. Yeah. Carrot soup forever. Oh, okay. Oh, he's frost infused. What you got? He's dangerous. Ooh. All right, guys. Let me heal up real quick. This is going to be our first real are. challenge out here. Oh, that hurts. Nice. Oh, he hurts. He hurts a lot, actually. Oh, nice. guys, this is going to be dangerous. Behind you. Can I cast Shell? Shell. Got a little defense on us. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, okay. though. No mistakes, guys. No mistakes on this difficulty. Look at this gray dwarf and his health bar. Hey, Hugan. Yeah, there we go. Here, yeah, come on, I'll, I'll heal you up. Ah, oh, appreciate that, yeah. Oh man, you know, healing Ooh. potions too. Don't we need copper to make the fermenters? Yep. Yes, yep, healing yep, yep. potions. Uh, Before we go in there, you see that over there? Can we take care of that? Oh yeah, let's go. All right, guys, Just, we're going to uh, war. I just don't want any part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Timely does not want these around at all. So we're going to clear this out. Death. Hey, there's like nothing around either. Let's get it. Not Play those yet. drums. Play those drums. Uh-oh. Is it doing any damage? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. There's two of them. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay, okay, it's gone. Awesome. But we have here some comes. serious trouble here. Here, make a pass by me. Where are you? Oh no, I got poisoned. I did not. I was I was so far away from that poison. I think shell um, protects you against elemental stuff. So like for poison, it would be. Shell has an, um, a really high cooldown though. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, appropriate. That is a pretty beefy beefy skill. Yeah, wow. Nice. Oh, that went well. Guys, that went pretty well. We cleared it out. Took All right. Care of them. Where did that chamber go? Is it back this Where way? Yep, there it is. All right, let me mark the chamber on my map. Guys, let me go ahead and mark that chamber on our map. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get in this dungeon here. Yeah. Before we go in, uh, you'll scribe Whoa. this uh, rare shield. Oh, my gosh. Oh man, it's got uh, plus twenty five health. Super handy for you, tanky. That's that's oh nice. God. Yes, and then uh, also has a stagger chance of plus ten percent. So I guess things will just bounce off this shield. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that is awesome. All right, guys, we're going in. Wish us luck. <laughs> oh man. Burial chambers. There's some uh, mushrooms Have to eat. Yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go. We'll get oh, it has begun. Normal nice. skeleton. It's not a problem. Which, how do you want to do this? Uh, like, right, uh, center, left, this, or this, this one doesn't have a door. I like to, like, keep track of where I have and haven't been by open and closed doors. Oh. All right, we got a spawner in here. Going for the spawner. Ooh. Nice. Yeah! Good on ya. There's some cores. Oh, nice. Guys, we hit jackpot already. Whoa! Ah. Ha! Yeah! Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, was that your, your purify? That was just a purge, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah Purify purge. does not, will not work in here, or, or Sanctify won't work in here because, uh, here, I'll show you actually. If you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't, it, it can't, like, yeah, it can't come through Kick. the. Uh, yeah. So funny. That's awesome. Makes total sense, though. Another circling four. I've got three. Nice. I have. Oh, no, finally. I, you've got them all. Oh, okay. Well, we've got plenty of coal, you know, we've been burning food for, 
since day one. So <laughs> yeah. if we can get a forge going, we can get a couple of copper, I'm sure. All right, where's the where's Please. the entrance here? This is the way. Do you know the way? All right, yeah, you and that shield. Uh, I think this ends pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. All right. All right, a door. Behind door knock. number three. Time to go to war. Boom! Nice. Oh, hey. Some core behind us. Yep. That is, uh, I have four. That makes five. Cool. Nice. Yeah, we can get a forge going. All right. I mean, we should probably it. do a kiln first, you know, just just for the charcoal. Even though we do have huh, a decent stock of charcoal already. <laughs> they said I was a bad cook. I told them I was just a future blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm just preparing. Hello. Oh, I turned off your light. Sorry. Oh. Uh oh. Here they come. Nice. Yeah, let's back that up timely. Give them an enrage. Give them the shell. If we can get enough uh, stamina saved up, we'll get the shock. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's helpful, but like, it didn't even do like half. I don't think it did half damage or half health part of that skeleton. Like, you. Is it? Uh, it might be leveling up a new um, a new skill oh that's true to conjuration or at one of those yeah that's right we have new skills guys i forgot about that the, the spells that would make sense for the spells to get stronger as your skill goes up that's pretty cool here some arrows some rubies what do we got back here Beads up into nothing oh knock yeah. knock Nobody's home. No one is there. Okay, so we haven't. Oh, God. Oh, a two star. All right, I'm putting the torch away. We got to help out. Oh, whoa. There's so many people in there, dude. You got to get out. Bail, bail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> you cannot hit me. I am a silly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Guys, this is a big Long. chamber. Nothing back here. More mushrooms. Nothing back there? Yeah. All right, moving on. What do we have in here? Dead end. Nope, not... Well, yep, yep, dead end. Dead end. Okay. Could be. All right. all right, was there one more? Nope, that was it. That was all the sides. All right, guys, looks like we got five Sirtling cores. Not so bad for one run. Well, all right, everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up today's episode. We got our Sirtling cores. We're going to have to track down another chamber around here. We'll have to get both the Sirtling core and the, not the Sirtling core, the uh, the smelter, the forge, and the charcoal kin. We're going to need all all of those, both of those. I'm, I'm rambling too much and mixing up too many of these. But anyway, uh, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe to continue the adventures in Modheim. Uh, we'll be getting our getting our stuff going next time so we can get all our bronze gear because we're going to need some better stuff. Everything is a lot tougher uh, than I remember. This is this is uh, much more stressful. I need to be a bronze boy. Yes, we do. We need to. Yes, bronze boys. We need, <laughs> we need to graduate to the bronze age. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and guys, welcome back to the Modheim series. We finally got our little shelter set up here on the edge of the Black Forest, and we have raided one burial chamber, and we have just enough cores to throw together either a kiln or a smelter, but that's not enough. So we're going to hit the Black Forest again and see what we can find out here. Come and tag along with us. And guys, if you find yourself enjoying this one at all, do me a favor, smash that like button and hit that subscribe to stick around. Let's go see what we can find. Yeah, we need to turn into the Blue Man group. Get, <laughs> get, some, get some troll armor. Yes, actually, that would be so nice. I love the sneaky bonus, too. The sneaky bonus is uh, super handy. Uh -huh. Especially for uh, taming more boar. Or... Can you tame anything? There's nothing to tame in the Black Forest. Mm, no. There's a mod where you can tame necks. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah.
Nick, Nick, Nick. Um, oh, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't leave your house without any food. That's that's what mom, uh, mom, that. momheim already always said. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> momheim, for packing thanks, all my mom lunches. <laughs> yeah, thanks, momheim. <laughs> Absurd. <laughs> Uh, we need to build a we need to build a sky bridge across here like plant some yeah. plant some uh, uh, pine trees across the way and get like a s oh yeah I totally forgot about the water sprinting guys it's yeah. been a few days <laughs> hang on getting my rest bonus renewed oh, um, not a bad idea not a bad then I'm idea. gonna go and uh Heal the world with my punches of fury. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, timely swapped up uh, classes. You're now a kung fu master. Wow! Oh, super. That's awesome. Yeah, what skills do you have now? So what? What? You're a monk, right? I'm a monk. Um, and I don't think I can use. Let me try this. I'm gonna equip something like stag breaker. I'm not going to attack. But yeah. Uh, so I must be unarmed to use my kick. Oh. Um, so right now I am, I mean, you may not be crafting weapons for me for a while. I might just be out there giving it, giving it to them live, raw and live. <laughs> um, so we'll see. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, I do like that these glowing pants of physical resistance, which I think still suit a monk, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think that these, uh, I like that they leave my feet bare. So, that's oh cool. yeah. All right, rest of bonus is good. Oh guys, look in the top right hand corner. We've got another new mod. Um, so we've got uh, uh, what, what was this again? This is uh, speedy paths. Speedy paths. Uh, yeah, you ever like you're building and you're you've got paths that you're making and a lot of it like right now this is just dirt out here, sure. But when you've got your hoe and you're you're flattening out a path. Um, or, or, yeah, path or level ground, whatever, and you're just like, wouldn't it be neat if there was some other benefit to this? Because it clears your way. That's great. But uh, Speedy Paths just adds a little bit more reward for that. If you're doing that extra work. It just speeds you up a little bit. Yeah, I really enjoy that, because I definitely like Path. I love Path, and the Path and Tool is awesome. But uh, I like that that gives you a little more of a... I don't know, it just gives it, yeah, it gives it a little benefit, which is super nice. Some of us have to think about how we cross rivers. Pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us can't just. <laughs> you mean you mean you can't walk on water, monk? <laughs> oh, that should be something that I <laughs> learn. Oh, that's all hilarious. right. All right, we're looking for another crypt somewhere. Hey guys! Oh, two star, oh. super aggressive. All right. Oh, okay. Coming in. Ooh, nice. I do like that stamina. I feel like that's going to compliment you a lot, actually, with the monk. Get over here. Get out of my this way. This is the... <laughs> <Can you? laughs> I saw that kick. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. My two-star skeleton ran away. I stopped chasing him. He might come back, but... Yeah. yeah. Have we been in this one? I don't have it crossed out i uh, i do but we can always check you know yeah, let's uh -huh. give it a look Whoop. get out of here all right the mushrooms are back and all the doors are closed and there's piles and stuff i don't know we might be in luck here uh. Ugh. Shell for the defense. Oh, it's not gonna help. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh crap, guys. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Yeah, no, nope, don't hit me. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. I'm in trouble. Get over here. Oh. Hey, wow, yeah, we haven't been here. Huh, interesting. Oh interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Get all the goods. Oh, all right, so I think we have a total of six cores back at the house. So we need, what, four? Just four more, I think. Huh? And we're good to go. Whoa! Dude! What's up? Omen Impaler. Epic Flint Spear. 
Hang on, I'm using a spear for a little while. I need a shield. We'll get to that. Nope, got another core. Ah. Oh, I. He didn't see it coming. Oh, he got the backstab. Backstab. Should have had. Should have had eyes in the back of his skull. All right, so I have one, and you've got what? Two. Four. What? All right. Well, yeah. we're good, guys. Hey, what are you doing? So, so if I'm thinking correctly, you cannot counter block Ooh. with the tower shield. Holy nope. crap, dude! It's a five oh. star. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh I died. no! Oh. Timely! <laughs> Guys, we oh. must avenge Timely. Oh. Five star regenerating. Yeah, it's not He's okay. A big boy. He is a big boy. Oh, God. All right, guys, let's back out of the cavern. Wow. Oh, no, it's nighttime outside. Guys, there's so many mm -hmm. gray dwarves. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can counter block with the tower shield. That's a shame. Nope. Uh, it is getting a um, mechanic though, in Hearth and Home. Did you happen to fell that, uh, Gelatan? No, no, we did not. Uh, what is this now? Oh my gosh, a legendary hoe. Striker's hoe of the ox. <laughs> I did not, that's funny, I did not change the, the drops, but who knows? I'm just feeling lucky today. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, you don't. There we go. All right. Okay, let's get your stuff back. Oh boy. Can you get your the... Can you get your body? Without... Oh. Got it. Oh, I cannot take him on the shield. Wow. Oh, okay. There you go. Doors. I love doors. The, <laughs> get on the platform of safety. Oh. Can I? Can I? Uh. Okay. Okay. Eat guys, and then we're gonna open this door. We're gonna give it our best. Oh, he's chopping down the door. We don't have much of a choice here. Let's do it. What am I hitting the door? I'm not even hitting him. Oh, he took the door out. That oh. was an awesome punch. How did you do that? I think I've got oh. passive. Um, I think I have like passive spirit damage or something on my punches. Oh. I guess you are a righteous monk. I'm a righteous monk. Oh, that was nice. They're fighting something over there. Yeah, they're not happy. That's not us. Valkyrie in the lead! Ooh, nice. That was good. Yeah, they were just wailing on this door. There must be something on the other side. Oh, my. What you got? Um... There's some uh, bronze, there's a bronze spear in here. Oh, wow. And a bronze plate. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Somebody, um, somebody got buried with all their nice gear and all their nice belongings. Yeah. We, I think we have one more section to check out, guys. <laughs> How do we get out? How do I get out? How do, uh, okay. Have we been back here, actually? Oh, I have a closed door, and I think I hear a ghost. Oh. Nothing over this way. Yeah, this is a dead end as well. That's okay, though. I think we got all the stuff we needed. All right, guys, that takes care of this place. I think we've got all the cores we need. We're going to head back to the base. We're going to build up a little bit. We're going to get ourselves a nice little uh, smelting area going on, hopefully get a forge, and then we'll be venturing out to get some copper. Schmelt, schmelt, schmelt. Yeah, tin shouldn't be too hard to find. I feel like there's a lot of water. We can already see some on the mini-map here. Could run along the shore. Maybe we should just uh, fill up on tin on the way back, actually. Mm, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I've only got 112 out of 300. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna head this way. 
to head toward the water. Oh, guys, did you see that? That was the new cartography skill. That's another, uh, that's another new mod that we added. We added cartography. So as you explore the map, if I understand it correctly, as you explore the map, uh, your cartography skill increases, and eventually we'll be able to make a um, uh, spyglass. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Spyglass. That's actually pretty cool. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> just, just like that kicks good for like tall things, I guess. Cause I don't know, man. You like flashed right past us, and just those those necks were just suddenly laying on the ground. <laughs> what is that neck? Oh my gosh, guys! A five star neck. Time to do battle. Ah! What? <laughs> oh, oh. Legend, what just uh, happened? Rare. One of them like popped into poison. Oh, yeah, poison. So if they're poison infused, they pop into poison. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> can't even can't even down them safely. Okay, well so far five star skeleton and five star neck. Not so tough. Intimidating, but not so tough. All right, I think this is going to be my last tin deposit. Oh uh, yeah, my weight's all full. No movement. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Well, there's plenty out here though. Oh crap, guys! Troll. Oh yes. And he's a defensive. He's like a defense troll. Oh, he's an armored. Oh no. Timely. New plan. No. We kill the troll. We take over the troll cave as our own. Oh, I Ooh, died. You staggered him. Oh, you died? I died. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, guys, we are moving as fast as we can. Wish I had seen a blueberry. Wow, look at all the tin right here. There's like six pieces of it. Seven. Don't get distracted, Hiccup. We have to help. <laughs> we have to help. Look at all the tin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of this. There's so much. All right, where is my body? Hang on. Hang in there. Uh, what? Just equip. Okay. It makes sounds like I'm hitting a tree. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Guys, he has so much armor and health. Where's my shirt? Am I not wearing a shirt? No, oh, where is my shirt? What is going on? Just boxing with trolls, no big deal. Boxing with trolls, you got it going, man. Oh, no, you. no, you don't. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Ooh. Guys, we're gonna get this. Whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I like that. Oh, yeah. No, you don't, big guy. No, you don't, big guy. Come on. You've got that pierce damage, which is what we need. Yeah, I swapped to the bronze spear we found in the cave. Oh, no. Nice. No. <laughs> oh, he, uh, oh, he uh, just clocked you. Man. I had no stamina for the roll dodge, and I wasn't sprinting. Oh, guys. It's a terrible day. Are you dead as well? He wins this one. Oh. We have to go back and get our stuff, though. About that, guys. About that. <laughs> there we go. I'll be right behind you. There he is. What a Ooh, one, two, three, like five, ten nodes. Hey, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. There's so much over here, actually. Look, pal, go away. 
Oh, he has a troll. He has a cave ruler right here, right? Yeah, I, I want to take over that cave. I think that would be awesome. Have you ever lived inside? C can you build inside a, a troll cave? Oh, man. I don't know. Would, would they respawn uh, I, inside I, it? <laughs> I don't think you can, but it's worth a shot. I think that'd be cool to have a little base outside and inside the little troll cave. That would be a really nice setup. There okay, he goes. See. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm sneaking up to the bag. Ooh, guys, I think we're just going to use up the arrows. I don't think we have too many, but let's just go ahead and just get some safe hits on this guy. Ooh. Guys, we had a few more arrows than I thought. This is nice. We've got this. <laughs> I can hit him from up here. Fool! <laughs> My gosh. Well, that was ridiculous. Bunch of gold, I bet. Oh, yeah, I can't even carry all this. I'm over encumbered. Carrying too much, uh. Too much of everything, honestly. We'll have to come back for all this. Oh, Mark, where's where's his cave? His cave's right over here. Yeah, we should definitely come back. I would love to raid the cave and see if we could, uh, yeah, build in it and take over. Ah, uh, yeah. This cave is ours. Guess I'll grab some wood on the way, just so when we get there, I can I can see see if we can just throw down a workbench inside real quick. Oh crap, I did not throw down any of my tin. I am packing over here. <laughs> uh oh, you carrying all oh, that tin well. back out here with you? That's <laughs> so bad. That's alright, we may not be staying here. Yeah, if it doesn't work, we'll just we'll just pack it up and go go build up at oh. home. Marking this, some mushrooms for sure. Nice. Okay. Another troll. Okay, I hear him back there. Let me go ahead and just pull out the hammer. Oh, you can? Uh, looking like it. Oh, well, everything has, like, the the deepest, like, red. Yeah, that's really weird. It is saying can't be placed in a dungeon, but I'm, uh, definitely getting some pieces to plant. That's, it. that's interesting. Guys, let's remove all these before we end up tripping ourselves up in the middle of this fight here. Oh, man. <laughs> uh. Ooh, we lit that cave up. Now I have zero stamina. I died! I... <laughs> that, that spell... I need to avoid that shock spell. Oh, yeah, I gotta love the world save. Okay. Well, that fight was all you. I think I stabbed him in the butt once there, right on the end. <laughs> Ooh. I contributed. <laughs> yeah, I tried my best. Yeah, that's weird. Definitely, uh, yeah, there's certain spots where it's fine for some reason, but for the most part, it says can't be placed in a dungeon, so that's probably not feasible, guys. I don't think it'll let us build enough to actually make, like, a cozy, cozy little base. Oh. Yeah, we should go ahead and just head back and, uh, and try to smelt up. All that we can and get the get the place built up we'll get our killed and our smelter going yeah let's go let's go back and take some time to do that guys we're gonna do that we're gonna run home we're gonna farm up some material and we're gonna expand the base a little and hopefully be smelting some copper before the end of the day oh no what's up there's a splitting troll oh no right, ac right across the way <laughs> Oh lord, oh no, he's coming. Is it go time? <laughs> it might be, I don't know, I tried to get out of there. See if he's following. Oh he's yeah. A yeah. He's a following. Yeah, he's following. Let me, uh, okay. Away from the base with you. White star, huh? Whoa, my gosh! Oh yeah, I don't have Please, a rested man. bonus. 
out building and stuff. Uh oh. You got a grayling behind you there. Whew. He's just being a butt. Oh yeah, doing 32s and stuff. Much better. Swinging at you again. We got this one much easier, guys. Hup. All right, need the stamina. Need the stamina back. Come on, stamina. Ooh, man, he's after you. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Go. No! Oh, I timed it a little wrong, guys. Crap. You see nothing. Thing. Yes, I need food. I need better food. Hi, big guy. Nope. Ugh. Oh, gosh, guys, he split. That's the splitting troll. I think these are normal trolls, though, right? Yeah, these are so ho out there. So, so hopefully much, much easier. And and no tree. I feel like the tree really gets you. You know, that's a... Uh -huh. Okay, I can actually tank a hit by these guys. So I'm feeling a little tougher now, guys. Yeah, wow, the one star makes all the difference, huh? Really, truly does, though. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have probably tried to tank that. <laughs> all right, guys, this fight's going much better. Oh, just got nailed. Oh, no. All right, it's are on your way to you. Okay, double troll time, guys. Ah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm running out of stamina, though. No, not good. I need the rested bonus. <laughs> trees, guys. We're going to lose them in the fir trees. Oh, God. Good. Oh, no. Let's go back, see if we can get that one's attention. Oh, did my spear broke? My spear broke. That's good. That that's good. Oh, the rock. Ow. Hang on. I'm coming back to you. Oh no, he's over there with you. Hey, Biggin. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, there you go. No, still not really looking at me. Still looking at you mostly. I'm just gonna take him to the. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. It's just, oh, I'm just gonna keep dodging until you're good to go. Ugh. I'm almost good. Oh my gosh, guys, this is ridiculous. Okay, coming back that way. Go away, Grayling. <laughs> I don't need any ear crap right now, Grayling. Yeah, just takes one little mistake, man. These guys hit mm -hmm. pretty hard. Oh, look at your guys almost dead, though. All right, guys, we're going to try and get them with the shock. I know that's, like, going to cost us our life, probably. That? Not sure how much damage that really did. Oh, that just about killed us. Oh, this shook my screen so hard. Oh, we've got a big giant brute coming at us oh, now. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Guys, this is going from bad to worse to worse to worse. No! <laughs> The gods are merciful. What does that even mean? They are not. Do you see what's happening right now? There we go. Oh, I died. And we have Getting so a. many gray dwarfs around our house right now. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Just trying to get a rested bonus. Will it happen? There we go. Dude, there are literally so many things out here right now. Oh, man. 
Well, at least I can kill Kratos. That's... There we go. Oh my gosh, there's a troll on me. Okay. Oh yeah, trolls, gray dwarves, all the three-star purple gray dwarf shaman. It's, it's all, it's all bad. <laughs> it's just all bad. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, that was so close. It was way too close. All right, all right. I finally got them separated slightly, guys. We can do this. Yeah. Okay. Shaman's gone. Now we can focus on the troll. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I am dead. Ah. Uh, oh what, no. What killed me? I think I the know. troll literally kicked that tree trunk into me and that killed me. Oh man. Like, That's funny. oh my god, this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, more trees, man. I gotta dodge the, the troll attacks and the falling trees. We're gonna have so much wood to build with after this, though. Is that a splitting gray door? No, I don't know what that was. Over! Okay, one troll down, I'm coming back! I'm trying to deal with this brute. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Guys, forget the tower yeah, shield! Can... Sick of the tower shield! Ugh, I can't block him either. Guys, I need a shield where I can actually block. Ah! No! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I can't. I can't trade blow. The brute attacks too fast. Like, I can fight a troll, but I cannot fight this brute. He's so. He just attacks too fast. I can't squeeze in an attack. All right, here we go. Whoa, okay. We're all right. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Zap. Ha. Go ahead and swing. Oh. The spear has broken. Uh-oh. Just gonna... Guys, there's an aspect to the uh, there's an aspect to the game I didn't really take into consideration. We made everything stronger, and now all our weapons durabilities are crapping out on us halfway through fights and stuff. Meow. We're getting him. We're getting him. You know, if we go around and collect all of the troll skin that we've collect we've killed up to this point, we may be able to make at least one of us some blueberry armor here. Blue man group. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's all of them. We're all right, guys. We finally survived the giant onslaught. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the video for today. We're gonna go ahead and try to uh, finish throwing up our, our uh, smith and our forge and our kiln over around the side of the base here. Uh, maybe put some defenses down out here. But uh, yeah, when we come back, we'll hopefully we'll be going out and collecting a bunch of copper and hopefully moving up into the bronze of uh, bronze tier stuff because we definitely need it. Oh my gosh, this has been a ridiculous day in Valheim. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed this one, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more episodes in Modheim. And we will catch you in the next episode. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Hey, everybody. Thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup. And thanks for coming back to the Modheim series. Guys, last time we went out into the Black Forest and we got ourselves squashed by so many trolls. I don't even know how many trolls. How many trolls were there? Oh, man. Well, one turned into two, literally. And then there were two more. <laughs> That's right. I, I forgot so. about the splitting trolls. And then we fought one that was, like, armored, too. Yeah. Oh, the armored one was something yeah. that was ridiculous so anyway but, but today we're gonna go and try and get some copper uh and then bring it back to smelt together with the tin and hopefully get us some bronze tier gear we definitely need some bronze weapons and armor uh but guys we built up a little fortification check this out um this is something you can build with the build it mod this, these giant look at i'm gonna hop down so you can see how tall they are but look at look how giant and awesome these walls are and because they're the same recipe i think as the other fence, but these have a platform on them that you can stand on. Right. Ah, 
I'm doing, hang on guys, let me jump back over there. Yeah, so we've got this awesome platform that you can actually just walk on. And it is kind of difficult to build on. We've been having some difficulty building off of it. Uh, it doesn't like to give a lot of support, but you can. Um, if you can add supports underneath um, or connect it with some core wood, it does seem to give a little bit. So eventually I'd like to have some nice little sitting area out here. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, time, time we threw up a nice bridge across the way. Guys, the base is coming together. We've also got our forge coming together back here. Um, it's just open right now and, and smelting tin, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's getting there. It's getting there. I threw up the bridge so that I wouldn't have to get wet when crossing the river, <laughs> and then it decided to rain. <laughs> uh, you just yeah, the wet status effect will always be around. You'll never be able to always. avoid it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh, guys, actually, you know, this armor we've been wearing is fine and all, but I've been meaning to make some better stuff. Um, so guys, let me toss together some some, uh, some troll armor here. Oh, man, that is a full set, and then I think we've actually got plenty to spare. Like, might even be able to upgrade uh, upgrade our stuff a little more. Yeah, the blueberry. There should be plenty left over. I put all of it back in there, so if you wanted to make yourself a, a set, too. Man, I should probably do that because these physical reduction pants... Don't give as much as I'd like. Right, and yeah. And we both get, like, get some yeah, the sneak bonus would be pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. Man, this brings me back, guys. I remember when I first got my first uh, my first armor for the trolls here. Super nice. All right, guys, we got our rested bonus. We got all our food. We got our new armor on. A couple of, couple of troll hunters here going, going to work. Uh -huh. Sneaky. Super sneaky. Oh. All right. Here we go, looking for copper, wish us luck. Hopefully we don't get uh, slaughtered by a million gray dwarves or trolls or, oh man, look at this, already. Lightning, lightning gray dwarf. Well, in the rain, I wonder if it does extra damage. I mean, I would hope so, that makes sense to me. All right, guys, I need me a copper buckler. That's what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for by the end of the day here. Here we go. Copper. Very nice. Right next to this here mount. All right, let the chopping begin. Uh oh, let the battles begin. My gosh, we just had three great orbs show up, guys. Slamming. Whoa, what just happened? I'm not sure what just happened. <laughs> I wish you could have seen yeah. that from my end. All right trying to get underneath it <laughs> yeah i do this weird thing it was where i i like almost reveal the whole thing like not quite you know but i the idea that i could like somehow i could eventually miss um a piece of it it always always bugs me right so i i start getting under it no i get that how many of you guys do that uh, uh, on your playlist? Do you guys like to expose? I like to kind of dig as I go. That's just me. But how many of you guys do that in, in your playthroughs? Do you like to expose all the copper before you start hacking? I was just thinking I really miss my, like, third or fourth tier iron pickaxe. I miss that thing right now. <laughs> also, missing all of my old levels. Because, guys, I reset my character to go through this. Um, couldn't reset all of my recipes. I don't know that that's... Uh, thing that you can do in the commands actually but uh was able to reset all my skills so the skills went back to zero when we started this series and no longer at like 90 run and 75 wood chopping and you know 60 or 70 mining i'm back down at the beginning of everything and let me say i was just gonna say you don't really realize how much that stuff helps until it's gone it's subtle but it it's definitely helpful um especially uh, the one i've been noticing the most playing with this character and like having and having all of that gone and, and stuff is uh, the jump, actually. You actually do oh. gain jump height, like, with the jump skill. Oh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm like... Uh, you, you jump 50% higher, I think, uh, with, with, like, max skill compared to zero. It's, it's, it's quite a big, it's a big leap. Right. Yeah, no, it's definitely very noticeable. I had to uh, readjust my thinking playing again. <laughs> Uh, I just love hearing the schmelter just plop things out all night. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Another morning, another day of mining copper. Hey, guys, look at all this. It's a good chunk of copper already. 
All right, let me drop this copper inside. We already got some copper smelted up, guys. Uh, and then we're gonna get out of here and get back to mining. All right, back to it. Uh-oh. Hello, gray dwarves. Uh-oh. More gray dwarves. Ow. Just throwing rocks. Seriously, though. This black forest is not that big. How are there this many gray dwarves? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Ooh. there it goes. I have actually never seen it do that. I thought they just floated. Huh, that's crazy. No, the only ones that I've seen float like that are the pillar stones out in the plains, which is very upsetting because that would be a great way to get a lot of stone really fast. Heck, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to start trying to move this stuff back, start trying to smelt up some bronze, and hopefully we can have some bronze gear and get some carrots planted. Yeah, let's uh, let's make a few trips. Hopefully some uneventful trips. <laughs> All right, so what does it take to make a forge? We need to get a forge going out here. It is six copper and four coal, some stone, some wood. Heck yeah, I think we've got all that. Ah, yes. That should do it. Here we have our forge! Look at that. Guys, time to start making some stuff. Let's get all our copper and tin together and forge some bronze. All right. I do believe we have 20 bronze. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I got. I just found it. All right. Let's throw together a cultivator and plant some carrots. Yes, yes. <laughs> what are we adding? What are we adding onto the house today? And Chapumi. Whoa, what is that? Oh, an enchanter. So now so now go up to the uh to your forge. Okay. And it should now have an enchanting oh, tab. Sacrifice, enchant. Interesting. Look at all this. Magic reagent, magic essence, magic dust. Guys. Oh man. Eighty percent chance for like one effect. Eighteen for two, two percent for three. That's pretty awesome, guys. This is going to be really cool. And then if you click on, um, so, so right there, uh, when you're on that tab, click on rare and then epic and then legendary. Oh, yeah. Now you can take all this. Yeah, scrap stuff. a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, go for it. Scrap it. I'm going to I'm gonna start planting some carrots real quick. Yeah, we may have to move on, guys, as soon as we can get pretty, pretty tough and... Uh, Get some good stuff and maybe even get a boat. Oh, no, oh, that's what we need to do. We need to get built up, get our copper stuff, and then we need to build uh, our bronze stuff. And then we need to build a raft. Then we can really or go... Or a carve, even. Or a carve. No, I mean, like, the raft raft. We can build raft oh, rafts. Oh, the raft raft. Yeah, the, of the course. buildable raft. The we can... buildable raft. <laughs> they're, they're all buildable, but yeah, yeah you know. Ah, uh, guys, it's always storming. I'm just out here trying to get some more wood so that we can keep the charcoal flowing and we can keep the copper uh, smelting out. Um, I think we've still got plenty of tin. I, I, I always forget that it takes so little tin to make copper, actually. All right, guys, day 31. We've got a little bit going on here. We've got a little bit of a camp set up, and we've got a bunch of copper smelting, and everything's going good, but it's taking a little while. It's a lot of, it's a lot of copper for two people. Um... So, uh, guys, just to kill some time, we were going to go fight Ikthyr again with our new blueberry gear set up and all of our uh, new cool weapons and our classes and whatnot. And uh, apparently, uh, Time has been telling me, um, guys, come check this out. So, yeah, we were talking to him earlier about disenchanting things, and we've got a nice little chest going over here with all this stuff. Look at this. Oh, yeah, magical. And I'm assuming the colors kind of correspond with what kind of, you know, weapon you're going to make. Yeah, we've got the blue for magic, yellow for rare. Um, and apparently you need all sorts of these different kinds of stuff, guys, to make all sorts of different kinds of upgrades. And, and yeah, we can enchant our own weapons and stuff now and make our own kind of things. And they all have random chances to do stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of stuff trying to do that. Look at all this copper. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, and also the boss trophies are, uh, are, uh, dismantled. Or you can break those down for, for pieces and parts, too. Yeah, they're the main source of, uh. Like they're like a much needed source of for the uh, enchanting, yeah. Oh. Uh, and you can, if you like the Diablo style games, um, you can you can like farm the bosses, and they don't give you new gear, 
but they do give you the their trophies that you can use for runes and then you can you know you can it adds it adds that 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 element to the game where this this isn't a diablo style game but it adds you know you can turn it into that or you can just carry on and enchant as you go enchant with whatever or whatever else you pick up so yeah i feel like enchanting as we go is probably fine um because it's going to take a while to save up a lot of enchanting stuff. Anyway, I don't think we'll be seriously trying to enchant awesome stuff for ourselves until much, much later. Yeah, yeah. When we have a ton of stuff. But anyway, guys, we're going to run back to uh, the Ike Deer Summon area. We'll grab what we need to fight him there. And then well, we're going to tag on another boss. Hopefully he's uh, um, just another one star. But I guess there's a chance that he could be uh, stronger with multiple stars and different affixes. So who knows what he's going to be this time. But uh. Yeah, let us get our stuff together, and we'll see you guys out on the battlefield. All right, guys, we made a stop at our uh, original base just around the corner there just to get our rested bonus up, and we're good to go. Time to summon in Ikethir here and see if this fight's going to be any different. I'm, uh, I don't, I'm not a rager this time, so I'm not going to stay up on the, on the stand and just shoot arrows. This time we're going to be down here in the thick of it. Wish, yeah. wish uh. us luck. Say when. All right, let's do it. Here we go, guys. Yeah, this actually makes me nervous. Like, we kind of don't know what we're about to face here. Oh, there he is. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The elementalist. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good for your... Uh... Oh, the shell? Yeah, I just threw shell up, actually, for us. Oh, that still hurts a good bit. Guys, wow. Three-star Ikethir, we can not really... Yeah, we want to watch that. Ooh, we're doing all right, though. This is good. Oh, there you go. Oh! Oh, man. No, <laughs> not like good. You. <laughs> oh, all right, we're going to switch to the bow. I do have a bow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Great big bad Ike here, man. Look at this. Wow. All right, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Woo! Yeah! Oh, guys, look at that. Look at all the goodies. Well, that was crazy. Almost want to summon him again. Uh, yeah, it's weird. You totally can. Totally worth it. A crow mallet. Crow and a hot crow. And a striker's stag breaker of lightning. What? Wait a minute. This says it's throwable. I have to, I have to see this. I have to see this. Is this? Yeah, okay. I think I'm holding the right one. Yeah, this chrome out. This is throat. Yeah! I am. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is the coolest. I'll just. Here, have one. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's my new favorite thing. Oh, it's whatever face. Bam! <laughs> it really adds to it that it's called the crow mallet. Like, it flies with them like a crow. Yes. All right, we have another one, though. The Striker Stag Breaker of Light. It's got 11 plus 11% plus light, lightning attack, or no, plus 11% attack speed and plus five lightning damage. That's kind of cool, but I think this is my new favorite thing right here. This is uh, this is quite amazing, actually, being able to throw this. That uh, that changes everything. <laughs> Heck yeah. ah, but that was super exciting. Whoa, you got Feather Fall. Other fall. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's one of the items we just got from beating Ikethir, the Ikethir boss. Is that like, are those pants or something? Or Yeah, pants with feather fall. So I, you know, you you, you slow, slows your fall. You don't take fall damage. Oh, that's actually um, pretty you, cool. Yeah, it adds a new, like these, these pants could be useful. Like, you know, if we don't see feather fall for a while, you could say, hmm, maybe I should bring my blue pants of feather fall. Uh... Yeah, definitely. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> Very nice. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. Check out our really awesome Stag Breaker weapons. We have a couple of really awesome ones now. 
and I can throw mine. That's going to be the new coolest thing ever for the next couple of episodes. I'm going to love using this thing for a while, but that was a super exciting episode and a super exciting fight with Ike Deer. I can't believe Ike Deer was three stars. I did not expect that. Go, it can go higher. It can, it can get crazy. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. He felt pretty doable, though. Like, I feel like we're getting tougher. Uh, I'm really nervous about the Elder, though. That's going to be a... That's going to be a whole nother thing. That's going to be a whole nother battle. Oh, yeah. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to stick around and catch more of our adventures in Modheim. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for sticking around. We'll catch you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. We've been playing Modded Valheim for a little while, guys, and if this is your first time out to the series, then do me a favor. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and stick around, because we're still just getting started. We're going to make some copper gear for ourselves today, we're going to get some armor going on, and then we're going to go try and track down some more Sertling cores so we can make portals, and then we're going to try and tra track down the location of the Elder Boss because uh, we still don't know where he is yet. I think we've only really raided one or two crypts, uh, or burial chambers, I keep calling them crypts. Uh, burial chambers. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find out where he's located, but uh, first we should beef up because as you guys have seen in the past couple of episodes, it is dangerous out here. So uh, let's get some armor together. Yeah, let's do it. Um, you know what's funny? Mm. You look right there. There's some tin right there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's um, uh, uh yeah. No. Let's, let's go get that. <laughs> you want You want You want to make? You want to make yourself a thing of armor and all? Oh yeah, let's just do it. Oh yeah, you got. I got it, <laughs> Mister. That's ridiculous. Oh, how did you? Oh yeah, you got that kick. You you flew over Eek. here. <laughs> Straight up martial arts kung fu leap. I love it. Yeah, nice. Where are all these weapons? Put the weapons away. Buttons! Guys, buttons get me killed so much. you think I'd know all the buttons by now. Alright, do we have 10? Do we have 10? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah I, I, I kept 10 off to the side for a uh, a pot, um, a cauldron, but. Oh, um, never mind. I don't know if you, if you wanted to make that or not. Or... Yeah, no, definitely, because carrot soup is uh, just around the corner. We've, we've got the carrots. I, I kind of turned them all into seeds again, you know, just to get the growth going. But uh, the, yeah. car the carrots are coming. Guys, The I forgot how slow farming starts at the beginning. I'm used to my giant farm at Hiccup's Keep. The carrots are coming. The carrots are coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Well, we've got 31 uh, copper over here already. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm really just looking for, like, maybe a shield would be great to go with this bronze spear. And then, you know, I can throw yeah. this hammer. That's that's probably my favorite thing so far. Guys, all right, poll down below. What's been your favorite thing in the series so far that's been, like, modded? What, what was what's the best little silly modded addition that you guys enjoy? For me, it's this thing. If you haven't seen it before, allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! <laughs> I can throw this hammer, and it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> uh. Oh, I wish I could do it with everything. You know, you just panic, panic mode, and you start throwing, you know, cultivators, and, and <laughs> you just, now get it away! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna try not to overestimate how tough, but gonna gonna feel tougher. The trolls are no joke, the gray dwarves are no joke. It, uh, it's been rough. Man, look at the fish. We need to find um, uh, Hal Haldor. Haldor. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's uh, that's not what I was gonna guess. I'll not be honest with you guys. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you said something because I was about to make a fool of myself. <laughs> oh, that's great. There we go. Yeah, we can just we can just edit that out. You're going to say, like, Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really wasn't the biggest Game of Thrones fan, honestly. I didn't watch that. Yeah.
never got into it's, it. There's a whole uh, thanks to the final seasons, the entire culture around it is is like ruined. So like no nobody talks about it anymore. <laughs> so. oh. I am so out of my like pop culture as something like. Uh, I don't know, like, you know, there's like the kids that grew up in the forest and they're wild and they're feral. I'm like that, but not really. Like, I grew up off of the internet and outside of pop culture, and I watch shows that were way before my time and enjoy them, so I don't get anything. Like, it's a, it's a problem, guys. It's a true problem. I don't know actors and actresses, you know, like, I don't know. I'm I'm rewatching Stargate, you know. That's I love Stargate. Before that it was this Star Trek original series and before that it was Hercules. No, I, I think that a lot like I think uh you know our our next generation they're going to look at us and they're going to think that we we hung on to the like the 2000s and 2000s and 10s, you know, when really we're like still watching stuff from like the like you know some of that but like then there's like I'm still watching stuff from like 80s, 90s. Oh yeah. Um like we, we went back a generation or something which is yeah. interesting oh yeah like my doctor i know when the doctor blew up a while ago everybody was raving about the doctor a couple years ago um uh, i got into it but i watched the original doctor like the first doctor i can't even remember his name which is sad because he was awesome but i loved him and his posture and the way he held his jacket and he was so prim <laughs> and proper you know what they say, like, everyone's favorite doctor is their first doctor. Man, I, that is so true for so many things, though. Like, yeah. even for video games. Like, like my first, my my Borderlands is Borderlands 1. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can't. I, I've tried Borderlands 2 multiple times, and I'm sure it's a great game. And I just keep, I want I want my Borderlands 1 siren. <laughs> I don't want Borderlands 2. <laughs> right? No, I, I feel that. <laughs> uh super metroid like that's that was my metroid um metroid prime was really cool uh, I, I would actually play through that again but any of these new 2d metroids come out and i'm like uh it's doesn't does it's not it's not like super so it's, yep it's not as good no nope. that is so true for so many things though yeah the whatever whatever one you experience first that's that's the one and it's never gonna be replaced yeah Good morning, everybody. What day is it? I haven't actually been keeping track of days. I don't know. I kind of like, I kept track of day 34. I kind of kept track of days for my first vanilla playthrough, but I, I don't know that it really matters anymore. You know, after 500 days, you either know or you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway. All right, guys, we need to go set out. Oh, by the way, look at our fancy new chess pieces. I know it's a little dark. And uh, get off my lawn! I missed. That was so anticlimactic. I'm sorry. Oh, I I didn't see that neck. I thought that you spawned the neck when you threw it. I was like, what is happening? No, <laughs> what is that, would, that would be an intense uh, ability though. That would be awesome. All right, burial chambers, black forests. Uh, apparently this black forest is very tiny, guys. We may have to travel a bit. Here, let me get that. Let's pop that in rage. Oh, I've got the eye gear power. Here we go. Uh, this button. Buttons! By the power of buttons! The power of buttons. <laughs> that is a straight up volcano. I don't know what it actually is, but that looks like a straight up volcano. <laughs> I am intimidated. I do not want to travel there. Alright guys, I don't think there's a single other black forest on this continent. There's a tiny little patch we haven't uh, searched in the south yet. But uh, I think uh, Timely's going to go check that out. I'm going to start working on a raft because it looks like we may have to set sail and go find ourselves a black forest. But uh, I'm also going to chop together a little bit of uh, fine wood here on my way back so that we can throw up some comfort stuff in the base because that fine wood is so helpful for that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of building, cause uh, there is no more black forest out here. It is one giant meadows. I think we got lucky. We found what the two crypts that we did. Yeah, like that was that was it. That's that's what we had to work with. All right, so raft time. Let's do this. How does one build a raft? How does one raft? 
Raft base. Look at this thing, guys. Okay. Dropping it in the water. Pop. Look at that. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. It's just like a platform. Okay. Okay. Hey. Not, not, not nice. the boat, not the boat. Let me get some bud. <laughs> it does kind of make you look like you're airing out your clothes a little bit. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. We've thrown together this awesome boat. I'm going to give you a tour here in just a second. What do I mean? What do I mean just a second? Let's go ahead and take the tour. Guys, come on down and check out the boat. We still haven't named it yet. Hopefully in the next episode... We'll have a name for it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But guys, check this out. This is that raft building mod. And, and uh, Timely, using his uh, awesome Valheim Plus abilities, was able to do some inverted pieces here to get a really nice, really nice looking boat going here. Look at this thing. This is this is so sweet. We've even got a little resting spot under here with some fire and some storage. And uh, you can actually place. So this is a little odd, but you can place uh, you can place fires right on the wood platforms on here. So actually able to carry a little bit of a, a fire with us but yeah we're gonna take this thing out we're gonna look for another black forest because uh, we don't have any around here so in the next episode we'll be sailing out to try and see what we can find in our awesome boat and hopefully uh, everything works out okay but anyway guys if you had fun hanging out with us today do me a favor smash that like button be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in modheim and we will catch you guys in the next episode hope you're having a great day Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Guys, if you were here for the last episode, you saw us toss together this awesome boat. This is Rock Eater, because uh, apparently this thing can smash through rocks and not take any damage. 
It just plowed through that boulder. I was. <laughs> I'm... I thought we were gonna have to get out and and take it apart piece by piece, but uh, no. Is it doing it a lot of damage to the boat? I don't think so. Nope. None of this needs to be repaired. Dude. It is just tearing through this rock. This is awesome. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm recording this. <laughs> this is all getting. Oh yes. Oh man. Nothing can stop us now, guys. We <laughs> are the Tempest. I think that's the name of the boat. This tiny little boat is. No. 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 This is Rock Eater. Yeah. No. We just smashed right through. That's really. That's really hilarious and entertaining. But i um, You know. At, at first, I was like, I don't really care for that. But you know, this boat moves so fast and is so much harder to steer than the actual in-game boats. Um, Kind of okay with it because this thing does just plow. We're not going to be able to get this thing too close to any land. Like, we're just not. We're going to have to leave it out. Um, I don't know. We almost might want to make rafts just to sail to shore with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, have a little. Just have the supplies in a chest, you know, and toss it down and sail to shore. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. That would be a lot of fun. I'm going to try something ridiculous. What you doing? Uh, it's just, now it's just a question of getting up there. <laughs> right, yeah. Careful now. Um, wonder, wonder how that rope ladder will work. Oh, wow. That totally works, doesn't it? Oh, oh. oh kind of. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, well, there we go. That's Crow's our... Nest Ho. All right, well, that's where I'm sitting while we're sailing. Guys, we're going looking yeah. for a black forest today because we need a black forest. And uh, now we have a crow's nest, so I can keep an eye out. That's kind <laughs> of amazing. All right, let me get up there. If I have the fine wood for it, I'm probably going to toss a chair up. Oh, oh, my gosh, look at this. Look at how – look at – I don't trust this. Yeah, why would you – it's so skinny. All right. <laughs> it's so skinny. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, this is perfect. All right, onward. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, when we get the cartography going. Oh, and I'll have a spyglass. Um, perfect. Guys, this is too fun right now. Yeah, no, definitely better. This boat is, uh, this boat is very hard to steer, guys, and it, and it does not corner well, so we need to keep it as far away from... Looks like to off to your right is going to be our best bet. I think that opens up out there. Yeah, yeah. Look at my crow's nest, guys. This is so nice. This feels pretty fast. Yeah. Actually, like, at least longboat speed, possibly even more. We're not, we don't even have to, like, like this is a side draft, you know, like, not even a, a directly into the wind. Oh, really? Um... Oh, that, I was about to say there's Black Forest, but that's the Black Forest we've already discovered. Oh, wait, to our left. No, uh, that is more. a new one, yeah. Hey, I'm all right with it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and try and park the boat kind of just off the left side or the right side of this uh, farthest outcropping there. Oh, I see rocks, though. Not a problem for Rocky. Not type. a problem, <laughs> yeah. That's so yeah, awesome. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Rock Eater. Making short work yeah. of the rocks. Oh, guys, looks like we're going to have to fight for our spot out here. There's a oh. Grey Dwarf spawn. Oh, we got a Grey Dwarf coming. But nice. we... Um, do you want to stop it right here? Or? Uh, actually, yeah. Look to your left. There's like two perfect rocks. And, you know, we could probably build a little bridge out. Not that we need yeah. to, but... Oh, nice. Good okay, shot. this crow's nest is pretty awesome, actually. I'm <laughs> yeah. really happy we did this. Oh, that makes my day. All right, now the question is, how do I get down? Crap! That's not how we get down. Might have to make it just a tiny bit bigger. But we'll work on that later. Yeah, let's get this rested bonus. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, what am I worried about water for? I <laughs> Shaman, man. <laughs> All right got some baddies up the hill guys we're gonna have to make quick work of them make sure our boat stays safe all right time to go do some battles let's get it oh is it getting nice. dark already going for the nest got it 
Nice. Made quick work of it. Oh, guys, it is getting super dark out. What do you say we go rest? Let's go crash on the Damn. boat. Guys, look at that boat out there. What a what an epic. That's just that's the coolest thing ever. Did you just kick that deer to death? Kicked the deer to death. <laughs> I bet, man. I bet you really could just build huge. Shh, I'm sleeping. Rig. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what were you saying? You could build huge. I just think, you, you could probably build like a huge rig on this thing. Oh gosh, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, no. At some point, we need to build a giant, super functional version. Like, absolutely. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. Yow. Okay, that I'm was. I'm a monk. Some, that was about to say that I turned around just to see you like skipping across the rocks in the water. Like that. That was <laughs> awesome. That was awesome. All right. Back in the woods. Oh man, there was a warrior in the Drizzt uh, book series that had a hammer that he could call back to him like this. Oh really? What was his name? That's gonna drive me crazy, guys. I'm gonna have to look that up in a second. So there is an affix on these uh, enchanted items that's called recall. So um, anytime you throw something, it will just Dude. come back into your inventory. Dude, four stars, Ooh. four stars. Look at that shield, guys. Oh, man. Guys, this is some bad news right here. Oh, yeah, kick him. Have a hammer. That actually hurt him pretty good. Nice. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, okay, that was pretty epic. That was our first giant creature. Four stars. That's uh, quite sizable, yes. Timely. <laughs> there's, oh. a, there's, another, there's another nest. Oh, got to get it. Got to get that, it. That would be why they just keep coming. There we go. Playing those drums. Oh, that's a big old brute. That's a couple of big old brutes. Oh, okay, nest is gone. Yeah, you're doing all right down here, Kung Fu Master. Oh! Get him, Shifu! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, crap. Nice. Got him. Not so bad. Feeling tough. Four-star skeleton, though. That was, uh... Oof. I was not going to let him hit me. No, no, no. Hey, a crypt! Oh, guys, we're in luck. Nice. Good, 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 good. Don't mind me, Skellington. Yeah! Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very nice. All right, what so do we have silly. here? The club, huh? Magic club. Oh, it adds a slow. That's pretty nice. Oh, cool. All right, guys, our first crypt of the day. Finally, let's go see if we can uh, track down the elder or get some certling cores. All right, got my shield up. There's something behind door number one. I can feel it. Oh crap! Oh, this is bad. What is that monstrosity? Kill it fast! Yeah, beat the crap out of it. Oh man. Oh, did you get a gold item? It's it's a deer hide cape. Um. Yeah, that's all right. Hello? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Going for the boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, destroyed the party a little bit. Magic stone axe. Uh, all right. Oh, I have no room in my inventory, guys. I got to trash some stuff. All right, magic axe. What do we have here? Ah, oh, it's throwable. I love throwable weapons. Nice. I need an entire lineup of throwable weapons in my hotbar. Yeah. Hello, Skellington! Ooh. Oh, yeah! Have one! Oh, what was that? Oh, that's yours. I was yeah, like, that's fine. That? I'm <laughs> always tossing that thing, sorry. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure other people would be like, gosh, stop throwing it. I'm tired of handing it back to you already. <laughs> All right, looks like there's only one more way to go, guys. Not the very big. Hello. <laughs> Who's back, yo? It's a thing. I already beat it. I already beat it. 
There we go. Oh, there's another stooge back here. He wasn't expecting anything. Oh man, your fists. Those fists. Fists of fury. What do we have in here? Goodies. Goodies, gold, and goodies. I'll take it. Alright. Did you get a couple circling cores? I have two on me currently. I have one. Not quite enough okay. for portals, but that's okay. And I didn't see a uh, veg vizier anywhere. There's still. Oh, is there oh, a sign? No. That's just a cert leaking core. Oh, so we we yeah we have four now. Yeah. Oh, awesome! All right, so we have enough for portals. That's portal. It's pretty, pretty cool. I wonder, can we put a portal on the boat? Ooh. Interesting. We'll have to experiment with that. Yeah, that would be handy dandy, wouldn't it? All right, put that torch dandy. away. Put that torch away. There we go. All right. Is there another one though? I don't know if there's another chamber out here, guys. I don't do as much with my fists. Have a hammer. <laughs> Just took out that poor deer. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is how I go hunting. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's a troll cave. Ooh, troll cave. I'd fight a troll. You want to fight a troll? Do it. I feel better now that we have these spears. Yeah, I've got my bronze spear and shield out. As long as it's just a one star, I'll try and parry. Good strong parry always takes a troll down a notch or two. Oh, are you alright over there? You're good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, just a. Just marking this copper. There you go. Get some, uh, get a rested bonus. We get shelter in here? Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you are not on fire. <laughs> I, I'm sheltered and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> like a TikTok star. All right. I'm still waiting on mine. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, nope, oops, nope, sorry. I got it. I just got it. Ten got minutes. It. We're good. Oh, yep. okay. <laughs> We're good. Rested Oof. good. All right. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we have to do in here. What, what to do? Hello. Oh. Oh, he's a oh. splitting. <laughs> a splitting poison one. That's great. I don't like that. Wow. Nice. Nope. Don't want to be poisoned. Don't feel like being poisoned. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Here, have a spear. Here, have a hammer. Here. <laughs> I don't have any weapons, guys. What have I done? Let's try to take goes. it. Okay, actually, here, let's. Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm in trouble back here! This is bad! I'm dead. I'm dead. The poison's gonna kill me. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Oh, let's get you. Wanna recover real quick? Yeah, let's get out of here for a second. Wow! <laughs> Go back in. Yes, please do. Please do. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> All right, there's so one. Is there another one? Yeah. Oh, he went back to. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's funny. I'm not hitting anything. Okay, there we go. Okay. Wow. Ah. Uh, is that your spear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, just from the, well, from the troll drop here, I got all this. So, yeah, look at that. Some good stuff, actually. Very nice. All I right. If that hide, we'll turn it into trophies. Yeah, for sure. Oh, guys, it's dark. Oh, no. This doesn't really look like uh, there's much more to this. Guys, let us go ahead and get back to the boat. Probably sleep through the evening and then uh, take off again in search of another black forest. Nice. All right. I guess we don't need to sleep through the night. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm done. I'm going to the boat. <laughs> Get me out of here. Shoey. Zoo. That's so convenient, actually. Wait, what is happening? What's up? Part of the boat's not loading in yet, but uh, I'm gonna ignore it until it does. Okay, All guys. Right. Feeling yeah, feeling better about the, the crow's nest. I can actually move around a little bit up here now. 
There we go. This is awesome. Rock Eater. Boom. 2,272. Most damage you've ever seen. There we go, Rock Eater. Come on, Rock Eater. Get us out of here. <laughs> so goofy. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh oh, guys. Absurd. We've got gray doors <laughs> chucking rocks at us, but Rock Eater is plowing away through the boulders. Oh, oh no! What is happening? Ow, oh, it's bad. Whatever's happening, it's bad. Okay, the water just sank. Oh! Okay, we're good. We just gotta get out of here. That's hilarious. I can't believe that just happened. I thought it was sinking. Oof. For a second there, yeah, it looked like we were capsizing really hard. It still kind of feels like we're. Tipping. Oh well. Well, all right, guys. We're gonna get out here in the ocean. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. I haven't even been sailing for ten minutes or ten seconds. For, yeah, ten seconds. Do you wanna? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. All right. I would love an abyssal knife. Oh man, rough seas. This might be bad. Ooh, <laughs> guys, do we want to risk it? I'll tell you what, we're going to risk it because the shaman can walk on water. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I made it. <laughs> All right, you can do this. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful leap. I caught that. That was awesome. All right. Oh, guys, look at it. It's like a whole family oh. of them out here in the storm. Oh, man. It's kind of right. sweet. Uh, All right. Do you want to start? Yeah, uh, three. Two, one, chop, chop. Go, yeah, there we go. Let's get as much as we can. All right, he's not sinking yet. Or is he? I can't tell. All right, conserve the stamina. Conserve the stamina. Oh my gosh, guys, in the storm on the boat. Hey, give me some more of this. I want, I'm just going to take a couple more. No, where you go? Don't, don't leave me here. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is he sinking? I just can't tell because of uh, how the waves are going. I yeah, know. He's... The waves are really rough right now. Wow. Well, that right. wasn't so bad. I got uh, 21. There it is for a second there. I didn't see it. I was like, I got zero? What? No, 21. Nice. 21's yeah, not bad. Good. Got a uh, 18. Nice. I'm gonna try to get us closer to that other one out there. There was one out there, right? Oh, there were two of them that I saw. Yeah, it was like a small family out here in the storm. Don't mind us, guys. Just a couple of seafaring Vikings out here in the storm on Rock Eater. There are no rocks in the ocean for Rock Eater to eat. He doesn't like being on the ocean. I'm not seeing that other one. No, they might have sank. This is where I like to sit during the storm. Oh, you see that? Oh, crap! Yeah, I see it. Okay. Let me get the bow out. It's time to go, guys. Oh, let's get back on the boat. There we go. Hey, serpent! One star oh, serpent. Oh, plow right into one. Uh-oh. Can you stop the boat? Hold on. I'm stopping it. Oh, it's go time, guys. The serpent is here. Oh, how much damage is the serpent going to do to the boat? Hey, big guy! Oh! Uh-oh. Do you have any, do you have any fine wood? Uh, barely any, yeah, why? Okay. Uh, can I have your abyssal? Oh no, you're, are you in there? Ah! Can I have your, uh, your chitin? Alright, I just swapped it out for the seeds in that chest right there. Okay. Oh man, look at this thing, guys. Hey, look at me! Yeah, look at me, I'm riding the serpent. Come on, yeah! That's so funny. All right, that was awesome for a second. Now I gotta get back on the boat. Oh God, don't eat me. I don't wanna swim in the water with it. Ha! Ah, we are, we are standing on the serpent. Ha 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 ha! Yes! What do you think of me now, tough guy? Oh my gosh, this is creepy like an aurora, auroboros. Oh no. Ow! Oh, you're good, I got this thing distracted. It hates me. It hates me right now. Yes! Come on! <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> that hurt a lot, actually. That's what I get for trying to ride on the serpent's snout. 
the uh what did it destroy my boat did it destroy my bed ah crap guys i'm just trying to run out to like a, sm a small spot out here that you know hopefully timely can get back to and pick us up but uh we left him out there on the ocean all alone he's battling the serpent on his own no skeletons no guys where's the end of the beach Hopefully Timely knows where to come pick us up. I don't even know where I'm heading. How does he know where to pick me up? I don't know where I'm going. Oh guys, it is so dark out here and there are so many gray dwarves and I am so naked and Timely's still not back with the boat yet. No! Guys, I'm not gonna die again. We can't die. Timely's gonna show up with the boat at some point. He's coming back for me, I know it. But we can't die until then. Get away from me, gray dwarf! Oh my gosh. Okay, I finally was able to make a torch. Let's go see if we can get on the beach here somewhere real close to the, out here in the water. Here we go. Uh-oh. No, no, we're gonna, we're okay. Oh yeah, ow! Oh no! I'm dead. Guys, we're gonna die again. That's good. Nope, wait, we're gonna live. Oh my God, we're gonna, oh. Guys, I can see the boat. Timely! <laughs> Over here! Oh, I see you. <laughs> I see your little thing. Oh my God, help! <laughs> I have nine health. There's so many gray dwarves. There's so many rocks. Oh my gosh, yes! I'm coming! <laughs> To the boat! Oh no, stop moving! <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, get us out of here! Oh my gosh! I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. Did you manage to pick up any, uh, any flint? <laughs> yes, I have 14 flint. Okay. Dropping the flint um, in the box. Uh oh oh no. Oh no. Right, we're gonna have to, we're just gonna have to back out. I'm going up here where it's safe. Actually, guys, we should cook some of this. Ah, I'm being choked to death by the smoke! Ah! Oh, because the smoke is flying the other way. I'm... I'm just gonna... Uh, gosh. Oh, no. To our right! Ow! Oh, man. <laughs> this is so Godzilla bad. Godzilla-sized thing. Oh, uh, meat's... Yeah, meat's done. <laughs> yeah, I need some food. Ow! Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, come back! There it is, necktail floating through the skies. Wow, guys, look at Rock Eater. It doesn't matter, backward or forward, Rock Eater just goes through stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the gray dwarves coming though. Go away! No, keep your rocks to yourself. My heart is pounding, and I'm freezing. I'm naked, I don't even have a shirt on. All right, all right, uh, here. <sighs> well, let's, I'll do it so that it doesn't, uh... Well, oh, did you get my stuff? Yeah, I, oh. I got most of it. Um, all right, I'm gonna put. Oh, guys, slowly get my gear back together. Timely, thankfully, was able to to get it all back out there, even even with the serpent around. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get revenge on the serpent. That'll be a yes, yes. I want revenge on this serpent. Right into... I was gonna say, are you just backing? You just look at Timely just backing like reversing time here to get us back to where we were fighting the 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 serpent there yeah let's go let's, let's go challenge that serpent again yeah, yeah um we'll come back to this guy i just want to get back to where that serpent was i'm gonna back us up and try to turn us around you know when people say it's like driving a boat <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like driving a boat we have company here he is. Hey, big what, How much health? How much health does he have? About half health. All hey, right. big guy. Get him. Right get in him the mouth. Pretty far down. Okay. Don't don't outright kill him yet, though. I you got it. Oh, fighting the bow, fighting the bow. He's underneath right. us. Pretty weak. All right. Where is he? Right beneath us. There you go. Come, uh, come up here. You got it. Oh yeah, drag him on to shore. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Not yet, hold not on. yet. Okay, hold on, let me. Yeah, uh. Gosh, it's so hard to get stamina. 
Hold on. Here. All right. Whack whale on him. Come here, big guy. Yeah. Nice. Oh, serpent scale, black matter tower. What is all this? I don't think I've ever gotten serpent scales before. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. Serpent meat is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Guys, what is this? My new shield, that's what it is. Oh, did it drop a serpent shield? No, it dropped an epic black metal tower shield. The grim homework. Oh, oh my god. It is weightless. It is weightless. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. Yep. Well, oh my god. This is me from now on right here. This is uh this is me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> a weightless tower shield. Guys, that's amazing. Wow, okay. Insane. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually like dragged a serpent to shore before like that. I always just killed them in the sea and just got their meat. It was no big deal. Huh? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yep. Well, all right, guys, that was a lot of fun surfing around the oceans, looking for the black forest. It kind of didn't go the way we wanted it to, but uh, that's all right. Um, we're out here collecting abyssal barnacles and hopefully not going to run into another serpent and have another bad time of it because that, uh, <laughs> that was a very bad time of it there for a little while. Uh-oh, is he sinking? I think he's sinking. Yeah, that's the constant rumble. Back to the boat. Wait, where's the boat? There's the boat. Oh, maybe I can get a few more right here. <laughs> uh oh, nope, no, 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 no. There we go. Back to the boat. Ah. But yeah, the boat has been super awesome, despite my, my silly. We tempted death, though, doing what we did with the serpent. That was a lot of fun. Man, yeah, that was awesome. That was a good time. Anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more adventures in Modheim. It's just getting started, guys. Look at this shield we just got. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to test it out on something and, yeah, hopefully make one of those uh, s those uh, serpent scale shields pretty soon, too. That I mean, I don't know. Actually, that's probably going to take a while. I don't know if we can make that yet, but uh, we'll get around to it. It's going to be awesome. I don't know. Yeah. Just, it'll take a bit, but we'll, uh, we'll get one together. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode, and have a great rest of your day. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is Timely Crow. Welcome back to the Modheim series, guys. I'm so glad you decided to join us again out here. By the way, guys, if you're sticking around for the episodes, if you've seen a couple, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let us know you're enjoying the series. Drop us a comment below. Hope to hear from you. But anyway, guys, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. We found this nice island to kind of park the boat near. If you guys haven't seen the boat, take a look at this thing. Have you guys ever seen something like this? No, because it's modded and it's awesome. And this is, what, what is this again? The rafting mod or the raft mod? Just just raft. I think it's uh, Valheim Raft. Capital R-A-F-T. Doesn't stand for anything. No, definitely just kind of inspired probably by that, by that raft game, which I haven't played that one. You know, I should. I love survival games, but Valheim, hmm. Valheim is awesome. Anyway. Yeah, we're still looking for black forest. We're still looking for uh, more copper, more tin, more sirtling cores, and definitely the location of the elder boss. <clears throat> Sorry guys, it's early in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, still trying to track down that boss location. But uh, anyway, it's time to set sail again. It's actually like timed that perfectly. It's like sunrise. Yeah, yeah, how perfect. Good, good morning. Yeah, Valheim. super early. In the, it's super early in the morning for you. I'm complaining about early in the morning. It's like two hours earlier over where you are. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak, except <laughs> in Valheim where having a rested bonus is key. Right, right. I did so much grinding uh, at night off camera in my solo mission, in my solo campaign. It was a, it was a rough way to do things, but I had so much uh, resin from living in the Black Forest. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah, I guess maybe... Um, Guys, I had, we had an issue yesterday where I couldn't get on the boat. <laughs> we were having all sorts of trouble, uh, and uh, I think I think it was. I think it was because I was over encumbered. Also, tip: if you're gonna play with this mod, the boats 
uh, the beds on the boat. So you can use them to sleep through the night. However, whenever you move the boat or wherever the boat rocks, it tends to reset your spawn point or erase it. Like, I can set this, and we can watch it for a second here. Oh, come on. There it is. Are See? You? There it happened. It just happened. <laughs> oh, it just happened. Yeah. Nice. So you'd have to reset your spawn point again, and it, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not reliable. <laughs> Make sure you've got a bed somewhere on land. Um, you can definitely sleep on the boat for, you know, just passing the night, but uh, it'll, it's, it's tossed us back to the, uh, to the spawn location, which, which was horrible. It was a nightmare. Let's try and get out of here, guys. I'm gonna try and steer this thing today. Uh -huh. Let's back out. We're gonna back out. Beep, beep, beep. Oh yeah, guys, if I'm backing up like that and if Timely stood up there, the smoke would definitely choke him to death. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually kind of fun. Yeah, I love that yeah. the wind is like alive. It feels alive in this game. I, I love the wind. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. On the way that like the torches here, they, you know, you can see them moving in the wind. Um, just a nice detail. I'm not sure if, if the uh, if the modder had to oop, oh. had to program that or or what. I wonder. There we go. Oh, now we've got wind. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, we might lose it actually. Eris is a trickster. She Ooh. does. She does not care. Oh no! Where'd you go? Oh, you're still up it's, there. It's uh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of it's it's like it's really trying to do the whole uh like if I if I jump then. It's trying to like throw me off the boat, which uh -oh. is not realistic technically, but I see what it's going for. Right, like you jump and you're you don't have the same momentum as the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah physics. What are you gonna do? Who needs it? All right, guys, out on the open water. Kind of. I mean, that's <laughs> a pretty good looking black forest actually to our right. That's new, right? Is it? It is. That is new. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this over. Oh, I see a troll cave already. That's not good. Oh, nice. Swamp and black forest. Guys, this could end up being a good spot. Oh, are those rocks out there? I'm really tempted to just drive Rock Eater over and just, like, crash it into the rocks and just park it there. Nice. Yep. This is what we're going to do, guys. I swear, the best way to get out of anywhere with this boat is just to back up. Oh, yeah, look at the swamps right next door. This is awesome. Hey, I see a crypt, like, right here, actually. Oh, nice. Boom! Okay, guys, time to defend the boat. Is that a three-star? We got a one-star, a two-star, and a three-star. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. Time to do some battle. Time to try out this new shield, guys. Look at the shield we got for hunting the... Uh, Finally showed us the correct way to hunt sea serpents. <laughs> ah, no! Swimming. Yeah. Nice. Oop, that was a flint axe. Oh, it's got fire damage. Interesting. All right, guys, we're going to get our rested bonus, and then we're going to hop out and explore this, uh, this black forest here. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, the rested bonus is needed. We might not be able to... We're gonna have to clear out that, so that, uh... Oh, I see it. Clear out. Yeah! Oh, he's armored. Wow, look at the health. This is like fighting a troll. I know this is like, awesome, cool, you know, black metal tower shield, but I'm still just not a fan of the tower shields. I like my parry. Yeah. I miss the parry. All right, we do have a crypt right over here. You wanna come raid this crypt real quick? See if we can find the elder location? That's what I'm really interested in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because the world will get slightly harder. As soon as we know where he is, or as soon as we beat him? Uh, beat him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that it's scaling with us as we as we progress. All right. Tower shield, though, you know, we'll hang on to the tower shield for this stuff. This is, uh, this is what it's good for, these tight corridors. Oh, boy. Back in the crypts. No, chambers. Oh, we have company already. Try me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I kind of wish I had a, my hammer now. I need a blunt weapon in here, guys, but that's okay. 
Oh man, we have so much serpent meat, actually, from being on the ocean. If we get to the Elder, we'll have some awesome food to fight with. Oh, we got two circling yeah. cores back here. Doing good, doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Uh-oh, a spear broke. Oh, no. Can you get by? There you go. There we go, send the monk in. <laughs> Hello. There we go. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my chi abilities. Um, but you can only use it after you've got to go punch him a lot. Oh, yeah, you build up combos with that guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it also has, I think I need to try, there's like an energy orb that I can shoot out. Um, it goes around and around and around. Jeez Louise. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow, though. Cool. More cores. Uh, this had some blue items, some ruby, and some gold. Um, nice. Oh, you know what I found out, actually, while I was building in creative mode? Uh, I built... Like, guys, if you haven't seen it, go check out my Pillars in the Plains video. Uh, it's a really fun video. And uh, actually drops on the day that we're recording this video. <laughs> That's... Uh, nice. A lot of times a little ahead, guys, if you can't tell. Um, but, yeah, I found out uh, the green gop on the trees in the marsh in the swamps. You can chop that down, and that gives access oh. to an awesome bow. I never knew that. Dude, the guck? Yeah. Yeah, I never got a piece of guck in my entire vanilla playthrough. I never got that. So, yeah. I, that's so crazy. I played through thinking that they would, like, so... There are slimes that are on that are on the trees, um, and I thought that the guck was slime. And then I got closer, and I saw that like, wait, that looks different than the the actual slime. And yeah, went up there, got the. Uh, is that is I believe that's like the best bow in the game, right? I think it. I think it is. See, that's the thing. I've never oh. actually used it. I think the boat did just crush that. That dude. We should definitely uh, hunt. Uh, oh no! Leeches. It's a Draugr. I. I wondered. I just got hit with. There's a. There's a Draugr bowman right there. It just hit me for like Where? 45 damage. Where? <laughs> He's right under us. Oh Which is crap. very appropriate for a for a Draugr. Or I'm over here. Actually, he's undead. The spirit shock should be pretty good. And if you've got that passive, uh, holy damage on your fists. Oh, he's looking at you now. Yeah, that did alright. Nice. I think we have very appropriate classes for all this undead stuff we're doing. Oh, um... So, interesting thing. My fists, I thought that they did, but they do not have the passive stuff on them. Well, um, the Draugr and the Skeletons are both uh, weak against blunt damage, aren't they? Uh... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's just skeletons. But your whenever you pop your shell, it gives us spirit damage on our attacks. Oh. Well, yeah, very appropriate then. I figure we can get our rested bonus, have us a little meal, and then go back out and look for another crypts. Yeah. Oh, okay. At least the Black Forest continues over here, guys. It do oh, no, though. It does kind of look like a really small patch again, like... Mm -hmm. What is up with this? Guys, we're not having very good luck with the forests. Hello? Any skeletons in here? Yes. Oh, there you are. Ooh. I'll take this nice. whole building down! I'll take the whole building down! That's fun. I've seen... What do you call them? Big six... Big six years? Big six... Big I think, yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know that that, oh my gosh, just counter blocking everything. Please come up here and smash everything. I'm just gonna keep counter blocking. Oh yeah, guys, I don't need a shield. I keep forgetting that the big heavy weapons have like really great parry bonus. That's why I need to use the big heavy weapons this playthrough. Ah, there we go. What's in the... Yeah, no, you're right, though. I think I have seen them in... in uh -huh. the... Oh, we have one? Da, 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 da. Awesome. All right, guys. Where is he? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we have to sail out a bit. 
Oh my. Like a good bit. Alright. Well. Should we stock the boat a little bit before we go and just bring as much like tin and copper as we at least maybe like one copper vein and a bunch of tin? Yeah, yeah. Um We can always set something a little more permanent up once we're there. Uh oh, my pick is actually not I did not fix it. Foolish! All right, guys, we're going to do some stocking up. We're going to grab a bunch of tin and a bunch of copper and load the boat down a little bit, but then we're going to sail out to where the Elder is. Ugh. Yeah, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. But thankfully, we haven't seen a troll yet. Knock on wood. Uh -huh. hang, hang on, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Knock. Knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Ah! Go away, Grey Dwarf. Oh, thank goodness it's sun time. It's the sunrise. It's the morning time. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Spent all night wandering around the Black Forest, guys. But it's time to get out to where the Elder is. We finally know where the Elder is. Finally. Finally. Oh, yeah, this place has so much storage. We need more storage. We're going to need to build a bigger boat, guys. Eventually. Eventually. So, eventually. Okay. So, you can see the Elder on the map. Can you point us in the right direction? I'll steer. Uh, and you just tell me when yeah. we're... When are we... Yeah, just let me know when I'm actually facing in the right direction. I'm going to start turning. This boat is very difficult to steer. Oh, yeah. It's like driving a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to turn us... Uh, keep going to the to the left. We need to let you know. I think we we'll, we'll probably have to learn, like, boat terms for this thing. Yeah, port and yore. <laughs> Some, somebody who knows boats is cringing at that one. Come on! Okay. All right, so right over here, this is starboard. Ah. And this over here, left, is port. So keep turning it. Port. port. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Port side. Um, and then forward is ahead, and behind us is a stern. A stern. Why? All right. <laughs> uh, port a little bit more, and uh, ahead. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, drift it a little bit. Um, starboard. Starboard, and then just a little more. I mean, we'll won't be perfect. There you go. That's good. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, this thing is sluggish to react, but it's pretty nice still. I wonder if it goes faster if you have multiple sails. We should build a boat mm. with all three sails and really see if this thing takes off. Although that boat will be so big, there's no way we'll be able to park it anywhere near anything. Oh, no. But that would be exciting. I'm excited to build a giant boat. And we can build fires on it, so we could. We could make an entirely functional raft base. That's crazy. All right, guys, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, look at this. Doesn't look like we have too, too far to sail. But uh, you know how the ocean is. You know how the wind goes. We'll see how long it takes. Uh huh. That's just gonna fly out the back of the boat. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna get a bird's eye view from the boat. We're gonna see if Timely can pick up the meat before it flies off the back of the boat. Oh! That one went. There. Ah, there they go! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come back, little meats. Yeah, that might not be good to do while we're while we're moving, that's funny. Oh yeah, wow. I don't even think my cartography skill is very, very high, but uh, guys, look at the map. Look at the trail we're carving. It is actually definitely wider. Yeah. It is actually pretty cool. Like, it is noticeable, I think. Like, to me it is. I spend enough time staring at the map. <laughs> right, yeah. Especially sailing. You know how many times we made the sail to the first elder outpost location in my vanilla series on on the oh man not yeah was it the carve well the first time we did it on the raft and <laughs> oh oh my gosh <laughs> the boring voyage that was a 
That was a good first sale. If you guys haven't seen The Boring Voyage, I'll drop a link to the to that episode down in the description. <laughs> that was my first time sailing, and it was, uh, well, it was very long. <laughs> yeah, this might be a great place to set up a more permanent base. And then, you know, we've got plenty of uh, Sertling cores with us already. But, uh, you know, definitely by exploring and farming out here, we'll probably be able to make a bunch more. All right, I'm thinking this little spot right here. I'm going to try and get us as close as I can. There we go. All right. Rest, 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 rest. Uh, Let's hop off real quick to see if, it, if it'll make it stop moving, stop swaying, because it's still listing toward the shore here. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. Pop. It just makes it freeze in place. Beautiful. All right. Not a bad spot to land, guys. I like this little raised area. We should build a little outpost right here. This is this is actually really nice right here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get started on a little outpost where we can hopefully set up some beds and get started here. Yeah. Right. Uh-oh, troll already? <laughs> guys, looks like we're going to have to fight for our... Uh, Fight for our right to claim this piece of property here. Oh no, and we've got a, a, a Great Orf spawn over in the corner over here. I've got him harpooned. <laughs> that is crazy, actually. Uh oh. Having trouble dealing with the Great Orf. Stamina is an issue. I will be there as soon as I can. Oh no, splitting Grey Dwarf. Guys, I really gotta learn these stars a little better. Oh yeah, Grey Dwarfs don't like fire, guys. Let's use this little flint fire axe we found. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, coming over. Let's go take care of this troll, guys. Save the stamina, save the stamina. Nice dodge. Ah. Oh. Took that on the shield, that was nice. Oh gosh, too many gray dwarves everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, it's a, regre a regenerating gray dwarf brute. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that. Ha! That's what the fire's for. Regenerating whatever. Yes! Look at that! Double counter. That was beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, finish them. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Where was I? Guys, I'm just trying to set up a nice little home for us. It'll be, uh, I don't know, semi-permanent? Pretty permanent? We'll see. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what comes of it. All right. Definitely want a tree house. I always love building a tree house in the Black Forest. You down for a tree house? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, we're going to set to that. I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the video for today because it's going to take a while for us to throw together some materials to to actually get this uh, this treehouse built and get a little shelter going here. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, show your support, and stick around. We're going to be building up our supplies, getting some better armor because, you know, the bosses can have stars and they can have uh, affixes and stuff. So uh, I think we're going to want to get our full set of copper armor and some copper weapons before we go and challenge the next boss so stick around and join us for that in the next episode guys and have a great rest of your day Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and guys, thanks so much for wandering back out to the Modheim series. Glad you guys made it. If you're enjoying this series, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, be sure to click that like button, let me know that you're enjoying it, drop a comment below, talk to me, people! Anyway, uh, guys, we found out where the, uh, the Elder lived last time, and we took our awesome boat here. Have you guys met Rock Eater? I'll take you on a tour here in just a second. If you haven't met Rock Eater, you should check out the Valheim Raft mod. Let's you build on a raft, and actually lets you build your own boat's pretty cool we really like rock eater but we also set up a treehouse last time trying to just survive out here in the black forest now that we know where the elder is and we're getting things going so let me go let me just show off what we've got it's actually only been a couple hours or something since the last <laughs> the last episode oh crap dude we've got a bunch of gray dwarves all underneath the house oh man look at this house this house is awesome so excited to live here 
Let me do some battle and get rid of these guys. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, big guy. Okay, not a problem. I don't know why I'm on fire. I guess maybe he was fire infused, not sure. But <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, so yeah, timely set up all these awesome walls. I love these walls. We had these at our other base and you know, they're awesome. They're just, I like the look. I like the platform you can walk on. Really gives us some awesome defense and really keeps the enemies kind of out. Those those great orbs seem to walk right in, but we'll deal with that later. Anyway, guys, come check out the uh, come check out the treehouse we've got going so far. Oh hey, timely. Oh hi. This is coming along, guys. We were able to place fires right on the wood floor. I'm not sure what mod is allowing us to do that. That shouldn't be allowed, but we're gonna take advantage of it because mods. Yeah, look at this place, guys. I love this. This is going to be so nice. Especially this spot. It's not finished yet. Don't judge. We're working on it. Guys, we're going to keep working on this for just a little bit. Hopefully, you'll have something awesome. To oh, gosh, Timely, are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can finish this up a little bit. And then we're going to go scout out that elder location and probably get us a, a, a forge and a kiln going underneath and uh, start smelting stuff because we've got 96 you were saying last time 96 90, tin? oh 106 tin 106 yeah. tin so guys we've got plenty of tin already we just need some copper so we've got a little bit of grinding to do got to get our stuff up got to get ready for the next boss so yeah let's get to it what do you say no more lolly gagging well, let's go i hate gagging lollies wait no that doesn't add up <laughs> that yeah, does not make sense strike that reverse it <laughs> in the immortal words of gene wilder All right, guys, the house is feeling a lot more finished off. Look at this, this is nice. Ooh, look at the raised fires Timely's got going on over here. I like that, that's very nice. Yeah. We're gonna build fires on wood, build them on raised wood. Actually, it probably helps keep that fire, like that smoke going straight out too, just to get the, you know, get it oh, up there. Yeah, it's, it's really like, nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fix this right up. <laughs> that is super nice. Guys, I've got a nice little like rounded area out here that's pretty sweet, and we'll probably fix this up. But I'm gonna leave this alone for now. We need to we need to start working on the forge. Get to doing some stuff around here. Get to smelting yeah. some things. All right, guys. Looks like we got a smelter and a kiln going. We've got a nice little corner stashed over here for him, and we're gonna start smelting some stuff out. Time to go check out some copper veins and uh, probably scout that uh, elder boss location. I don't think uh. we're too far from it. Yeah. yeah, let's go take a look. I don't want to do anything super risky because uh, definitely don't have a whole lot of food. I'm surviving on like the last remnants of cooked meat and just a tiny bit of, oh, look at that copper right here, guys. Super nice. Oh, a troll cave though. Uh, I don't like that. It's a shame we didn't bring any carrots with us, although I do think, oh, I see another. There are carrot, uh, yeah, did we have seeds. seeds? Yeah. Oh, I just found some more carrot seeds. Plenty of tin along the shore, guys. We got another copper vein right here. There's so many deer up here, and they're all splitting deer. I just saw one split. Here's another splitting one. Yep. So many deer, actually. Guys, we have food forever now. Boom! Uh, double kill. Got two deer with one hammer. Heck yeah. I mean, who hunts with a bow? Who does that? <laughs> Oh no, I don't feel rested anymore. That's okay. We've pretty much scouted this whole area. This is pretty nice though. We're gonna be very comfortable here. We definitely set this up to be semi more permanent, I think. There's plenty of bronze and or tin and copper to go around. If we find uh, a swamp nearby, man, this would be nice. Good to go. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back and get that rested bonus. You wanna set out and try to check out the uh, the elder spawn location? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can come back and gather a bunch of tin. Guys, I'm kind of nervous to do a bunch of tin, or not tin, uh, copper. We mostly need copper. I'm kind of nervous to do copper gathering though, because we're gonna be in the middle of the black forest. We're just gonna have so many gray dwarves coming at us all the time. I hear you battling down there. You need help? Ah, uh, good. Just Probably set up more of a perimeter. But... Yeah. We'll get to it. All right, guys. Our elder outpost is looking uh, looking pretty good here. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go check this place out. Let's scout out the Elder Outpost, or scout out the Elder Summit area. Then we need to gather a bunch of tin, a bunch of copper. You know, the, you know the drill. I'm gonna run out and take a look at the uh, the Elder spawn location. Yeah. I'm gonna start on this here copper and get us a going. Yeah. Going. All right, guys, going out on our own. Okay. This bodes well right here, right in front of us. That's that's good. Ah, there we go, guys. I'm so glad we got that that slope, that slope mod. That's so nice. Just saved our butt there. Okay, we're coming up on the Elder Outpost. We haven't actually run into too much trouble. I hope Timely's not running into too much trouble staying back and harvesting up stuff. Hey, look, another chamber. Let's go ahead and mark this on the map real quick, guys. All right. Uh oh. Well, that sounds like a lot of skeletons and great door. Oh, two, two health, two health, two health. Oh, God. Okay, well. <laughs> Crap, guys, maybe we should run home. No, 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 no. We're... Hey, there's this. Hey, there's the Elder Summit. Let's go check it out. That's why we came out here. Oh, my gosh. This would be very difficult, single player. This would be very difficult. All right. This is actually a really nice open area to fight the, the Elder. I think Timely will be glad to hear it. This is a... Uh... This will be fine. Yeah, I should probably build like a raised area too. I always like a raised area to just get up off the ground. Although, I don't know, will the, will the elder, would he just summon his roots right there on the platform? Let's loop back around sort of timely though. It's really not far from um, our outpost, guys. That's gonna be super nice. Be very quiet. Oh man. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, nice. It's a five star deer. <laughs> oh, really? Is it alive down there? <laughs> oh, I, I, I took, I grabbed it. Uh, it dropped nine meat <laughs> and ten hide. <laughs> oh wow, five star. It was just, I saw it. it looked like, it, it looked like a, like a forest spirit. It was, uh, it was just this huge deer just standing there. That's awesome. And then I murdered it. And then it was dead. That's I right. honored it with the hunt. I'll put it that way. Ike there, Ike there would be okay with that. Ah, guys, where'd this storm come from? Oh my gosh. Well, that was a very dangerous trip out to the Elder, but you're gonna like the battle area. It's 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 nice. It's nice and open. Pretty good. Yeah, it's super flat. Nice. Um, yeah, it's some skeletons come this way, and uh, it's all of a sudden an arrow flies into my back. I didn't know what was up. Man, the archers. Yeah, you're right. I think the uh. The swamps between the skeleton archers and the draugr archers, it's gonna be that's gonna be dangerous. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't make a chest. Guys, I have to unload some stuff. I need more storage around here. Goodness. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Oh look, I cooked some coal for us. Guys, I'm always cooking coal. Are you out there harvesting in the rain? I'm a rainy boy. Ugh, I hate rainy days like this. Makes me want to stay inside and build. Weekend's gonna be rainy. Looking, looking forward to it. Always a good excuse to play more Valheim. What lit me on fire? Your fires <laughs> are too close to the. I'm really not sure. That that really just happened? I don't know, guys. You saw that, right? <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm building a pool, apparently. Oh, really? Are you digging like super down into the water? <laughs> just dug down, and uh, I'm, I'm like in the middle of the vein but it's uh, below sea level. Oh, that's awesome. You know, that just reminded me, actually, we haven't gotten into it yet because it hasn't come up, but uh, rice, we will need to yeah, make- Yeah, we need to find, uh, gotta find Haldor. Oh. He'll give us some rice. That's true. No, you can get rice another way. I think you can get it from doing something with Draugr intestines. Oh, so well, we, we might have a few of those on the boat. <gasps> what? Did we kill that one Draugr? Oh. Guys, I might have to go and experiment with that, because if we can start planting rice, I will lose my mind. I'm actually really liking this area right outside. If you look out your window there, this is like prime garden territory we should fence off. We don't have to work on that now, but food would be good. Food good. Food always good. Did I break my pick? Nope, we're good. Keep chopping. Oh man, look at it. Oh. That was the the most. In, wait, is it clearing up? I can't tell. My eyes and senses are deceiving me. There we go. 
Yeah, it all cleared up. All right, guys, we're still harvesting copper and tin, but uh, we'd like better rested bonuses. So I'm going to set out on a little adventure and go try and find us some birch trees out in the meadows nearby. Yeah, you going to stay here and do some copper gathering? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll leave timely to that. Oh, we're separating again. Oh, God. All right, I will, I will flee back in terror. Listen for my screams of terror. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Me and the audience behind the camera. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's a good run out here to the, to the meadows, apparently. Us and our tiny little stamina bar. We're surviving on the worst foods here. We need to, we need to get the garden growing. Oh, hey, more copper. Guys, we're so set here. We find a, if, even if there's not a swamp nearby, this is such a nice, solid black forest. Man, you know, ah, it might be worth just sailing the boat. You know how much iron we can carry on that boat? That'd be worth it. Whoa, that's a big four. Four star. Boom! Squish him with the hammer. All right. I don't think we need leather scrap for anything, but I'm sure that'll, that'll come in handy. Wow, triple deer. Look at that down there. How many deer is that? That's yes, three. Ah, they're too far apart. Guys, where are birch trees? We need some fine wood. I want a chair to sit in. All right, the copper axe only has a tiny bit of health left, so we're just gonna chop a couple of these trees. Hopefully it'll give us enough to make at least a table and a chair and a bench or something, you know. Get a couple more comfort. The comfort bonus is too nice. Gotta have it. Oh no! Oh, that was it, guys. That was all the... That's all the copper axe had in it. Well, that's that's pretty disappointing, actually. What do we have? 13 pieces. Of, well, I guess it's better than nothing. We can get, what, a table? Maybe a table and a chair? Let's head back. All right, guys. Home is within sight. We've got a lot of people chasing us, though. <laughs> Where's that hole? Is Timely still in his hole? Oh, yeah. Look at that rock. Look at that rock falling to pieces. Timely, I found some fine wood. Dig a hole, dig a hole. <laughs> dig a hole. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that is, uh, that is quite the pit. That's awesome. I'm gonna go try and throw down a table, at least. I don't know. We only got 13 pieces of uh, fine wood before the axe broke. We're up to comfort eight, so that's, that's pretty good. Getting up there. Oh, wait a minute. Are these birch? Birch cones. Guys, we're just gonna plant some birch trees around here. I'm gonna go and just replant all these seeds I'm carrying right now, kind of out here in the yard somewhere. We got, yep, fur. Pop. Pop. For sure. For sure. And birch. Mm, let's make a little cluster of birch somewhere. Very nice. Hopefully that all grows swiftly. Okay, yeah, what do we need to toss together a forge? Need some coal and some copper. I need two more stone. Two more stone? Actually, here, I have a bunch uh, on my person. Oh, nope, I dropped them upstairs. Guys, did I put everything away? I was gonna come down and build some wood and make a nice little platform for the forge, but uh, looks like I'm not carrying crap anymore. There we go. Oh yeah, here you go. It's in this chest right here at the end of the bed. It wasn't quite 50. <laughs> yeah. Look at that silly guy over there. Some people make uh, gray dwarf jails, prisons. Really? Put them in little, put them in little prisons. What <laughs> is the point? That's so silly. I don't know that I would do that. Why? Why do that? Just to uh, collect one of every enemy in the game or something? like. Yeah, have like a menagerie. Huh. Alright, well, I guess so. A little morbid. I've seen people collect trolls too. They like keep them in big pits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the heck? Alright, well. Now I can fix up this bronze axe whenever. We need to get ourselves some uh, copper picks, and then we'll really be churning and burning. What would be funny is to collect <laughs> some bosses. Just put the bosses in some big pits. Maybe we should. Guys, should we try and build a pit to trap the elder? Just line the entire bottom with like as many, you know, of those spike wall traps as we can. We should do it. We should try it out. One thing I think this might be a bit much, I don't know, but like, you know how there, there's invasions, which we haven't seen one on this server yet. Yeah. Uh, but um, kind of like how in Terraria, you, you know, after you kill one of the bosses, there's a chance for the other bosses to spawn. And so you'll just be like, 
chilling out in your base and you, you'll get a warning of like hey you hear the ground rumbling or whatever and then boom there's, there's a boss <laughs> oh that's awesome yeah i would so um, be down for that in in valheim just like suddenly ikethir just comes and randomly starts attacking your walls yeah all right guys timely still out there gathering us up some more copper oh we got a world save coming up but uh that's all right yeah, we got more copper on the way. I'm getting a garden going out here. We need some food, so I'm gonna try and start uh, try and start a little carrot garden out here at the very least. And I don't know. Uh, Timely said something about us having a couple of pieces of um, Draugr intestine back in the back on the boat. So I may check that out too and see if we can strain that. I think there's some kind of item I might be able to build now that we have the forge and some copper and tin. It's some kind of bucket or something. I'm gonna experiment because I've been really excited to check out this rice mod to see what that's all about. So, gotta get this garden growing. All right, so where are all these seeds? Show me the seeds. Here we go, seeds. I'm also gonna gather a bunch of wood and put some fencing around, cause uh, cause yeah. Guys, I was out here just uh. Working on my little garden, and now, oh gosh, I think he's throwing rocks at Timely. Guys, look at this giant troll just come. No, leave my fence alone. I just got this. Oh, he's aggressive, too. Oh, man. Get out of here. No, sir. Oh, oh I died. Oh, my God. Look how fast he's attacking. Oh, I didn't have any food, guys. I was too busy building. How many times has that killed me in this series? Oh, in all my series. He's, like, he, he attacks so fast. Oh, I'm on my way. Oh my gosh. I, I I barely have enough time to attack between his attacks. <laughs> Guys, that was oh foolish. God. I went for the block and I didn't even have any food. Uh, like, we need to eat. Eat. There we go. Eat, Hiccup. Oh my gosh. Put the armor on. Why are we not wearing stuff? I don't know if you can tell, like, if you can see this guy oh, just, we're like, watching. wailing. Yeah, he, no, he is. He's attacking extremely fast, actually. God, super aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, there we oh, go. Nice. All right, I didn't have the health, I think, to uh, to take it last time. All right. Man. Man. All right. So guys, we're gonna have to defend the crap out of this place, but Timely's got this giant pit dug. We got so much copper smelting. I've got our nice little farm going. It's only got about 15 or 18 carrots in it. I forget, I planted them a while ago, but hopefully I'm gonna spam this whole place with carrots and we can have plenty of that. Our base is growing, stuff is moving along. We're getting copper here. I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you had fun hanging out with us, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, hit that like, show your support, hang out, stick around for the next episode. We're gonna get a bunch of this copper grinding and stuff done off screen and uh, hopefully go and set up a trap. I think we were talking about setting up some kind of trap for the elder it could be interesting to try that and see see what comes of it but anyway guys thanks for hanging out with us today i hope you have a great rest of your day and we will catch you in the next episode Ooh, that's a four star brute Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and that's my buddy Timely out there fighting that giant gray dwarf brute. Oh, we just showed up to help. We're just gonna go ahead and get right into the fight. We gotta defend our new property here. We just got, we just fixed this base up last time. We were just building and making stuff. Oh, get them all. Nice. Okay, holy crap. Well, that was nuts. Yeah. Ah, but yeah, guys, thanks for wandering back out to hang out with us. Guys, if you've been enjoying the series so far, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Show your support. Drop us a line in the comments. What have you enjoyed so far? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The great doors do not stop coming. Oh, look at all the, go the goods, though. I think I actually got a legendary wood tower shield. Look at this thing. Holy crap. All right, let's get some sleep, guys. It's always too dangerous to hang out at night out here. Holy crap. Ah, look at our awesome treehouse. I love this treehouse. Still need to finish it up here. We've been working on copper gathering too much, guys. We need we need lots of copper for the armor. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's get some sleep.
see that awesome wake up dance we like got up at the same time with the same animation yeah. i love it all right guys love it. day 53 gonna keep smelting stuff i think we need more tin because i think the copper has been smelting out pretty good but time to get us some bronze armor foot head to toes bronze armor. we need to be bronze boys third place my toes need armor <laughs> Are you still wearing rag pants? No, you got some blueberry jeans on. Blueberry, blueberry. I throw some more. Here we go. Yeah. All right, guys, let us get some more smelting going. Wow. Guys, look at the crater Timely has dug out. Oh, there's a little more copper over there. Yeah, you're on it. That is a crazy pit. Guys, we want to dig a pit like this kind of out where the elder is and see if we can get him, like, stuck in it. You know how easy that would make him? Just shoot some arrows at a dude stuck in a hole. I doubt it, though. Something tells me he'd be able to walk it up. I don't know, though. We'll have to find out. Oh, uh, that's going to be nervous. Hey, have we been in this troll cave? I'm going to walk inside this troll cave real quick. Help him, I say hi. Oh, I think I heard him breathing. Oh, we do have a troll, guys. Let's get him. What do you say? Oh, he's not very happy. Oh, that hurt a little bit, but we're all right. So far, so good. Woo, one-star troll. We got this, though. We got this, though. Ow. Man, that rock just hit me for so much damage. Wow. Hang on. I'm going to get back in there. We're going to fight this guy for sure. For sure. Woo. Doing a little enemy juggling with barely any health wow i got 29 health i hear you fighting out there are you fighting yeah just defending against some dwarves that are gray oh them gray dwarves oh kind of want to go back in there and try the patrol again but man that hit for so much actually i think we'll just leave him we'll leave him in his cave guys <laughs> we'll come back for him later oh my gosh yeah, i need better food i'm still living on like mushrooms and berries and stuff Actually, haven't been able to get any uh, neck tail in a while. Uh, neck tail and meat was working pretty good for a while, but uh, we don't have any necks around here. Neck tail. Woo! <laughs> That's a show I haven't seen in decades. All right. So, yeah, about this intestines and stuff. Let me, uh, guys, let me look through the build menu here. I think there's some cool things in the crafting here. Here, here we go. Tool for milling rice. Tool for extracting brown rice, hang the harvested rice here to dry it. We've got all sorts of stuff. Rice flour, okay. Mm. <laughs> all right, so I think I need a bucket to collect seawater. And then you want, uh, but, yeah. but uh, how do I make a bucket? Because when I hover over bucket, it just says you need a bucket. Well, obviously. Oh, okay. So come over. Gotta make it here. Yep, and all right. Craft, craft the bucket while over seawater got it okay just need some of this actually guys let's do a little experimenting because i'm still trying to build up the garden i really want some better food let's see what we can do ah, we're gonna need some wood always needing wood always go chop some trees real quick oh hey look at that our um our birch trees have spawned already we can just have us a couple of Couple of fine wood trees right next door. Very nice. Oh, he ran away from that last hit. There it is. All right. Okay, that should be enough wood. Let's get back to what we were doing. Jeez. Great dwarves. Let's go ahead and make us a bucket, guys. Bucket. There we go. We have us a bucket. Use bucket on what? On this water here. <laughs> oh, but really, though. <laughs> you can get... Okay, it straight up says you can get seawater by throwing this bucket into the sea. So let's craft a few of them. And then I'm literally just going to toss them into the water here, guys. Blunk, blunk, blunk. Oh, look at them. They, did they change? Maybe not. There, I picked up all the buckets. Are they full of seawater? No. Uh, check your inventory. If you have any seawater, just buckets. Uh. Guys, what am I doing wrong here? Yeah, I'm not getting any seawater no matter what I do. 
throwing this bucket into the sea. That's what I did. When you say, when you say you're throwing it into the sea, what do you like? Are you just like tossing it out of your inventory? Yep. Oh, okay. So um, I'm putting it in the hot bar and like trying to select it to use it, but it just says use bucket on what, and it won't let me do anything with it. Um. All right. Give me that. Toss me one of them buckets. Have a bucket. Have a bucket. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, you you have a bucket as well. Yep. All right. So pull out your uh your hammer and act like you're gonna build. Go to misc miscellaneous on the left. Oh, and you like what? Okay then. So this is how we do. Interesting. I'm gonna have to build this up a little bit, actually. Let's let's do that, guys. We're gonna make this our nice little spot for gathering, uh, gathering this sort of thing. Let's build this up a little. All right. Let's collect a little more seawater then. That's interesting. That's a different way to do it. Nice. There you go. All right, guys, let's get some seawater. And we'll try to figure out how to grow some rice. And str I think you can strain it out of entrails. I'm pretty sure I read that in the description. I was That's awesome. Yeah, I was hanging on to that detail. I thought it would come in handy. Bit gross, but whatever. I'm not the mod maker. <laughs> <laughs> you must not drink seawater, it says. Yep, that's good. That's good. I wouldn't. Hmm, I wonder if I need the cauldron or something to do this, like, separating. You. Oh, that's a good question. Alright, where's all that smelted tin? Make the cauldron so we can start making foods for ourselves. How much does it take to make a make a cauldron, actually? Ten. Ten tin. Ten tin? Ten ten. Look at that. Nice and neat. Nice and neat. What's too far? How so? The hell you say? Hey, that works. Oh, look at that. Water. Clear water. All right, so we can strain that out to make normal oh. water. Interesting. Is there anything new in here? No, but I will make some water. Let's make some water out of the seawater, guys. What does water do? Do you drink water? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Oh, guys, we made the wrong thing. Oh, what, 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 what? I need wolf pelt for this. Okay, so I think I know what we need to make in order to make uh, in order to wash the the stuff and and get the things. Um, oh, look at all these chests. Yeah, no, there's definitely a like a giant bucket. Look at this salt water bucket. This is what I think we need to rinse things off in. But unfortunately, we need wolf pelt for it, so we're not gonna have that for a little bit. All right, so I guess I'm gonna give up on my rice dream for now. Curses! Oh well. Don't give up on your dreams. Go kill a wolf. We got a mountain around here. Yeah. I would do it. All right, so how is how is the copper and the tin smelting going? I think we'll. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have plenty eventually. Um, while that's going, kind of want to go and start working on that trap for the elder. Yeah. Um, I may do that in the morning. Yeah. If you want, I, I can pretty much... I might just man this. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you want to do um, that, I can I can definitely run out and uh, start on a trap. It's just going to be a great big hole, and then I'll try to fill it with a big spiral of those, of those spike wall traps. And, you know, if it works on him, cool. If it doesn't, that's fine, too. Yeah. Anyway, is it getting dark? Is it time for bed? Tomorrow will be a new day of adventures. A new day. All right, so I just dumped off all of my wood in the kiln there for Timely. He's going to sit here and man the uh, the smelter in the forge. Guys, we're going to make sure our pick is good to go. I don't even have a pick. What happened to my pick? I put my pick away somewhere. Guys, we're going to go find our pick, and we're going to go dig a hole and try to make a little bit of a trap for the elder and see if that works. We'll see if that works out. Yeah, let me make sure I have enough food for the journey. Oh, speaking of food, let me check on the garden. Does that finally have the carrots? Ooh, yeah, good question. I mean, I probably won't har harvest harvest any of them for food. I'll probably just replant them all as seeds. 
just to really get this going. Nope. Yeah. They're all just healthy. All right, nothing made yet, but hopefully when we get back, we'll be able to make a bunch of iron armor. You go ahead and smelt up and craft whatever, man. Don't feel the need to wait for us. All right, guys. Let's... Oh, I won't. No, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Oh, what is this? We've got things that must be killing other things in the forest out here. There's just items laying on the ground. Let's go see what we have. Another gold pickaxe and and a wood shield. Yeah, it looks like a wood shield. All right. Well, if you can hear me, we're taking off. I'll see you later. Be careful. Okay, guys, I'm wandering back out to my body because, you know, we were in the hole and then the troll came out of nowhere with a club and smashed me and killed me. And then I started screaming and Timely came to help, but I think Timely died too. Yeah. Um, went into a burial chamber. There was a poison and few. I, I, had, I had these skeletons. There was like five skeletons and I was using my monk abilities to handle them but uh, the last one that I killed was poison infused and it just got got the better of me. Oh man, yeah, sometimes when that poison gets applied to you, that's it's really all you can, you can't do anything, you know, especially if you have very low health already. Okay, I don't know where the troll is, but he's gone, so we're just gonna take advantage of that, get our stuff. All right guys, back to chopping, back to digging the hole. After I deal with this guy, that's the troll right there, guys. I can see him. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten. What am I doing? Uh oh, do skeletons and trolls like each other? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh no, a shaman. No. Timely! <laughs> oh no. This just keeps getting worse and worse and worse out here. Oh man. Woo! This is ridiculous. Stop healing him. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm never gonna be able to kill either of them. That shaman is just staying behind the troll. Just healing him up. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. Ooh. Ah! I think we've just about got the troll, guys. Okay, troll's down. Wow. Dodge that poison. Man. I'm thinking trying to set up the trap out here would really just kind of trap myself a few good times. My gosh. <laughs> it's effective. It works. Wow, all right. Okay, back in the pit, guys. Super deep in here. This is uh, hopefully too low to be attacked by a troll now, right? Uh-oh. Set a two-star gray dwarf drop in the hole, guys. Oh, boy. Hi, hey, buddy. All right, not too bad. Not the most intimidating thing they could have dropped in. Oh, my gosh. All right. All of this epic loot stuff is just filling up my inventory so much all the time. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we've got a little bit of the pit dug. Things are going well out here. Uh, it's getting pretty dark out, so I'm going to head back home and get some shut eye. But we got to fill in that trap with a bunch of spike walls and stuff, spike pillar thingies. And then uh, hopefully Timely has enough of that uh, that copper and bronze and tin all that smelted together and we can make ourselves some armor. What do you think? Let's get home. Oh my gosh, are we home yet? In the Black Forest has never been a joke, but my gosh. Oh, I see you guys fighting down there. I'm coming. You got it. Very nice. Oh my gosh. This is tough. <laughs> I like it. Difficult time. Haha. <laughs> Are you still fighting out there? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hang on. Look at that brute. Oh, man. 
like that monk Beast class bled. is pretty powerful. <laughs> yeah. We really just came out here for some wood. Well, there you go. Oh. Wood and wood. Stone and resin. Hey, you got an enchanter back here? Oh. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna start scrapping so much of this. Just make sure you don't scrap anything that you're wearing. <laughs> right. It will make you sad. So what do you do? You sacrifice it? Sacrifice, yeah. And it also, like, I don't know if you see it, but it also works for, like, trophies. Uh, it's not letting me. Like, the sacrifice button is just grayed out. Oh, it says inventory full. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys, let's scrap some stuff. I'm tired of carrying all of this stuff. Oh, look at all this. New stuff, new materials, new crafting things. Essence, rare dust, stuff. Got some carrots planted. Get some stuff going. Guys, it's moving along just nicely. So nicely. Alright, should we sleep through the night? Yeah. I just got to put some more uh, spike traps down in my my uh, elder trap out there in the morning. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sp oh. Good morning. Spike walls. Spike walls. That's what we're doing today. Spike walls. So awake. All right. Let's go get us some. Uh, make sure the axe is good. Yep, we're good. All right. Let's go get us some, some normal wood and some pine wood. Get some core wood. All right. Back out to the trap. All right, guys, so be honest. How many of you have fallen victim to your own traps? Like, <laughs> I got this thing all built up, and I accidentally, like, got myself pushed all the way to the center there and got myself killed real hard. But uh, the trap is looking pretty good. I Hopefully, we'll be able to get the, the elder to trip down in here and, and crash and fall. <laughs> That'll be pretty cool, huh? I think so. Anyway, let's get back and see what Timely's been up to. I, hopefully, he's got enough of this uh, copper and tin and stuff smelted down where he can make some armor and... Guys, hopefully if we've got our full set of armor, then we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to go ahead and take down the elder in the next episode. What do you think? I think so. I think it'll be great. Am I even heading in the right direction? Where am I going? Okay, we're kind of headed in the right direction. There it is, home sweet home. Oh, time must be taking a break up there. All right, guys, look at this. Carrots are coming in nicely. We got some more flowers, good carrot seeds growing. Base has been defended. Guys, I'm going to get inside, help uh, Timely start smelting up a bunch more copper and stuff. I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. All right, everybody. It looks like we've got enough. I think we have enough. Let me go ahead and grab a bunch of this bronze and tin and go over there and see just how much armor we can toss together and see if we can outfit ourselves for the battle ahead. There's 10 bronze for two leggings. I need another five for... Uh, my headpiece. I actually think that's it, guys. So what do we need to make all the bronze stuff? What am I missing? Oh, yeah, hide stuff. I need hide. That'll do if I can make it back to the forge, guys. Can we make it? Okay, there we go. All right. Armor up to 25. Feeling tougher. I got your pants for you. My pants. Guys, let's go drop our old outfit on the boat somewhere. All right. Feeling tougher, guys. Probably use whatever's left over to uh yeah we might use whatever leftover bronze we have to level up i know i want to level up maybe my axe or something and just uh i love the axe the or the at gear that's what i wanted oh yeah i might want to make an at gear before the battle can we make one of those do we have enough i bet we do ah yeah there we go time to replace this hammer it's been fun throwing it around but it's just not it's not as effective i don't think right what's the damage difference we're looking at here Oh, yeah, about 25 points. Yeah, time to re retire that awesome purple hammer, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to mess with this now. Huh. hi -ya! Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the, the posts there, but uh, yeah, look at this thing, guys. We can go into battle with this. That's what I'm talking about. I like it. It's going to be good. 
Yeah, all right, well, let us get around to smelting up some more of this stuff. Let's level our armor, maybe our weapons. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna grow some food. But uh, guys, next time, hopefully we'll be taking on the Elder. Hopefully my trap will work. What do you think? Let me know. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you had fun with this one, if you had fun hanging out with us, do me a favor, smash that subscribe, hit that like button, stick around for the next episode. We'll catch you guys there. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Look at this nonsense! No, you don't! Nope, nope! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! There's so many roots! Oh, guys, I can see our bag of stuff. Oh no, we're out of stamina. Oh, God. Yeah, no, he got us again. No, it's so bad. Guys, this is terrible. No, 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 you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! Oh, man. There's too many. It's an army. There's so many. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Thanks again guys for coming back out to the Modheim series. Super excited today, we're gonna go and challenge the Elder Boss. We've got all our copper gear and our copper gear. I'm repeating myself, I said that twice, didn't I? <laughs> We've got our copper <laughs> armor and our copper weapons. We're all set to go. Uh, we also cooked some special food for the occasion. We've got some serpent meat that we got from the one serpent that uh, we dragged up onto the abyssal shell. That was an awesome. That was a good. That, it's we've had a couple of very exciting episodes in all of this. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Did you want some of that back? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna show it off. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, giant serpent meats. Look at that stuff, guys. It's awesome. Nice cooked serpent meat for today. We also, we, I think we've encountered one Draugr, so we had just enough intestines to make us uh, four, um, uh, four uh, sausages. Timely's practicing sausages. his kung fu moves on the tree trunk over there. Don't break our support there. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm the strongest monk alive. Get rid of these ladders. Anyway, guys, it is kind of uh, about midday uh, we were talking about trying to turn this into uh, a sundial out here actually I might remove all these beams so that there's no other shadows and we might just use the tree as a sundial that'd be awesome uh, timely seems to know exactly what corners would represent what time of day so he's going to teach me the ways of time because I'm an ignorant Viking I'm a chipmunk scout <laughs> they have chipmunks <laughs> in, in, in the Norselands or wait what would it be like a like a Grey Dwarf Scout. <laughs> yeah, something something along those lines. Anyway, guys, we're just chilling. We're waiting for the morning, and then we're going to go out there and challenge him, and hopefully we can get him trapped. The elder, we, hopefully we can get the Elder trapped in in, uh, in this nice little hole with all these spike walls that I made. You guys will have to check it out. It's going to be exciting. And if we beat him, we may challenge him again, and who knows? He could be one star. He could be two star. He could be three star. He could have all sorts of different affixes. Fire, lightning, summoning... I don't know. It's going to be exciting. Stick around. We'll get to it in just a few minutes here. Fists are about to level up. You're really? Just from punching the tree? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm training. <laughs> yeah, you get ready. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and just sit down and take a nap. I just, I'm, I'm good. I'll just, I'm just going to listen to the sound of knuckle on fist. Anyway, guys, if you find yourself enjoying this one at all, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, stick around, drop a line in the comments, and hang out with us, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to that boss fight. Eye of the Grey Dwarf. There it is. Level 38 fists. Very nice. Well, hopefully those fists will come in handy. All right. Waiting for the morning. Hey, I can sleep. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, gosh. I'm kind of nervous. I'm yeah. Ner I'm nervous. <laughs> this is not going to go. I just, I don't know. I have a gut feeling. This is just going to be, this is going to be the first time that the boss... This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a wall, and the boss is just gonna say no today. <laughs> Being a pessimist, it's okay. I hope so. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. Uh, ooh, careful now. Any any carrots grown? Any any mature carrots? No, <laughs> not.
that didn't. <laughs> oh man, look at the company we have out in the front yard. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to fight our way out. Ooh, I'm trying to save my food, guys. I don't want to eat, but 29 health is probably not what we should, we should be doing. <laughs> let's uh, yeah. yeah, let's just sprint out there. Let's get out there, man. Here, I'll uh, I'll do this actually. Come here. By the power of Ikea. I have the power. Okay, we jumped at like the exact same moment earlier and it was magical. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen the trap yet, have you? I'm gonna go ahead and eat, guys. I guess we're close enough. I need to let it start healing. Oh yeah, look at that health stamina bar. That's gonna be super helpful. Hopefully keep our keep our little Viking butts alive. Viking butt. Alright, don't fall in the pit, because the pit is like right here. Vicious pit. My God, look at that pit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, oh no, never mind. They, I forgot they removed. You used to be able to uh, harpoon bosses, but you can't anymore. Oh, that's all right. I don't know. He might just walk around it, but either way, I mean, it'll give us something to, something to fight around. Oh, I'm kind of nervous, guys. Still waiting for the health to come back a little bit. We're gonna let the health tick up just a little bit, and then we'll get to it. Oh, man. My nerves. My nerves. You gotta punch those nerves out. Why do you have so much energy? Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do to sit. <laughs> 148 health. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're good, guys. I guess we're 160 health. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Everybody wish us luck. Here we go. Ah, oh, crap. And away we go. Yeah. Oh, 11 minutes of a rested bonus, too. That's good. That's that's not bad. And I have I have arrows for when I, when I just want to cower and run and, and shoot that. That's, yeah. Oh, gosh. Here we go. The Elder has awoken. Get him while he's still oh sitting. Oh, my God. He's two-star. So he's two-star. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, rolling out. <laughs> Here comes the stump. Oh. Did you get hit? Oh, oh man. Timely oh, no. My health there. Uh, brutal. Actually, oh, I yeah, may... yeah. Should we lure him to the pit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's lure him to the pit. I need to switch to my axe. I think the axe probably does more than the the at gear. Oh. Come on, big guy. Follow us over here. Actually, where's the bow, guys? Let's tease him with the bow. We got some fire arrows. We made some fire. Are those not my fire arrows? I'm shooting wood arrows. Why am I shooting wood arrows? We are not hunting deer. Oh. Oh! That's some Matrix stuff right there. Dodging so nice. Oh! Is he just not going to? Oh my gosh, to your right, Timely. It's a problem. This is lots of problems. Holy crap, guys. Why does this always happen on boss battles? I don't know what the Elder's shooting at, but I'm glad he's giving us a break. Oh, that hurt, actually. That oh, hurt a watch lot. Watch out, tree. Oh. Tree coming down. Oh my gosh, that's gonna kill me. The next one that hits me. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Holy crap, guys. I'm in trouble, guys. We need to heal. Can we heal? Can you roll around his feet, Kung Fu Master? Did he just sup? No, guys. Oh, oh, he just stomped on me. Uh oh, are you gone? Oh, he summoned a uh, Grey Dwarf. He did nest, summon right? a Grey Dwarf Nest, yeah. Yeah. Ba oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I'm coming on my way back. Nope, nope. We're playing it safe, guys. We got the bow. We're playing it safe. Oh, guys. When is Timely going to get back? Oh, it's coming for us. Oh, it is. A, it's approaching. It's walking all around the trap, actually. No, no, no. We need you to get... We need you to fall into that nice hole right there. Do you see that? Yes, get caught in fall in somehow. I don't think he's going to, guys. He seems to be just caught by caught right on the lip of it, just hanging out. Ah, oh, man. All these trees and stuff are making excellent blocks, guys. Uh-oh. Yeah! We're... Woo! Holy crap. Oh, rough second boss fight, guys. Two stars. This is rough. Very rough. 
Greendorf's chasing me all over the place. Nobody is falling into the pits. The pit was pointless. I'm sad. I'm so sad the pit is not working. Oh no, he summoned another nest. Guys, this is becoming ridiculous. Oh, that hurt a lot. That Oh, that hurt way too much. Wow, I see you've made a lot of friends, Timely. They're not invited. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, that hurt so much. I'm in trouble. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Guys, really can only take the one oh. hit at a time. We have a skeleton over here who's going to help us out, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, man. Brave little Skellington. I'm actually really glad he didn't spawn with two stars and an affix of some kind. Yeah. Oh, he's mad at that me now. Been... I've been I've been shooting him with arrows over here. He's upset. There's too many shaman in this fight. Also, too many falling trees. Okay, I think I took out one of the shaman. No, stop healing him. You little minion. No! No! Oh my gosh! Oh, guys! This is only the second boss. I don't even want to think about the- Oh, it's a troll! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! No! Guys, why? Why have we done this? This is so bad. I had so much trouble. The white star is a splitting troll, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. Oh, great. A brute. And he's a quick one. Oh, I hope everybody else is having a great day. Look at this nonsense. No, you don't. Nope, nope. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, there it goes, guys. He got me that time. Crap. All right, guys, we're almost back. I can hear the sounds of battle. We're getting pretty close to our death marker. The Elder's almost halfway dead. I think he's healing again. I think there must be more Shaman around him. How you doing, Timely? Oh, no, that's just, that's just pure Business. Elder. Not very Oh, elder. the troll is back. Oh, no. The Put troll the still wants some. Throwing the armor on. Okay, back in this. Let me get at least one of their attentions. I wonder if I can get the Elder's attention. I'm just going to keep laying down the fire arrows on him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the troll's walking away. We're, we're doing all right. I would come in there and help you fight, but I ate some berries before I came. I don't have the good food. Oh, no, he summoned another. Ah, I'm going to destroy it. No. Destroy it. Oh no, a shaman! <laughs> I died! There's so many roots! Oh man. Alright guys, we just made it back. Timely! Timely, where are you? Oh man, the troll's in the pit, guys. Look at that. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No stamina and seven health. This is, this was smart. This was smart. Uh, guys, I don't know where Timely is. I don't think he made it. Ah! Uh, uh, at least the troll's in the pit. I don't know how time we managed that, but that's amazing. Oh, unless the troll just got tired of living. I know I'm getting pretty tired of it. Oh my gosh. Guys! Ah! <laughs> Guys! This is not good. None of this is good. I have to eat a blueberry or something. We have to heal. We have to heal something. Just eat a blueberry. There we go. I'm not blueberry. <laughs> oh god. Oh, guys, I can see our bag of stuff. Oh no, we're out of stamina. Uh, yeah, no, he got us again. No, it's so bad. Guys, this is terrible. Oh. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello. I'm going to just, I'm going to take a minute to, rec re yeah, just recount the events of the afternoon. We're going to get back out there. Uh, we need some comfort bonus, though, guys. My plan is to don't fall into the pit. Don't fall into, is that what happened to you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's that's terrible. And then uh, the the troll came with me, and so did all the gray dwarves. <laughs> um, 
I don't so, believe you it. Know, not a complete loss. There was so many great ores when I got there. They've been spawning so many. I did see the troll in there though. Oh yeah, and then I died. I died on the way here because there's a there's a, there's this little sniper around here somewhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is terrible. The guys, this has been a rough afternoon. Do you think the elder will still have half his health, or is he gonna heal a chunk because we've been gone? Hmm. Oh yeah, they don't they don't leave. Oh, yeah. oh okay, he, he's still hurting. We're going in. Or oh man, look at him like we're not. look at him like posturing his like roar. That was oh awesome. nope, I died. It's just me and my fists. <laughs> Good luck. We'll be right back. Again. No, 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 no. You don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, we're too. We're over encumbered. What is? What is too heavy? Okay, now we can move. Woohoo! Oh, I cannot believe we just survived that. I don't even know what was on my screen. I was seeing so much at once. Wow. Wowie zowie. All right, guys. We're back. We got the gear. Everything is. Uh, not looking up, but looking better. So we're gonna keep trying, plucking away here. All right, stamina. I gotta recover the stamina. There are so many gray dwarves after me. I'm trying to ignore them and really trying to focus down the elder. I don't know if that's a winning strategy though. <laughs> I just have this train of gray dwarves after me. You know what? Guys, Timely said he led them into the pits. Let's go see if we can lead them into the pit. Unless the elder, uh, no, the elder will just pin us down in there. Did I not grab my fire arrows? How did I not grab my fire arrows? Please tell me where they were dropped. Yeah, I don't have any fire arrows with me, guys. What happened? I'm shooting wood arrows at the elder? He's just laughing at me. Actually, I probably just ran out, honestly. There are so many things out here, guys. So many trolls. So many great orbs. This is ridiculous. Oh, hello, Timely. Welcome to the show! Holy crap! No! Oh my gosh, guys, we can't stay still. He doesn't give us a break. Ah. There are so many fallen trees and great orbs and... Oh! Branching, attacking tentacles. Oh, that almost killed me. I have 22 health left. No, 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 oh, guys, we're down to 20 health. What are we doing? We can't dodge anymore. Oh, this is ridiculous. Guys, victory is not assured. Nope, nope, we died. I died. Oh, man. There's too many. It's an army. There's so many. Great, I don't even know which death is our most current death guys there's so many freaking tombstones out here this is the one this is the one right here the question is can we get it oh nope 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 apparently it's too heavy and we're carrying too much crap what am i my inventory should be empty no it's not empty it's so much crap laying out on the ground out here guys i can't pick up my inventory oh man this is going so horribly making one more run for it let me get it. I'm carrying too much, I guess. Okay, now we're good. Get dressed, man. Get dressed. So many gray dwarves. All right, guys, we gotta we gotta get rid of some gray dwarves. It's the only way we're gonna survive this. The elder can uh, he can throw some stuff right now if he wants to, but we need to empty the field. Not even sure how many we've just killed or how many. Oh my gosh. Ah, come on, guys! I don't know how many great orbs we just killed. So many great orbs. I am blind. There are too many trees. Ah, oh, so many great orbs. Yes, yeah, skeletons. Get them, skeletons. That's ridiculous. Are you able to focus on him a little bit? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Ow! Too many brutes, and I have so many things chasing me over here. This is obscene. Guys, I've never fought, I've fought crowds of gray dwarves before, but nothing like this. I can't believe you're doing all right over there. It's too many, too many, pillars. too many. Okay. No, oh, he got me again, I'm down, I'm sorry. 
Oh, hello there. Good morning again. Yeah, Sounds yeah. Good. Let's get to the top of the top of the freaking day to you. This freaking elder beast. I'm over it. Guys, next time I'm building some straight up fortifications. And I don't know, man. I have never fought the sheer numbers that we're having to deal with right now. Oh, look, a troll. Go away. Please go away. Please go away. Oh. I'm not even going to be able to pick up my bag when I get to it because I picked up so much wood and stone along the way because there's just so many dead gray dwarf everything everywhere. Okay, the take all button is nice. Can I have a drop all button? Whoa! I'm carrying too much. Why does this continuously happen? Oh, no! Get out of the inventory! Get out of the inventory! Ah! Oh, I can't believe I lived. How did I live through that? Guys, how did we live through that? I'm not sure what managed, what happened, what now? I'm gonna have to watch the health bar on that take. Wow. How? That doesn't even make sense. So many stones! Will you guys stop with that? Oh no, the troll. The traps in the... The spike traps in the pit were not enough to, to deal with the troll, but at least the troll's down there, I guess. Oh my gosh, all of these... Where, where are you at, Timely? Are you, uh... Oh, I died! Oh. <laughs> are you, you back here again? Hello. Or have you not There's left? There's carrot soup in there. Yeah, I just chucked some of that down. Awesome. All right, guys, here we go. Round 742. Okay. Let the arrows raid. Oh, he's got like half his health back. Guys, just ticking away at that health. Just ticking away at it. Do you know what the best part about this is? No gray dwarves near me. Timely is punching and kicking at his feet. Champ. Uh. Oh, no. All right, we lost Timely again. This elder boss fight has been absolutely ridiculous, guys. I don't know what he's shooting at, but I'm glad he's taking a break from shooting at me. Oh, Timely, is that you down there? <laughs> I'm a distraction. <laughs> Uh-oh. I've got a bunch of gray dwarves on me now. Where have you all come from? We had such a good long shot there of just nothing and, and being able to fight uninterrupted. Oh, I see you wailing on him. Get him. Kick him in his feet. Kick his toes in. A couple more hits. Guys, we've got it. The elder is down! All right. Let's group up and take out all these gray dwarves. Are you dead? Is Timely dead again? Guys, Timely gave his life. Timely gave his life. Must kill all of the gray dwarves. Oh, guys, thankfully there doesn't seem to be any Great Orf nests anymore. Oh, thank you, Fire Arrows. This is making this job a lot easier. Oh my gosh, guys. Hey, time we made it back. You got his stuff. Awesome. Let's take care of the rest of these Great Orfs. What do you say? Too many shamans out here healing people. I'm tired of it. <laughs> There's those fists. Nice. That thunderous key punch. Ah, oh. good. That's awesome. Or chi punch. Oh, that was awesome. All right, did you get the swamp keys? Yes, got those. Okay, cool. Oh, guys, well that was absolutely ridiculous. Did you recover your stuff? Is that your? Is that the right bag? Uh, I uh, the troll has my bag. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, it's gonna be tough to dig out. Well, all right, everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up today's episode. That was absolutely frantic running around trying to fight the Elder with all of those gray dwarves. That was absolutely nuts. I can't believe that. I can't believe we actually were able to beat it, mostly thanks to the Kung Fu's talents of Timely over here. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, look at that cheer. Anyway, <laughs> guys, if you had fun hanging out with today, do me a favor, subscribe, hit that like button, let us know you liked it, and we'll catch you in the next mod hop, guys. We hope to see you there. I hope you're having a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You know what I mean. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>
We've got everything updated now. Hearth and Home just dropped a little while ago, and it's this is a brand new world with the Hearth and Home update. So we've kind of done a little bit of a soft reboot here and brought us up to date with everything that the game's got going currently. By the way, guys, if you're just here to see us sail the boat, there's a timestamp in the description. You can jump right to that. You can skip all the stuff we're about to get into. So uh, go ahead and do that if you're just here for the boat. We've been waiting around a little bit for the mods to update and to become, you know, usable within what the Hearth and Home update has to offer now and everything. And we've got a good list of that going on below. Guys, check the description down below if you want to see what we're using now currently. And remember that mods are not really sponsored by the devs. So, um, you know, back up your save files and make sure you've got everything you need, all the knowledge you need before you go into that blindly. Uh, make sure to make sure protect your save files. Save your worlds. Yeah, remember a happy... Uh, no, a safe modder is a happy modder. Always helps to have a friend who knows what they're doing, too. Hey, hey, Timely, I wish I could, like, shoulder bump you and push you off this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> ah, anyway, guys, so we're not going to do a complete reboot. I said, I think I said soft reboot. I, I hope I said soft reboot. So we've just rebooted the world, but we've got our same characters, and we're carrying some of the same stuff that we had from the previous, you know, uh, previous world. And in order to kind of like jump ahead and catch up to what we were doing, we've built another boat. Did you guys like Rock Eater? Because Rock Eater was cool, but uh, Rock Eater has evolved into Graveler. And uh, I'm so excited to show that off right now. Timely put in a lot of effort and work on this ship, so everybody give him a round of applause right now. Do it right now. I want to hear claps as we travel. Here we go. <laughs> They're all clapping. Oh, that's a carb. Guys, have you seen carbs before? This is a carb. That, that is a carb. This is Graveler. Look at this thing. So this is like the raft mod to the extreme. It is amazing. And it is not finished. It's not finished yet. We're going to do some more tweaks. We're going to do a little bit more building. I think Timely really wants to add another layer to the bottom. Get it to sink into the water a little more. Yeah, and you can do all this with, uh, if you go to the mod page, it'll tell you what you need as far as plugins, like extra mods, but um, the two tools that I used for this is just the raft, raft mod and Valheim Plus. Um, it allowed me to get, if you see, there's those pieces that are angled certain ways that you normally can't get in the vanilla game. Um, so that's it, just you know, raft to make the thing move. Uh, work as, as a mod w would or as a raft of uh, boat would and uh, but Valheim plus you know, just allows you a little bit more creative freedom with with moving uh, pieces around yeah, yeah I really um, like the long angles like the just I don't know the, the ship frame itself and how nice and rounded and smooth it looks I mean guys look at this stuff but yeah. enough of staring at the outside we should go check out the inside oh yeah Guys, look at this. Now this is a freaking ship. I love this. This is amazing. This is gonna travel in style. Now trying to get this thing to move is probably good. We haven't tried to sail it yet, so, and you know, the old uh, rock eater definitely sailed like a boat. I mean, it, it, it moved horribly. <laughs> Not horribly. I, I I mean that in a good way. Like it was just it was very difficult to steer, and it made for some very comical moments. But this thing is so much bigger, and I can only imagine what it's going to be like. I don't know how much of it is the mod creator. Um, if they took the time to make this thing feel like you were driving a boat, I I, I haven't driven a boat, but I just feel like it it would you know these. It's wide turns, um, it's hard to control the sp speed, uh, but once it gets going, I mean, it's 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 like a tank just plowing through the water. Um, but it's a lot it's a lot different than, you know, the carve, you can make some pretty tight turns, and on this thing, you, you're moving this massive object around, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This thing is crazy. Uh, and guys, I tried to make it as cozy as I could on the inside. You gotta have that comfort bonus. The camera angle's a little tight, but look at this place, guys. Do a slow pan here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That, that was perfect. I came into camera, <laughs> and you were just like, thumbs up, my man. I'm like, yeah! Look at this workbench, guys. This workbench is level four. But, uh, you know, we've only got two of the upgrades, but I'll show you how we manage that in a second. 
Look at this. This is so cozy. We've got nine comfort in here, guys. This is amazing. I love, I love that this is so, I don't know, it feels so small, but it's so cozy. Anyway, we've got one more floor. Guys, this is the storage deck. Come on down. I love the benches. I always got to have benches everywhere. A couple of fermenters for our potions. We're going to need those because, you know, after that elder fight, yeah, we need to start healing ourselves. Lots of storage for all the things, guys, is what I mean. We're going to skip making a beginner base and just use this as our beginner base. We hit the Adzi down here. Again, am I saying that right? Is that what that is? What is this thing? Adzi. Anyway, and then we've got our beds down here, guys. This thing is awesome. Graveler is so much fun. We're going to get to sailing it here in just a minute. But before we depart from the beginner areas, um, I, uh, I think both of us, actually, we really want to change our classes. We're going to try out some new classes because we're still using Valheim Legends. And the classes have been a lot of fun, super exciting, and definitely helpful to survival. Uh, but I want to try a new class. I've been a shaman for a long time. And that monk back there, uh, definitely, I think I, man, you're good. Like, you, you killed that elder. That was your fight. That, that was all you. How about that? <laughs> about yeah, about that. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what we need though. Let me uh, let us run around and pick up a couple of random items, and then we'll go change our our uh, our classes here, and then we'll set sail on an adventure to find Haldor. However long that takes. All right, guys, back at the stones. We've picked out our items, and we know what we're gonna offer up at the Ike Deer Stone. Uh, I'm thinking of offering up resin. I'm really curious. I think resin gets us something. All of the beginner stuff kind of seems to get you something, um, if I remember correctly. Like, pretty much anything you can pick up early game. I'm pretty sure flint will do it, stone will do it, meat will do it. So I'm pretty confident with resin. Tempted for raspberries, but I'm going to stick with resin. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much anything that you can get a hold of in the meadows, I believe. Um you're not going to have to wait a long time to get to pick your class. Right. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to make mine real quick. Go away, Grayling. Make yours. Oh, you're offering up a coal? Coal. Yeah, cook that coal. All right, we'll let you. I'm just, just going to sit down right here. Ah, yes. Warm my feet by the fire. Right. Oh, hey, look. Delish, delicious meat. I think we are both experts at cooking coal, actually. Yeah. It really is like a watched pot of water. There we go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Got everything we need. It's getting dark out. Let's go ahead and offer these up. How do I do this again? Put the resin in the slots. Then. Oh, acquired the powers of the enchanter. The, the powers of the enchanter. Yes. We can charm and Z charge. We'll mess around with that in a minute. What you got? Uh, the power. All right. Let's see if you can see this. Look. Uh, look at the fire. I guess. Okay. So, well, we're in some trees. Oh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's getting pretty dark out. Oh, that was cool. What the? Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was appropriate. I was gonna say let's wait till daytime, but you know what? That was that was shock. What the heck? You have a meteor? I have a meteor. Yeah. So what are and you like a I mage have... or something? What was that? Fireball. Oh, nice. And then hold on, here's this. Oh, watch your watch this. Oh, what the was that? Frost Nova. Frost Nova. Yeah, you're like a fire and frost mage. And me as the enchanter, what can I do? I can weaken enemies. I'm assuming that would just weaken anything in that area. Charm. Oh yeah, just. I just, I, okay, just charming it. I, I saw the heart shoot, but it was really short. Guys, I'll try to get that again here. It's like I should have aimed it differently. What is Z charge, though? I think, uh, actually, look, guys, let's go read. Um, <laughs> I think Hugh can see here to teach us about it, uh, being an enchanter. Look at how tiny that text is, though. Okay, that's really cool, actually. So the weaken is nice. It really does, like, just weaken. It, it's a small cripple to all sorts of stats. The charm, same thing, except it just turns, you know, it does what it does. It turns the enemy to our friend. This is Z charge though. So this seems to be zone ability and it just grants me and you a buff, but the buff is different depending on what biome we are in. I actually really dig that. Let's go ahead and use it guys. What do we get in the meadows? Oh, look at that. It even said biome meadows. Can I, how do you, where are the effects here? Meadows is a, uh, 
your health replenishes more. Like, you're going to have more passive regen on it. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to experiment with that in different biomes. I think this is going to be a good one, especially for us setting out on this adventure right now. That'll be really fun. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, let's get back to the boat. Look at the fireballs. That's crazy. Yeah, what was your class name? Oh, it's just a mage. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah, mage and enchanter. Oh. Awesome. And uh, go ahead. Here, just look at me and press your uh, Z charge again. Whoa, what was that? So How do you I can... discharge it? Yeah, if you're like, I don't, you know, you, if you're like, this buff is nice, but I would, I need like some offensive ability right now, you can discharge it into a, like a I do bolt. have an offensive ability. Look at us, we're a couple of nerdy little spellcasters now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I like that though, that's a, I know what that is too. I know what boss that is. I have nightmares about that little half-bodied creep. Anyway, let's uh that, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a lot of fun, new classes, guys. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna get back out to the boat. We'll get some daylight daylight uh daylight above us and we'll set sail. We'll set sail. We're gonna sail out on Graveler. I'm so excited. Yeah. Day 19. Guys, we've been working on the boat for a little while. Honestly, this thing took some doing. Took a lot of doing. Oh man, I'm excited. I don't know if I want to drive first or if I want to sit in the crow's nest. Look at that thing up there, guys. I think I think I want you to drive first so I can run around and look at all the cool sails and play around in the bird's nest. Bird's nest, crow's nest, eagle's nest. What do you guys call that thing? Well, where to then? What direction is the wind pointing us? Uh, we should have direction to uh, sail where we need to go, maybe. Look at this Hold thing. Hold on to your butts. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Get out of the way, car. Just, just smash it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it did. I think it's gone. <laughs> That's, uh, it's got to be a little upsetting for the carve. Look at these dinky things. This is the little raft, guys. The carve back there. Look at this monstrosity. Let's get out on the front bow. Is that what it's called? The bow? Oh, man. Yeah, we have to look up our, our uh, learn, learn a little bit more about our boat. Okay, so this thing is officially the new coolest thing ever. Guys, I, you know, I don't know what it is, but this is so far easier than the other one. <laughs> like, yeah. turning around is like that we was a task last time. That's funny. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, I was, I was guys, it. look at the masts come down. Hang on, let me get to the front. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. Do we know how to live on Valheim or what, guys? All right, so we're kind of looking for a black forest, maybe a black forest connected to the swamps or, you know, gosh, something. Ah, I can't sit still. I'm like a kid with a new bedroom. Like, God, look, right. at, look at this corner. Look at this corner. Look at this corner. <laughs> ah, I love all the black and the black and blue flags too. Like, look at this, guys. I, I don't know. I love the designs. I love the gold. I just love that color combo too, black and blue. Looks good. Look at this place. We can go sip a low deck. Just let Timely do his thing. I have, I have one wonder, and it is whether or not that, uh, like how the, how does the game, how does the mod determine which mast, like does it, does it like add the masts and say this is how much wind power, or does it say like, is it the position, uh, like I'm just, I'm just curious. How does it determine them? Because I'm wondering if that front tiny mask, the game is like, this is in the front, so it will be, that is how fast it will go. But I don't know. That's a good question. Cause yeah, you said this doesn't feel like it's going as fast. I feel like, the, yeah, I feel like the other one, it was just, meow, just <laughs> like it could. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. But, uh, Maybe, uh, I don't know, actually. I wonder. That's a good question. That's a good question. Someone, someone find us an answer. Find us an answer. Uh oh guys, looks like the storm rolled in. This is gonna be Graveler's first time out on the ocean in the storms. Storms. I I do believe I see a serpent, and I have no arrows. Yep, that's a serpent. Oh we're right in front of directly ahead. Oh, it is. Yeah, uh, I don't have a harpoon. Yeah, I have no arrows, no harpoons. Oh no, guys. 
Stay away from Graveler. He's blue. Oh my god! Oh, Zeus. Oh no. Dude, get me out of the water. Stop the boat. <laughs> oh no. Just, just, yeah, just stop the boat for one second. I can get to the ladder. Oh no. Oh, where is he? I don't see him. <laughs> he's he's okay. on the outside. No, we're good. Go, 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 go. Holy crap, it flung me off of the boat again. I think his roar scared the crap out of my character and launched me into the skies. That's some Looney Tune stuff right there, man. It's very funny. Oh my god, get us away from it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Go away! Go away! Ha! Whoa! <laughs> no. Okay, that didn't work either. The crow's nest is off limits. Oh no. Oh no? What oh no? Oh no. Uh, you're... <laughs> Are we about to enter a storm? Or not. They looked like it for a second. Yeah. But I... Here, I don't know about. Uh... <laughs> oh, guys, I'm feeling it's... seasick. Ah, ah, this boat's too big. Oh my gosh. Oh. It does damage to you, too. It did. That's very funny. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't eaten a bukeberry before, that's that's the effect. The seasickness. <laughs> that's kind of great, actually. Oh, boy, guys. The sea at night isn't any better than the sea during day when it's uh, foggy. Although, I think I literally think the fog just rolled in while it's night. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't see anything up here. I'm up front. I can't see a I can't see a darn thing. Darn thing. Dur golden. Yeah, if land comes at us from directly in front, I'm gonna have about two seconds to scream at you. <laughs> Folks, this is why you don't sail at night in the first place. Uh but we do what we want. That's right. We do what we want. We are seasoned Valheim adventurers. Oh my gosh, I really can't see any. We need to put some headlights on this thing. <laughs> now I'm trying to imagine headlights. Like, what would that be? Like, two two or three beams, like, just sticking out in front with some torches right on the end? <laughs> right, yeah. That's yeah, we... no, just goofy. Okay, I can see swamp trees coming up in front of us. In, in the, yeah, turn right. There you go. Okay, I already enjoyed sailing, but this is this is bringing it to a whole new level. This is awesome. I, I like the I like the teamwork. I like the lookout. I like the I like the fog. This is awesome. I don't feel rested anymore. So I'm done. I'm going to bed. See you guys later. Going to bed. Going to bed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get grumpy when I'm not rested. I think that would be the hardest challenge run you could do in this game. Is like remove the rested bonus entirely. I think it would just be absurd. That would be pretty. That would be a pretty rough playthrough. Although, if you do recall, I have defeated Yagluth with no rested bonus. That was a struggle. No, re no rested bonus? Yes. What? I, I had an episode, and guys, I'll drop a link to that episode in the description below. Um, I had an episode where I did a boss rush mode, and I fought all five bosses with one rested bonus, but I summoned Yagluth with about three or so seconds left on that bonus. So we had to fight him the entire fight with no rested bonus. We're coming up on land here in front of us. We're going to have to swing probably to the right and around. Oh, is this where we're going? Oh! Guys, look at the mini map. Look who just showed up out of the corner. It's Haldor. Oh my gosh. Dude, we should live next to Haldor actually. Like we should just set up a base near Haldor. Guys, let's go let's go visit Haldor. Yeah, let's park park Graveler. Just put Graveler right up here. Oh, that's a troll cave. But, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, that's a troll cave. <laughs> that's okay. This is this is how Graveler likes to be parked. All right. Oh, he just bounced um, off that rock. Oh yeah, the anchor. Yeah, because the anchor is a little funny for this guys. Listen, listen up. Timely's got you yeah, covered. Yeah. Um, yeah. So with the new, uh, the updated raft mod to Hearth and Home, the raft raft dev added an anchor, 
um, tricky thing about it, and they've they have acknowledged this that there's no visual indicator that there is an anchor. Um, like there's no, it's not going to be part of your ship. Uh, I tried, I couldn't figure it out. I tried building one. I tried going to like a black or a yeah a forge crafting one. Um, just couldn't find it. But uh, after some fiddling and, and looking on the forum, I saw that it, it had to do with pressing shift. I said, well, where you know where do I press shift? Uh, you go find your steering wheel right here, or your rudder, which most of these rafts you can still find the rudder near the bottom of the ship. Um, yeah, let take me hold of it. Let me show that real quick. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and show that real quick. Should be able. It'll, we've got it sticking up slightly through our floor. It's not really that intrusive. Or obtrusive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna test it real quick. Yeah, I've still got control. I can go backwards and forwards. The way that you can tell if the anchor is down is you can't like you'll press up to move your your raft, your boat. And it won't move, and you'll be like, "What's what's going on?" And I thought there the mod was broken or something. Uh, turns out I had dropped the anchor without realizing it. And by doing that, you have to go find the rudder or the steering wheel, and press shift. Just what? Just just shift while you're in control of the raft or, or boat. And now, yeah, I'm pressing up and down S W S W, and uh, see, yeah, the boat's just not it's not moving. Um, I'll press it again. Yeah, there we go. It's working fine. Now, there was a there's a bug that the uh, the dev also acknowledged. Um, he's probably working it out. Uh, if you're doing this in multiplayer, the, the after a while, uh, if, if players switch out, like you know, one player takes the wheel, another player takes the wheel, another you know, you, you switch back and forth, it can bug out the anchor and it won't drop, um, or or it won't you know either won't release or pull. So both players need to just jump off of the raft. Um, the game can tell. It's pretty cool. The game can tell how many players are on it. It, it keeps track of that. Uh, once you both players jump off, you get you get back on, and it it should work. It just it just did it to us. Um, we jumped off, came back on, and it uh, worked fine. Yeah, raft mod. It's been one of the best so far. I really enjoy, I've really enjoyed this raft mod. This has been so fun. And this ship, oh, yeah. is, this ship is the coolest thing so far yet. Yeah. Spe any of you builders out there? Um, it's better than those crappy know. ships. Look at that. Look at that shipwreck out there. They couldn't make it. They couldn't <laughs> handle it. They, they didn't have the raft mod. <laughs> they didn't, though. Poor saps. Yeah, no, let's go take a trip. Visit Haldor. Let me mark this on the map real quick. So that Oh, oh I mean, he's right inside the shore. I mean, I'm still going to mark it, but... I didn't realize we were literally that close to shore with him. Oh, guys, we should. We should build, like, a port city here. Like, a, not a port city, but, like, we should build a port here. Make that our new base right here in the Black Forest. And we could always visit Haldor. I can see his bubble. Yeah, guys, let's go visit Haldor. Haldor, my buddy, it's been too long. Does his locks have a name? Guys, someone figure out this guy's name right here. I want to know this locks' name. Oh, it says house name. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, no. I probably knew that. You know, I probably did experience this in my vanilla playthrough and just totally forgot. Oh, I love locks. Hello, house You're so cool. Anyway, look at this guy. Haldor, it's been too long, but buddy. Haldor. Yeah, everybody waved to Haldor. What's up, Haldor? So, Haldor is a little different for us, for, or different for us, right? He's got a. Oh, wow. Guys, look at this menu. Okay. To stuff is totally different now. So we can buy just about anything in the game. We can sell just about anything in the game. Wow, there are so many items. Did you just break Haldor's fire? Oh. Excuse oh, me? Oh, I was standing in it. Rude. I guess. Haldor needs another oh fire. <laughs> go make another fire now. Go, go, go do that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That sorry, Haldor. Sorry about that. I, I've no, I did not know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we should come and spruce up his space here. Actually. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Adveranot. Adveranot, a dwarven crafted ring in the shape of a dragon. Supposedly, it will guide any who wear it to its sources of gold. 
but this one seems to be cursed to only find Haldor's treasure chests. What do you mean? Haldor has treasure chests just hidden out in the world? Out in the world. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at all this legendary stuff we can buy for special things, treasure maps. And then over here is what I really want to get into, guys. This is why we need to live near him. There are bounties. Oh, and the bounties give some of the special currency that you need for some of these legendary gears, guys. This is really cool. It uh, turns it into this coupled with uh, epic loot. You you start to see the uh, the it all it all starts to come together, um, and you can start you know me messing around more with enchanting, messing around. It, it feels very RPG, like way more RPG ish, I guess. With these, you know, there's danger out in the world. You need to go on these quests. Uh, no, that is so cool. That is yeah. so cool. We need to go on a couple of these. Guys, we need to go on a couple of bounties and hunt these things down. That is so fun. I would love that kind of quest and adventure. That'd be so much fun. And I love Haldor's camp. I wish we could place, like, buckets and barrels full of things and colors and stuff, too. Who knows, though? Maybe in Hearth and Home we can later. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you can just buy a queen bee. What? That's not what I have. I guess he's selling different stuff. Or oh no, wait. We're just we just haven't looked down the whole list. Yeah, there's the honey, and all the food. Oh my gosh, he literally does sell just about everything. Not that it's cheap. A lot of the end game stuff obviously is is pretty expensive in here, guys. But it looks like we oh, can uh, craft yeah. things specifically to sell to him. That would be a good way to yep. make money, actually. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't know that it's required to have epic loot for this, but. You'll get the most out of it. I feel you'll you'll be you'll you can buy these. Uh, you can gamble, or buy some gear, and sometimes it'll just it'll be a white item. You know, it's a normal item, which is which isn't bad, but there's chances to get some really nice gear, um, or really just like in interesting affixes, stats, buffs, etc. So, how do our face forward? Stop looking off in that random direction. Or are you looking at me? <laughs> He's looking at you. <laughs> I'm short for a dwarf. <laughs> well, he's, he's giving you the, giving you the eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, I think we. I think I don't know if he's gonna like company or not, but I think we're gonna set up somewhere around here. Maybe, maybe even right next to him. I kind of want to build a port out there so we can always bring the ship back. But I also kind of want to set up my own personal little house right here next to Haldor because uh, I think he likes me. I think he like. Look at him. I think he likes me. And if you're wondering, um, I didn't know this. It's probably Valheim Plus that's doing this, but you usually can't build within his his little bubble. But Valheim Plus probably just nixes that. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know that I'll build in his bubble, but I'd love to build around it and hang out near him because this is a really nice spot. This is going to be super awesome. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you had fun with this one, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. It's been fun getting into this soft reboot and the new world with all the hearth and home stuff and, and finding Haldor and, and, and Graveler. It has been a really exciting uh, first episode back because uh, it's been a while since we played. We kind of pre-recorded a few episodes to make sure I still had some content going uh, while hearth while Hearth and Home had dropped, or before Hearth and Home had dropped, so we could wait for some mods to update, and it's exciting to be back and get a little more current. So, uh, yeah, guys, stick around. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you in the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Guys, thank you so much for wandering back out to the Modheim series. We've got some exciting stuff in store for you today. If you haven't noticed or if you haven't seen it before, guys, we're on a boat right now. This is not a house. This is not a home. This is not uh, resting on land right now. This is floating on water, and this boat is probably the coolest thing that we've built. Uh, so far, I think. I don't know. We've got a couple of structures and a house or two that I'm going to show off today. But, uh, guys, I love this boat. We call it Graveler because it just digs through the stone. This thing is awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah. So today I thought we'd get into uh, hunting down our bounties, guys. We found um, 
Haldor last time, and uh, I think we're gonna we accepted some bounties because I'm gonna go out there and show you guys. Actually, let me just go. It's easier to show you, but he sells just about everything now. We have a mod called Better Trader, and uh, it gives him a lot more options. By the way, I told you we were on a boat. Look at this thing. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, guys, look at Timely's awesome little. You said what was your inspiration? Oh, I went with like a witch witch hut. Yeah, look at this. We have been building. We've been trying to set up a home here because, guys, you know, we've been kind of a little bit of nomadic in this playthrough. And uh, it was finally time to set down some roots. And we're going to live right next to Haldor. That's my big A-frame back there. Yeah, we'll come back and explore the two cabins in a minute, guys. Let's go see Haldor. Let's visit him. Hey, Haldor. I always like to sit down to visit with Haldor. So, guys. Haldor has nearly every item in the game for sale now. All sorts of different prices. Everything from, you know, 19 cents here up to... to is it cents? <laughs> it's got a little C next to it. It's just coin. Yeah, right. Coin. Like, probably yeah. coin. Um, Dragon tier, 4,000. You know, Iron Helmet, 2,000. So that's pretty cool. Potentially, we could, like... Man, that would be fun, actually. I kind of... Guys, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to save up some money and get myself, like, a black metal knife. You know, I love the knives. That would be hilarious. It would take a lot of money though. It costs a lot. He also yeah, sells. How much is a uh, how much is a black metal knife? Uh, black metal knife three thousand seven hundred and twenty nine coins there. So that that would take a little bit to save up for. But I kind of like that actually. Like that's actually pretty cool. And over here, he has bounties for us, guys. And me and Timely have already picked up two bounties, so we're not going to grab any more. And we're going to go and hunt those down today. I'm hunting. Nisalin the monster. It looks like it's a big old gray dwarf, so it's probably back in a black forest somewhere. Who'd you pick Let's up see. a bounty for? Yeah. It's funny, all of mine are near the spawn. I picked up a couple more just to, like, we can pick and choose. I can see the, uh, the stones, and they're all they're all within pretty like, proximity of the, uh, the starting spawn stones, so. I'll pull mine um, up, because I think mine is too, actually. Yeah, mine's just to the, what is that, the West. I think that's the west. Well, guys, it looks like yeah. we're just going to have to sail back. Or maybe we could sail up north and, and over to it. Maybe that might be faster. Take a different path. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, that's what we're going to get into today. It's going to be awesome. Guys, if you're playing along, if you found the mods entertaining and you want to use them yourself, there's definitely going to be a list down in the description, so check that out. It's all updated, and it's good to go. Uh, we've been playing with all of the ones I'll have listed down there, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, speaking of the mods, we got a couple more to show off. Uh, Timely's decorated we're here with some some bees, uh, beeswax and candles and lanterns. I'm saying that all out of order. <laughs> yeah, something like candles, lanterns, and beeswax. And uh, it opens up a few more. Um, you've got these little small lanterns here. There's way more. I mean, there's. it seemed like it added 20 or 25 more build pieces around that. Right. Um, nothing right here. Actually, if you come up here, you can see a cool. Um... Oh yeah, I see. You twisted the, the the little cross beams. That's really that that's kind of awesome, guys. You see that nice angled, uh, nice angled railings back here. Yeah, that's with your Valheim plus. Um, yeah, like so, this little skull here. That's just that's like monster bones and some beeswax. Uh, which beeswax, you can get that, either turn honey into that, or, uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's how you get it. Just turn honey into beeswax. We need to find some more bees. I think we found one bee so far in this playthrough, uh, this playthrough in this world, um, but yeah. uh, I don't think we found any in our last one. <laughs> so yeah, that's Timely's little cabin. I actually really love it. It looks awesome from the shore uh, with this porch out here. This looks really nice. He's got his nice staircase down to the docks. We have a nice dock out there. I really like that we yeah, connected our houses with the bridge here. I really enjoy the bridge. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get off my lawn, Grey Dwarf. Hey, hey. Okay, anyway. This is my little A-frame. It's a big old fat A-frame. Again, not much going on. We just kind of got the frames up, guys, but uh, it took a while to do that, you know? It takes a while to build. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of, like, this, this fire area in particular. 
Yeah, I like the big central fire, and I've actually, like, um, guys, if you come down to the left, there's a nice little staircase that leads you out back. I'm going to try and plant a little garden out here behind us that'll look really nice outside the window. And then you can actually see the fires from down here. I've got it so that it... Hey, who let all this dirt in here? <laughs> guys, it's a work in progress. It's all a work in progress. And then I have an upstairs bedroom. Show that off real quick. Yo. Yeah. Come up here, and we've got some room for storage. And a nice little walkway to a nice hidden little bedroom up here, guys. It's a pretty awesome little cabin. Nice little window access to the fire. So you have access to the fire on all three floors, which I think is fun. Not that you can cook on the upstairs or the downstairs, but, you know, you can see the fire and hopefully feel its warmth. That'll look better when I get a hearth in there. I need a hearth. Future plans. Future plans. But, guys, we're going to ditch this place today. We're going to hop back on gravel and make our way back to our spawn area because apparently that's where all the... That's where all of our bounties are, and uh, we're going to be bounty hunters for the day, so buckle up. Let's go for a ride. Ow. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for jumping. All right. Now then. Come come up here and, uh, like, press, take the steering wheel and press shift while you're on it. Is it working for you? Yeah, it's working for you. Okay, cool. I think what we... It was like down for me and up for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Did or you or down for you and up for me. Right. Guys, did you hear that? If you're playing with friends, make sure each one of you raises your own individual anchor. <laughs> it it might not that, that might not be a regular thing. It's just this this anchor is a it's a new thing that yeah. the uh, the mod creator is trying, so Yeah, no, uh, just something to try if you're if you're having issues with it. That just worked for us just now. Yeah. I expect uh, full confidence that after all the work they've put into it, they'll eventually be a visual indicator. But I'm over here speaking for the for the mod creator. I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad they made it. This is uh, this has been one of the most awesome mods yet. I like I like this one a lot. I mean, look at this thing, guys. How could you not? I can't even get a good camera angle on it. It's so big back here. All right, we're gonna try and sail. Let me pull up the map for everybody. Hopefully we won't crash anything. <laughs> yeah, looks like if we try and sail up north and then out west again, we may be able to kind of loop back around a lot faster, save us some time, explore some new land. So let's, uh, let's get a move on. Yeah, seriously though, with the way this thing moves, like we don't, I don't know, man, like this might be the only boat we ever need. I don't think we ever need to build another boat. Yeah. We'll just go on all our adventures with this thing. All right, so I'm seeing tall hills and landscapes up ahead, but I'm assuming that's probably where your bounties are. Yeah. Uh, should I yeah, sail yeah, yeah. straight ahead or? Yeah, pretty much straight ahead. Uh, we can choose which one to go for. Awesome. All right. One is one is called it is called scare the monster. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> And then the other one is named Horror the Terrible. All right. So, well, we'll go yeah. see exactly how tough these creatures are. I wonder if they'll drop some cool things, like being bounties, will they drop more powerful stuff? Possibly. Is this a? Don't tell me this is a plains we're pulling up to. I am so not ready. No, this looks like a meadows. All right, guys, we're going to swing the boat up here. I'm going to swing around to the right because our ladder's on the left. And we'll get that on the shore side. And then we're going to go hunt us down some bounties. Monster, scare the monster, or horror the terrible. <laughs> Did I say those right? You just said those. I feel real stupid if I mess those oh, up. Oh, yeah. That's, the, that's them. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get the rested bonus, get us a meal. Might even sleep if it'll let us. I don't know. Or should we? Well, I guess if it spawns us near the, the, the summon stones after we sleep on the bed, that's actually not too far away. Oh, look at all the smoke in here. Don't back the boat up. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously. <laughs> all right. Well, while that smokes... Uh oh I need, uh, need to be dry. Yeah. I need to settle down for a minute. All right, guys. Let us sleep and get a meal. We'll head out and hunt those bounties. All right. Let's go hunt us some bounties. What is my bonus for us here on, on the plains? I forget what that does. Wow. In, uh, meadows? Yeah, oh yeah, the meadows. I always I always mix the two up. Uh oh, it's just uh health regen. Get some Oh that's nice though. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> We have some explosive fights now, guys. Can't wait to take on these bounties. Are they going to be like little mini bosses or what? All right, you lead the way. I can't see these guys, so I'll let you All lead right, the let's way. Let's go to scare the monster first. Um, here, come get next to me. Yep. Oh, nice. See that new Beak Theory animation? Oh, the new... yeah. No, I did a slow-mo of it in my uh, Hearth and Home playthrough. I loved it so much. <laughs> Hi guys, who watched that episode? If you watched that episode, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Let me know. <laughs> Do that. If I see that thumbs up, I'll be like, oh yeah, they know. They were there. They know. Alright, he's in here somewhere. Oh, he's around here? Alright guys, yeah. weapons at the ready. Oh, guys. Alright. I know I do this a lot, but look at this game. <clears throat> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on it. Oh man. Yeah, don't get distracted by the scenery, Hiccup. Don't do that. Oh, is it that giant shaman coming at us? Because he's pretty big. That's him. That scare him? Scare the monster. Yep. Oh man. Scare the monster, the summoner. He's got these freaking stars. And... Oh crap. All right. Nice. The fire he does not like. I threw a charm at him. We're going to hit him with the weekend, guys. Oh, no, I have no stamina. Oh. Oops. Oh, careful. There's the weekend. Oh, he's healing himself. Of course, shamans. Let's do that dance, shaman boy. Yeah. Oh, the act gear hurts him. Oh, I like this. This is like little mini bosses. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, oh, I might be dead. No, don't you die on me. Oh, no. No. Oh, I died. I didn't know that poison lasted so long. I think he had like some poison monsters or something. Uh oh. Or his poison could be like extra effective or just last longer. Yeah. Ugh. There we go! Alright, we have avenged Timely, and we have claimed his bounty. Alright, y'all set? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't too long of a run. Anyways. Well, that was awesome. Yeah, did that clear your bounty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it cleared. Heck yeah. On to the next one. Let's see. Which one you want to do now? Uh, I think your other bounty was closer than mine, so we can go ahead and just do your other, what was it, horror, the, oh, hold on, ping that again? Didn't have the map up, yeah. wasn't looking. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, let us sprint out there. I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to fight this other little mini boss. I really enjoy it. Man, we could do bounties like this all the time. I really enjoy this. Yeah, yeah, just exploring different parts of the map. And... Oh, here, where are you at? By the power of buttons! Buttons. And Ike there. Okay. Oop. I think we can make it through there. <laughs> what, the mountain? Yeah. We could definitely try. Alright, everybody, place your bets. Will we survive a sprint over the mountain? <laughs> Let me make sure I've got everything eaten so I can get all the stamina yeah, I Yeah, right. Yeah. Seriously. Alright. I think I'm good. All right, let's All right, do so it. Let's go, yes, yeah, straight, not straight south. Oh, hold on, there's a save. There you go. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh man, will we Please survive? No wolves. I know, right? I do not want to mess with wolves or dragons, but something tells me we might end up doing that. <laughs> Save some stamina real quick. Of course, it's gonna be like the snow. All race. right, so far I'm just cold. Oh yeah, no. Every time you come to the mountain, it's just like blizzard. Guys, I'm just cold. We're not even freezing yet. How is that possible? I wonder if you have some type of resistance. Is it the? Maybe. Are you yeah, freezing? Yeah, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm freezing for sure. Oh, maybe it's because I'm an enchanter or something. Yeah. You might Do have like one less. I have my Black Forest buff on. I don't know. Anyway, we're out. We're almost. Yeah, come on down. Heal up, heal up. Ha, ah, we made it. All right, be honest. How many of you thought we weren't gonna make it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap! Well, that's a good thing to run into immediately. And he's a big old skeleton, guys. Look at this, look at this thing. Okay, well, oh! Let's hit him with the zap. Boom! Like a Sith Lord! Did you see how much damage that did? Here's the weekend. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay, a little dodging for the stamina. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh nice. that, look at that combo. Guys, we're just good at this game. <laughs> okay, that was actually a really epic battle. <laughs> Even if it was swift, it was carried out so well. All right. Um, another one right there. Where's, where's, where's your next one? Well, you have another one? Mine's out this way, so it's like literally on the way. Go for it. Let's go! <laughs> a whole day of mini bosses. Ping where it is on the map, like where you see it. All right, there. Oh, really? Out there? No, we were definitely all over out there. I saw. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, the health oh. bar just popped up. Is it near you or me? Oh, strange. I'm pretty sure. Did it just appear at its? I think it's a deer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Problem is, I just don't have any stamina to chase it down. <laughs> I'm coming up behind you. Oh, yeah, where is this thing? Yeah, it's a deer. Got him. <laughs> you just one shot it with your fireball? Well, I, I hit it and then it, it burns after I hit it with the fireball. Oh, nice. Well, pretty good. All right. Well, that one didn't turn out to be much of a challenge either. Let's go this way, guys. Oh, yeah, you're hitting it with some... Uh... Yeah, I think the enchanter has, like, passive, random, elemental physical attack. Hey, a bee's nest! <coughs> oh, guys, finally! Give us your queen! Give us your queen. <laughs> Take us to your leader. Did you get a queen bee? I got the honey. I got the queen bee. There you go. All right, guys, heading out toward my bounty. What was its name? Nasalin the monster. Nasalin. Nisalin. Nasalin the monster. One of those. All right, showing me that he's down here. It looks like he's on the shoreline somewhere. Oh, I see him. Guys, he is a big... That is a big gray dwarf. Hopefully not a brute. Possibly a oh, brute. Oh, man. Look at that thing. I know. Actually, he might be a brute. I will weaken him. And you will hit him with the fireball. The shielded? Several. I don't like that. Oh. Ooh. Hey hey oh, yeah, he's got some health. We're gonna need a bunch of stamina, guys, for this fight. I'm cold. Oh yeah, there My, we go. Uh... Ugh. All right, guys, let's try and. Ow, that hurt a lot. I was gonna try and block it, but man, that did not go well. Let's try and hit him with the weaken again. Oh, I think he was in the weaken spot that time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have no stamina. No! Oh, man. Oh, no. There you go. He should be slowed. Nice. Yeah, I just need a little moment to catch my breath. Come on, hit me. Let's try and counter block. Nope! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Just me and this guy now. Good luck. Oh, crap, guys. I was trying to make my way back to Timely, and I totally forgot that all of this was taking place in the Black Forest. We have to run through the Black Forest naked at night? Yeah, this is... Oh, this is going to end well. This will end really well. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> guys, I can see the beast on the shore. And there's Timely. We're just having a little party. <laughs> he's just, just goofing around this. Yeah, he's hanging out. <laughs> oh, look at you guys. Right, let me get my stuff on. We will be joining the combat shortly. All right. Let's try. Oh, this is a, sh a shot. I see him. What? I was nowhere near you when you threw that spell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ross Nova. <laughs> yeah, 
is, you know. <laughs> I poked him. I got him one good poke. There's the weekend. Ah. Woo! Yeah, make him burn. Ah, poke him in the butt. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Where's he going? Where's, where's he going? Oh. Where's he going? Oh well. He did this before. He just wandered away from you. He just wandered away. What is going on? Here he comes. Is he coming back finally? There we go. Whoa! That landed like right on me. <laughs> it's a good thing there's no friendly fire. No, why aren't Actually, we? It would I be. was about to say, why are we not playing with friendly fire? I like difficult. I like the... We should be playing with friendly fire. Yeah. Alright guys, this is the last episode with friendly fire disabled. Starting next episode. Oh, there will be no... There will be, there will be friendly fire. Oh yeah, there's that frost nova. And the fireball. He keeps Ooh. running away. I can't stab him. Uh oh! Good him. Oh, there it is. Bounty vanquished. Very nice. Oh, hey, drop something. What do you drop us, guys? Tower shield. Don't care. Anyway. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. So that was that all of them? You got any more bounties? Uh, I've got plenty more, but like they're spread out, so we can, you know, it can just be a thing that we. I give you a look at your map real quick. I'll I've got one let way. Me, yeah, let me zoom out so I can see about the whole thing. Oh yeah, I see it. I think that this one in particular. Is a uh, that's a serpent. Oh, that'll be exciting. Too bad we sailed around the opposite way, guys. We uh, we sailed in up here. That would be pretty exciting to see if we could. Man, maybe we could pull it to shore if you had your uh, oh, yeah, I've got the harpoon on me just in case. Cool. All right, yeah, you want to go like run down to the shore then? Because I just want to get out of the black forest, honestly. Oh, actually, guys, yeah. look at that. Looks like it's about to be sunrise anyway. It was a horrible evening of what is that monstrosity? Didn't we just beat a giant? Batty! Ah! Hiya! Whoop! Ah! There we go. Oh my gosh, gray doors everywhere. All right, yeah, let's get out of the black forest. Maybe we can spot that serpent. Timely's got a bounty for on the shore up here in the in the meadows, but uh, might be time to get back to the boat. We've completed all our bounties. Time to start stocking up and uh, building up the base some more. We've got the frames of our houses, but uh, we definitely need all of the crafting tables and the workbenches we need to start smelting we'll have to experiment with the uh the cartography table too i'm not gonna mark these because i think when you build a cartography table and you update it it updates it for everyone on the server is that how that works yeah yeah, yeah. pretty so, wild so i'm not gonna update my map too much i really want to experiment with that guys i'd oh. love to see timely set a cartography table down and then our our yeah. our, our map just kind of oh yeah and our map just kind of suddenly fill up with all his markers. That would be really cool, actually. Oh, yeah. All right, we finally reached the shore. What was this thing called again? Oh, man, look at the size of those neck. What if it's a neck and not a serpent? Yeah, what was this thing called again? Bone and add the needle. Bone and add the needle. All right. Um, and no, no, I mean, like, it, it showed, like, the, little, the serpent head uh, oh. when I was at the trader. Yeah. Got it. So we know, we know what's Uh, yeah, that needle, that monster must be way out in the water, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to get to him. All right. Oh, that's a three-star splitting deer. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, did I not assist? There we go. Again, again. And again. <laughs> so many deer suddenly everywhere. Well, guys, I think we might use the abundance of uh, deer trophy we just picked up to go and fight Ikethir again. It's like we were just saying. Sounds like we need to take on the bosses, raise the difficulty of the world back up to where we were. So it shouldn't be a problem for us at the tier tier of gear we're at now. This should be a quick fight. I say. I say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless it's like suddenly like a five star Ikethir. <laughs> go ahead and summon that in. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and just. Uh, yeah, let's do a nice finale. After all this day of bounty hunting, let's go ahead and finish it up with a, with a nice Ikethir battle. That's what the doctor ordered. That's what Momheim sent us out here for. Where is he? Where? There he is. There he is. What Three, got? two, one. Two star the enraged. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I can't believe I took that on the shield, but it threw me. Like, literally threw me away from him. Oh, the stomp. 
Guys, I only have 43 health with the food combo we're eating, so I really don't want to take a hit by this guy. Is that a Grayling? Go away, Grayling. We don't have time for you. Oh! I don't want to get hit by you. There we go. Summon a meteor. I don't know where he's going to hit. Oh, he oh. killed me! <laughs> wow! Okay. Oh, at least you'll spawn nearby. Right. Be right back. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm like right next door. That uh, that actually is pretty handy. <laughs> oh my gosh, though, that hits so hard. I mean, I am. We have no good food. Really need to focus on building up our base, guys. But you know, kind of soft rebooted there for a bit. So it's kind of like starting over a little bit. A little bit. Uh oh, no, go away, go away, you big guy. Okay, let me put my gear on, have a meal. I'll be right there, man. Hang in there. Uh oh, guys, we can only eat raspberries and blueberries. We're going to be even weaker than we were before. That's okay. Charge! <laughs> there we go. Load him. Weakened him. Nice. I like this combo we have, these mage and enchanter. This is awesome, actually. No! Oh, that just about killed me. Oh my gosh. I threw a charm at him. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if that did, I doubt that did anything. Oh no, stamina, 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 please. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, get him, get him. We've got him, guys. This is it. Final blow. Or not. The penultimate. There we go. <laughs> please, please. All right. So, yeah. Definitely need to go into boss fights a little more prepared than that, guys. We had, I had, look at my food. We got blueberries and raspberries. I have a total of, like, 40 health. What is that shield, actually? Artful Dodger's Wood Shield of Elemental Resistance. That is quite a mouthful. And if it was, <laughs> and if it was, a, I, right? If it was a bronze shield, I might consider it, but that was crazy. How many uh, Eekthir trophies did you get? How many? Oh, I've got two. He drops nice. mul multiple, uh, huh? Yeah. Well, we can use... Um, we'll have to mess around with, like, en enchanting en you know, gear that we, we craft. Yeah, that would be cool uh, to start making our own gear. I'd really like that. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode today. Super awesome running around, going and taking out all those bounties, getting the reward. Or do we not have the rewards yet? Do you get the rewards when you turn them back in to Haldor? Yep. Yep. All right, so we'll have to make our way back to the ship, sail back to Haldor, which we need to do anyway. we got to turn in the bounties. we got to build up the base. I need some food. We need some carrot soup and some deer stew and some minced meat stew. We need the good stuff before we go and do this crap. Died too many times today just from lack of food and, and being lackadaisy. But it's a lot of fun, guys. You can't help it when you're playing and having so much fun. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, if you had fun watching the episode, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Mod High with me and Timely here. Things are just getting started. Once again, we're going to get our, we're gonna get back to the base, build it up like I keep saying. I'm just repeating myself. You guys know the drill. That was an watch awesome get our, uh, <laughs> Yeah, watch us get uh, our butts handed to us by what used to be easy bosses. <laughs> right, yeah, no, seriously. We'll have to challenge the elder again once we're feeling tougher because the last fight was uh was a was a was a train wreck. <laughs> actually. But yeah, we'll get we'll get back to all of that. Gotta gotta build the base up, gotta gotta get our trophies from Haldor, gotta gotta get some farms growing, but anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with us, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day, have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you guys in the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Time the Crow. Guys, thanks again for joining us for the Modheim series. Got a little bit of a confession. We haven't had the Monster Nomicon uh, mod working in the past couple of episodes, but we finally got it to work, and we turned it on, 
And uh, we've seen a lot of crazy things so far. We've had a few monsters wander into the village, and let me tell you, they're pretty tough. And uh, in order to help us survive out here, we're going to have to get back to the basics because we've been enjoying a peaceful time out here in the forest, building up our town next to Haldor. I've got my cool A-frame going. Timely's got his awesome witch hut going. We've been living off of uh, gravel or the rock. Uh, the rock eater out there, you know, uh, our boat. And uh, we've got a garden growing, but we, we need some food. I'm going to go hunting today and just try to get us back to the basics. We need some food. I can't keep living on berries, which is all I have. What do you have? Do you have any good food? Yeah, I've got, I can show you some, um, I made some boar jerky and cooked deer meat. So we're, we, that's, I feel like for the black forest, that's still pretty, it's pretty weak. Got, got a, you know, get a, get a cauldron going, um, get some actual food going here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh yeah, thanks man. Hey, I think that's the first time I've, this character has seen board jerky. Oh yeah, feeling a little tougher. All right guys, so we've got a lot of things going on right now. We've got a garden going. We've kind of like shaped the land a little bit. Timely uh, fixed up his house a little bit. This looks really awesome now. I really like the, the additions and the roof. Um, and he raised it. Yeah, he got a little more space in yeah, here. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, I need to, uh, it's not as, not really homey yet. We'll, we'll do some homey stuff with it. Hey, we're still getting started here. Man, it suddenly got really dark, guys. It's about bedtime, I guess. Yeah, oh, it just got... Oh, yeah. We have gone around and got a couple of the basics. We do have a portal back home. So we have been able to move a few things over and get a couple of things here. This, this is nice. I really like the skull lantern, too. That's really cool. I need to decorate my place, but uh, I want to go hunting. I need to get out here and uh, hunt me down some deer and some boar and maybe help us find a couple more carrot seeds and stuff to get our garden going. wonder if we could buy some turnips and stuff from Haldor, too. Let's go to bed. We'll, we'll try all this in the morning. Oh, I have uh, bounties to turn into Haldor, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guys, let's go visit Haldor in the morning, but uh, it's bedtime. Okay, Haldor. Let's hope you had your morning coffee. I'm coming to visit. Man, is it still raining? It's no good. It is be neat if there was like a like if it rained it it the crops grew a tad faster or something oh that would be cool that will. oh haldor man i wish we could uh build you a little shit we need to build something over his fire so you can have a fire while it's raining oh, out yeah. here <laughs> poor guy all right guys so how do we turn here we go active vanquished claim reward ah. that gave us a gold token Timely said he set up a little chest here. Yeah, look at this, guys. All right, so we've got iron bounty tokens and gold bounty tokens. So these are actually extra pieces needed to buy some of the more expensive and rare pieces he's got. Yeah, rare padded oh. curious. Cur curass. <laughs> Sorry. How, uh, how expensive is that? Yeah, we're talking like 3,000 gold with like nine. I'm not even sure what kind of medallion that is. We don't have one of those yet. Well, guys, I'm just going to accept a bunch of these bounties. Be awesome to just continuously run into them everywhere we go and to just make a side trip to go and take down any of them that we get. But guys, I'm going to try and craft us up some arrows. Um, all I can make right now are wood arrows, which is fine, but uh, we need to go hunting. I'm really nervous to go out, um, to go out into the forest, though. I'm, like, really nervous, actually. I'm kind of post, but I'm just, I'm just chilling here with Timely. Kind of, kind of don't want to. I don't want to go alone, honestly. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a rough time. Ah, oh, yeah, tear it all down. Start over. We okay. might want to. Uh, what does it take for a poison potion? Oh Could yeah. Be. Let me go check your cauldron. All right, we're gonna need some coal, necktail, honey, and thistle. So, you know, it's stuff we have access to around here. Although, I don't know, do we have a meadows around here? I don't think I've explored around here too much. Yeah, it's time to go adventuring, guys. I've got a few arrows, got some food. Guess I'm setting out. You working here? Yeah, I'll join you as soon as I get this thing up and go in. Hey, no rush. Huh. We need to really bar the bar that whole side of the, the village off from the forest anyway, guys. We get attacked by all sorts of crap all the time. Hey, oh, Thistle. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to go and get us some of this stuff. We'll get some thistle. We'll get some mushrooms. Here's some carrot seeds already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get some goods. Hopefully, there's some deer around here I can hunt. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, here it is. Oh! Oh, we've got spiders. Oh, no. I haven't even really walked out the front door yet. Look at guys. We can still see Timely. Timely! <laughs> Wait, guys, we're going to charm one. Oh, I think we did. I think we I think we charmed it. Yeah, look at a fight. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe the enchanter 
was the way to go. Oh, oh, oh he took it down, though. Uh, uh, stab it. Oh, the block did not help. Wow. Oh, he's so tough. Look at this thing, guys. It's vicious. Oh. Okay, so charm. Charm is going to be... Yes, poison resistance. Oh, I might die. I might. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. We're okay. We're okay. Wow. Yeah, I might go back and rest for a bit, guys. Wow. Yeah, this is going to turn the whole game upside down. I may take the portal back home and just go hunt deer and stuff back there. We just, yeah, we need better food. Probably leveled up copper gear, too. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let me get my rested bonus, guys. Okay, guys, we're all healed up. Got a little bit of a rested bonus. Let's try this again. Um, let's go in a different direction, you know? Let me go off in this direction. All right, wish us luck. I'll come screaming back if we run into any problems. Good luck, brave warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, we got a crypt, a burial chamber right here. Ah, there we go. Skeleton down. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one. We'll come back to it. Might want to search all these for... Oh, more spiders! No, oh, tuck and roll. Charm. Ah, there we go. Nice. I don't think charm makes a difference if you're still the only thing around for it to attack. Uh, yeah, oh! that's what I'm wondering as well. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, spiders. This is... Whew, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Wow. We only have 10 arrows left. That's good. Holy crap. Yeah, you know what, guys? It might be worth raiding these burial chambers just for gold and stuff, just so we can buy something from Haldor to defend ourselves with a little better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thinking differently. Thinking differently. Oh, boy, guys. Ran into a bunch more skeletons, but look, we have another burial chamber. Plenty of these around here. We'll be able to go hunting for lots of tra- Oh, another spider! Can we tame the- Oh, I'm gonna charm the spider to take on the, sp the skeletons. Or, I think we hit one of the skeletons, but that's alright too. Oh! Man, these spiders are crazy! Oh, I just wanted to mark this burial chamber! Whoa! How long does that charge last? Or the charm, I mean. Charge, charm. Oh. I think it probably lasts longer. Depending on your skill. That makes sense. Oh, we did it! Me and my skeleton buddy took out the... Took out the spider, guys. Wow. Holy crap. All right. Another burial chamber. Yeah, we're definitely going to be buying some better stuff uh, from Haldor as soon as possible. <laughs> At least a better weapon or shield, maybe. And uh, another way we can buff ourselves. It depends on how you want to do it. Um, we can either like summon Ekthir a couple of times, get enough enchanting to enchant some gear, or and then like so the elder gives better enchanting stuff as you progress through the bosses. They each give better and better stuff to enchant with and then there's also uh or, or or we can like farm gold and buy it buy it from haldor um both is an option all right guys i had to hop up on a rock and cower here we uh we got a two star brown spider and a one star spider and both of them have green stars i'm pretty sure that's health regen let's uh let's charm the two star I don't think that hit anything. I think that bounced off the rock. That's good. That's good. I'm going to be stuck here for about a minute while we get Charm back. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. I've got about five seconds left on the Charm cooldown. This time we're going to slide down the rock and actually, yeah, it might hit us. But, you know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That, that, I think we definitely Charmed it that time. Oh, yeah. ah, get on the rock. Is everything what? Did we charm both of them? Oh, okay. <laughs> you might be the best charmer in the world. Oh no, guys, more spiders! Oh my gosh, a five-star gray dwarf brutes. Look at that thing! Whoa. Five stars! Look at this monster! Okay, I'm so glad actually, because you know what? We just led the spiders over. 
I don't think spiders and great orbs get along. So let's that see if we nice. can turn the enemies against each other. Nope, they all want a piece of hiccup. Why, though? What did the hiccup ever do to you? Oh my gosh, guys, look at the army behind us. I uh, can't fight this. I can't fight this. Oh, we charmed one of the spiders, but I don't think it's going to last very long. Nope, 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 it didn't. Oh, I think I've lured them all away from the nest so we can get rid of the nest. Yeah, nest is gone. Oh, I'm poisoned. That stinks. Come on now. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <gasps> Five seconds left on charm. Guys, I like how we went from, ah, oh, yeah, I'm big and bad and tough and come challenge me to a fight to, hey, hey, will you help me? Hey, will you help me fight this thing? It's, it's pretty much what we're doing with charm. Did I charm the five star Grey Dwarf Brute? You know it. Smash things. He's not smashing anything. He's, he's literally running away. Oh, we've got Grey Dwarves versus Skeletons versus Spiders. Just gonna weaken everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm seeing fireballs and fire burning in the back. Timely, is that you out there? <laughs> I hear yelling. Man, I've been yelling forever. This has been going so bad. I'm up here looks on like top of a, a crypt. Yeah, it looks like you're fighting a giant over there. Oh, it's a giant and his minions and a spider. You should come join me on my perch of, of terror. <laughs> oh, I'm Lord. I'm going to try and charm the greater brute, the five-star one again, but the last time I did this, he just ran away. Actually, I'll try the spider. Oh. How about this great orb brute? Nope, I oh think I hit God. the rocks five again. Stars. Five stars. stars. Let me weaken everybody. They don't care about you at all over there. Boom! Nice meteor. <laughs> hey, brute. Hey, brute. <laughs> uh oh Oh, I fell off. Not cool. Hey, brute. Did we get him? I got the spider. The spider should be helping you. We have a oh, troll. Yeah, he is. Now we have a troll. <laughs> Where? Where's this troll? Oh my god. Yeah, okay. he's aggressive. right on top of us. And he's aggressive. We love aggressive trolls. That's our favorite kind of troll. Can I weaken him? Nope. Don't have the stamina for it yet. Oh my gosh, guys. This has turned into an afternoon, hasn't it? hi -oh! Here we go. I don't know where the brute and the spider ran off to, but I'm glad we don't have to deal with them right now. Yeah, I think they're off just fighting. Whoa! Each other. Spider's back! Ah! Oh! Right. Yes, the spider is back! Oh, come on! No. Oh, this is this is getting oh, crazy. We we might have to. Here, retreat. follow me! Follow me back up to the uh, to the burial chamber. I'm gonna go hide on top of my burial chamber again. Oh gosh! Okay. All right, Sean. just got to watch the rocks occasionally. Hey, nice with the fire. Oh, and guys, we were experimenting earlier. We found out that my zone charge makes it so that we're sheltered under trees. So we should be getting a rested bonus here in just a second. And then we're going to charm that troll. Oh, yeah, charm the troll. Smash things, troll boy. Troll's on our side right now. Look at him go. Smash them great orbs. Yes! Ah, oh, yes, charm. Oh my gosh. Nice block. Yes, my troll minion. Kill them all. Oh, that just about killed me. Fruits is going down. Nice. Fruits down. I'm gonna get this charm on this spider. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, dude. What's the uh, Hi entrance? Is it right here? Yeah, it's right beneath us right here. Go on. Go heal up. Okay. I'm going to try and charm this spider. What if I get charm again? Oh, man. Guys, I just wanted some food. We just came out here to get some food. Come on, spider, spider, spider. The spider's running away. Ah, uh, whatever, spider. Look at me, big guy. Oh, okay. All right, now we got to deal with the spider. 
Can the monster Nomicon creatures be staggered? I don't know. <laughs> so I haven't been able to stagger one of these spiders yet. That's rough. That's rough stuff right there. All right, I need to mark this. I'm going inside to mark it, and then I'm moving on. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's head back. Um, does Haldor still sell fishing pole? Have we not considered that yet? Have we done that yet? Oh, he does. Uh, I think he does sell them. I would totally do some fishing just to get us some food to help us survive, to fight better. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been a rough <laughs> afternoon. I don't even know. We haven't even been playing with Monster Nomicon that long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. Found the fishing rod. We're going to do it. We're going to get some. We're going to buy a fishing rod for ourselves. Pop. And then we're going to buy a bunch of fishing baits. All right, let's go fishing. We need some food. We need to chill for a little bit. We're going to go fish off a of graveler for a little while and uh, hopefully just get us some, I don't know, some good food to survive with because holy crap, things just things just got so much more difficult. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you know, it's probably going to take too much stamina to fish from all the way up here. This boat's pretty freaking tall. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're just looking around for fish, but the moment I... Oh, 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 I see some swimming swimmies. Oh, my gosh, but there's so many gray dwarves. Why, gray dwarves? Stab it, 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 stab it. There we go. Ah, uh, all I want to do is fish. I just want to... I just want to fish. All I want to do is fish. I do? Sea fish, guys. Plenty of fish, actually. All right. Make sure one of us has a fire going and... Uh, Good little cooking spit, because uh, we're about to have some fish meat. Fish meat. This is going to be the most exciting fishing montage you guys have ever seen. <laughs> and that's what happens when you cast too far, and it lands, you know, on land. There you go. Just drag it, drag it back into the water. It's no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the first fish. Reeling it in. Come on, big guy. Come here. Come here. Probably shouldn't be doing this on the rock, guys. It takes more stamina. To yep, nope, nope. There, give me that. All right, we got it. We got that fish. No problem. Oh yeah. Let's go fishing again. Ah uh, yes, a seven meter cast. There we go. We got another one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Just haul it in. More fish meat. So hungry. Starving Vikings here. Another. Give me another. Oh, hooked, hooked again. Come here, little fishings. I'm the fastest fisher you ever saw. Actually, guys, not kidding. I have not been fishing very long. We've already got, uh, there's only four, four pieces, but you know, it's not bad. More fish. There we go. Hooked again. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Guys, wait, this fish is flying. It's almost like he wanted to save his friend. I'm not sure what's happening right now. I think they're trying to attack me. Ah, we got another one! Just try charming, charming the fish. It's <gasps> the best idea you've had all day. <laughs> Hiya! Uh, I think it just hits the water and bounces. <laughs> it also made me cast my line. I'm trying really <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna park yourself right there and not nibble? Is the fish bait like not your, not your thing, not your style? Whatever. Mm. Oh, there it is. Come here, big guy. Yep. Oh, yeah. Just you. And now you're a little friend, too. And that'll be it. That'll be all the fish around. I'll have to go find another fishing spot. All right. All right. Time to move spots. We're not getting any more bites here. I haven't seen any wander by here in a while. Let's wander down the shore a little bit. Whoa. What happened? We might have to go back to the meadows briefly. Yeah, what there's, you got? There's a new kind of mob out here. In I the meadows? Noticed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's uh No, huh, let me see it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check it out, guys. Timely saying it's, there's it's a new the, mob. It's in the uh It's in the one marked. It's unmarked. Let me uh, I'll put a Oh, I've got a bounty near here. But um it's, it's, uh, it's Let's pocket. get some meals. I've got some fish. Let's do a little cooking and then we'll yeah, yeah we'll go check it out. Okay, guys, we've got our food. Let's go visit Timely. Oh my gosh, yeah. you have so many sp you have spiders after Ooh. you. They are relentless. Yeah, wow, I can't believe there's spiders here in the in the meadows. Ooh, watch out. Oh, there's one on you. Think I charmed 
with him? Did it not work? Guys, did it not work really? The brown spiders are friends with- Oh no, I'm gonna die. That poison. That poison's gonna get me real good. Yep, see you later guys. Ah! Oh my gosh, are you still fighting him? Yeah. Hang on, we're almost there. They're aggressive. Yeah, they're a pain, that's for sure. This is rough. Hi. Okay. Oh, man. I just wanted my stuff. Ow. I'll just lay here for a minute. Okay. Oh no, oh. guys, are they still... There you are, they're still crowding the summon area. Oh, it's... It's also getting dark, or I guess you're already there. Is this one of the ones I can't hurt? What is up with that? I'm starting to wonder if it has something to do with charm. Sometimes I swear I hit things and I charm them, but sometimes it doesn't seem to charm them, and I don't think I can do damage to them after the charm wears off. The hell was that? Guys, what is that? Guys, no, really, though, what is that? It's like a butterfly. A rainbow butterfly. What is a yeah. rainbow? Yeah. What is a rainbow butterfly? I have to shoot it out of the sky now. No, I don't. We'll come back for it. I'm getting out of here. Screw you, spider. An item prevents me from teleporting. What? Who dropped what? And how? Holy crap, guys, I just want to run to the portal. It says, where did copper come from? Where the heck did I get copper from? No. Whew. Ah, oh, guys, I think we're actually going to do it. I think we're going to take on a couple spiders and actually live to tell the tale. Uh, no, oh, one more hit. That's all it's going to take. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think Timely was able to sneak past and go get his stuff. You want to change your class or you want to go get some rest? I'm here at the stone, so I'm going to go ahead and change real quick. All right. Uh... Um, you're using arrows? Um, I have a couple on me. I'm just, you know, whenever I get hurt, I like to use it to ditch out, and just shoot at a distance. Yeah, I just dropped some there. Oh, cool. Uh, and let's change the class. New class. What you got? Um, now I have. Whoa. You look like you're hurting yourself. I am. <laughs> Are you a berserker? Uh, I'm a berserker. Oh, yeah. nice. So you got the the rush, the berserker like health for damage. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I can get two-handed weapons, it reduces my stamina use on those. But I also deal like four percent bonus damage when uh, for every ten percent health is missing. There you go. We just toss that at gear down for you. Two-hand that. Oh shoot! Bad oh, the bone. Uh, um, what are you gonna use? I've got my got? I've got my axe and my shield, and I'll I'm gonna look for something to buy from Haldor pretty soon. But if you yeah, get a yeah. bonus for two-handed weapons, by all means, take it. The reach is really nice, and the uh, the whirlwind ability on it uh, seems to knock back the spiders. We were just using that to survive pretty well, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Y yeah. Good point. All right, guys, we're gonna go back get some sleep, and we might come back here and hunt some some deer and some and some neck but uh who knows there's spiders out here too and actually it looks like both of us have maybe a bounty near here so we might come back out to the meadows to farm up going back to the basics guys need all the good stuff need the food need the survival life is uh life is rough out here now anyway we'll see you guys in the morning ah oh, crap guys we were just about to go through the portal to go back to the meadows and of course you know the forest has to start moving we were gonna go try to get stuff done we still need food we need everything we need a bit of everything ah oh, put your weapons on hiccup it's time to go oh yeah show off that new berserker skill nice oh lord oh my gosh Weaken everybody! Oh yeah! With the weaken and Timely's new Berserker. Oh, abilities, we're whooping. We're doing pretty good. Yeah! 
Okay, see, great orbs we can handle. These spiders, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really, though. This no, a, we're going to have to... It's like, a death, it's like a Destiny game out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at them all. Weaken everyone. Swing. Everybody swing. Swing those weapons. Yeah, chop them down. Timber! Insane. Oh my gosh, this is nuts right now. I feel like it increased the, like how many come or something. I don't know, this is madness. Ah. I may not be the berserker in the party, but I am feeling the resin lust. <laughs> ah! We charmed one of them. I think we charmed the brute. Kill it anyway. Kill them all. Oh, are they all charmed? Weaken everybody! I'm really liking the weaken combo with, with you as the melee. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Two-handed weapons. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, one of them popped as a poison creature, right? Wow. Wow. Oh, no. Okay, well, this is a whole other challenge. Ooh, ouch. Weaken. Not even sure if that helps. Oh, got me. Ah. No, oh, there we go. Really tough. These yeah. Just really tough. The spiders are very tough. I charmed uh, it. Oh, man, guys. Just barely keeping ahead of the spider. Oh, yeah, look at that. Berserker rush. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Finally. Wow. Okay. All right, guys, that was absolutely crazy. We've got a whole bunch of new, uh, I've got a whole bunch of items that dropped there. Let's go over some of them. Let's see what we got here. Got a pretty cool tower shield. I'm not into tower shields. Couple hammers. All right, so nothing special. Let's go and smash all these out in the enchanter. Yeah, yeah. I might fix this up so that it's more like this will be a genuine uh, enchanting room. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Guys, we need to start getting, yeah, like I said, in the beginning of the episode, we need to get back to the basics. I think Timely's going to set up his enchanter, and we'll try to work the forge up in here. I think we're going to try and set my house up as the cooking spot. We'll get all the food things and the cauldron over there, and and uh, we'll, we'll get a few more things going along. But, uh, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. It's been absolutely crazy introducing Monster Nomicon into this mix. Oh, look at the storm. Yeah. Guys, we're just going to hang out here and do some stuff around the base, get some stuff going. And uh, next time we'll be venturing out in the meadows. We'll go hunt some bounties. There are spiders out in the meadows. So, you know, that's going to get a little more dangerous and exciting. But we also might go and fight Ikthyr a couple times, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. I don't know how many times. We're going to fight Ikthyr a bunch because the boss trophies can be smelted down, or not smelted, but sacrificed down into enchanting parts. And it looks like enchanting is uh, enchanting our gear is going to be something we want to look into to help us survive the spiders, get a little more strategy, get a little more meta going, really try to help us survive. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll be getting into next time. Well, hey guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. Everything's getting crazy, man. These spiders are nuts and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to discover with Monster Nomicon and so many of the other mods still are gonna get into some enchanting, like I said, and that's gonna be really exciting. So guys, stick around. Hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Guys, welcome back to the Modheim series. We're getting ready to go and hit up the meadows again, because in the last episode, we got our butts kicked out here in uh, in the Black Forest. Uh, we've got some spiders wandering around out here, and they're a lot tougher than most things, and I swear there's more great orbs than there used to be, don't you think so? Oh, there, it was... It. Yeah, it, it felt like double the amount that I've, I've usually seen. Maybe it's because there's two of us, but it felt like way, way more. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely getting tougher. And guys, we barely had enough food to survive, and we've been building so much we didn't have a whole lot. But check this out. We've got a good farm going on now. Uh, Timely's been caring for the caring for the carrots, yeah. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, we have to do it again because now it's tradition. The carrots are coming. The carrots, carrots are, coming. are coming. Yep. So we'll get carrots eventually. Um, we have a couple that I made a few meals with. We have a couple meals to get us by today. Uh, we've got some queen's jam for stamina, poor uh, jerky for balanced balanced breakfast, <laughs> and some deer stew uh, for health. Uh, we're gonna be doing all right. We've got a little storage shed out there, and guys, I've set my cabin up to be kind of the cookery for now, the kitchen. We've got a nice little pantry, a nice little cooking area, a nice little sitting area, and timely. Look at that cabin over there. He's fixed his up. He's got a nice enchanter going on top of the roof, so we've been melting down a lot of those special weapons and stuff that we've got, which is another thing we're gonna get into today, guys. Definitely want to try and uh, enchant something hopefully by the end of the day. We need every advantage we can get at this point. It's really time to start stacking all of these enchantments and start using them to our advantage because uh, life is getting tough out here. Yeah. Do you have any gear that's like any, like my, my bronze plate, uh, my cuirass and my leggings aren't, they're not enchanted. Uh, the no. app gear you lent to me is, is also not... No, the only thing I have that's really enchanted of uh, and worth anything is the bow. Uh, it gives me plus five bow skill and seven spirit damage. And, like, my pick is enchanted, but it's, like, you know, pickaxe skill, and my hammer's enchanted. My hammer's nice. I've got 25 extra stamina with the hammer, so it's good for building. But, yeah, no armors, no weapons, except for the bow, and the bow is uh, semi-useful, mostly just for skeletons. But, uh, yeah, guys, we need some tougher stuff. Ah, oh, guys, isn't this game freaking beautiful? Here, here, I'll even turn the, I'll even turn the, the, the HUD off. That you take, you guys, you guys take you a picture of that. I'm gonna take me a picture of that. Yeah, there you go, guys. Take a snapshot of me and Timely there. Get you, get, get us as your background. You know that's beautiful. This game is beautiful. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head out to the meadows. Time to get this party started. We have a couple of, uh, we do have a couple of bounties out there that we're gonna take care of. We're also gonna fight Ike Deer, getting a whole bunch of. Hopefully get a bunch of a uh, bunch of those drops so we can salvage them and enchant stuff later. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a deer right there. Guys, don't mind us. I'll try to I'll try to snip out as much of the boring hunt as we can, but uh, we definitely need deer meat and neck hide, so we're gonna take the time to hunt a bunch of this stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Get some necks. Neck, 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 neck. neck! Bring on the neck. Oh my gosh, guys, why? The spiders, why are they so difficult? These are the... Oh, it's split. That's really not okay. Oh. Oh, I can't believe both of these spiders are splitting. Can you... That... Oh, I... man. I don't have much, to... much else to say about it, really. Okay, so he's about to split. Uh, I'll... Let's take care of those smaller ones first, I guess. Sure, sure. Just we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll just do that. So easy. There's your spin, dude. That spin is so nice for pushing them off of you, actually. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Oh wait a minute, what am I doing, guys? Here, stand close. There we go. Nice. Let's get out of here. Let's get on this rock. Oh I, god. I may cancel that for my my Sith Lord blast. Why am I sliding down? Oh. <laughs> okay, we're okay. Oh, uh, guys, we're gonna get this. We've got this though. Ooh, okay. Just need to get some stamina back. You're all right. Ooh, we got yeah. you. Oh. Ah. All right. Oh. If I could wipe the sweat <laughs> from my brow in this game. Let's go hunt our bounties while we still have some food and health. And... Actually, you know what? Oh, I... While we're right next to the portal, let's go home and get reget like rebuff on the on the rested Rest. bonus. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my bounty's coming up. We're about to enter its little circle of red influence. Hey, raspberries. All right, it could be around here anywhere. This creature, what is this creature called? Guys, we've got Rex, uh, mysterious one, the mysterious one. I guess it could be anywhere around here. I think I found him. Oh, I'm seeing, I'm, I, the health bar just popped up. Chasing him while I still have Ethers. Bonus. Yep. 
<laughs> ah, one nice little arrow for that hunt. Okay, so the deer, not very intimidating. But, guys, look at all the deer trophies we have already. We'll be able to fight Ike deer several times. Oh, two more spiders are coming. Oh, gosh, here we go again, guys. Wish us luck. My charm does not seem to be working on these spiders. I swear it did earlier in the last episode. Ha! Oh, no! Come on. Shoo. Two, one. Okay. It's rough. Survive one. One hit from them. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's the same. Oh no, six seconds. Come on. Don't die on me. I don't wanna die. die. I don't wanna die. Oh, it was close. Okay, I'm good. We're okay. Kinda of bummed. I don't think the bounties dropped. Oh no, we did we got some blue pants, guys. That's cool. We just really we just wanna collect these things so we can get all of the ingredients. I'd like to enchant something by the end of the afternoon. Oh spiders! Oh, oh all right yep nope guys we're just gonna stop using the charm you know i just that missed too the lightning bolt missed too oh come on game you gotta give me something that'll work here Woo. is it afraid of fire <gasps> i hope so that would be very useful that would be <laughs> stupid useful hang on a second let's see i'm gonna stand on the other side of it <laughs> it appears so. Let me experiment with this. <laughs> Hiya! Oh yeah, he's just turning and running. He's like, I don't want anything to do with you. Oh dude, hey, torches are now very useful. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah, just for warding off the spiders, that seemed that really did seem to help a little bit. Yeah, um, we, can it. we are almost literally right on top of this bounty. He's somewhere around here. Slide down. Four minion. I think he's over here. This thing says boar minion. Oh, yep. Boar minion. Alright. The insulted. Well, I'll I insult you. Oh, this is him? He's so small. He's just a normal boar. <laughs> just a normal boar. Just all a right. guy. He's just a dude. All right, you know what, guys? All right, instead of fighting all these little guys, while I still have some arrows and some strength and some food left, let's go fight Ike here. Let's go summon him in. Okay, guys. All rested up. Oh, I need to have another meal. There we go. And we have plenty of trophies to offer up, so we're going to take. Uh, we're gonna fight Ike here a bunch of times, guys. Here we go. Let's see how many different Ike Deers we can challenge today. All right, behind door number one, the first contender. Oh, oh my God. crap, the reflective. He's so big. Hit him with the lightning. Pow! Oh, five stars. Is he reflecting damage at you? Yeah. That's not cool. Oh, <laughs> he just smacked me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. No, gosh, he's too strong. He's even dealing damage to me with the bow. I don't think I realized it, but yeah, actually, every time I shot an arrow, he would just tick my health down. Guys, what kind of... That's way too much reflective damage. Five-star reflective damage. Wow. Oh, my gosh, he's so big. Guys, I do not have the stamina. When Timely gets back, we're going to... Oh, that hurts so much. Timely! I'm gonna throw Try up the him. I'm gonna throw up the ice deer bonus for both of us so we can just keep running around this guy. If he yes. doesn't kill me right here. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to put on put on some gear. Hey, this is where I'm hiding. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, oh, put this on. He doesn't like the spirit damage. Oh my god. Don't you die on me! Don't you die! Yeah, I'm just waiting on that passive health regen. Oh no, he's so big. I I didn't I didn't think that would hit me. That's insane. No, I, I, the only reason I swear the bow is helping me stay alive just by keeping distance. Cause yeah, wow, he's so massive. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, nope, that's gonna kill us, guys. Oh. Oh my gosh, seven health. Nope, we're dead. Ah! 
Well, five stars. Yep. That's uh that's a rough first first boss of the day there. <laughs> we'll be right behind you. Still the reflection though is is what's guilt it's what's killing me, because even with the bow I can't I can't shoot more than five or six arrows and suddenly I'm like I'm in need of a yeah. health potion. Oh. oh, nice dodge. Oh, man. Oh, put the armor on. Dress yourself, Hiccup. Dress yourself. I just can't try to dodge his... No, you're fine. We'll take him down. If you can keep him distracted, we'll, we'll shoot him down. Wow. Oh, stamina, stamina, come on, stamina. Yeah, he does like seven points of damage to me. We've to, got him. Uh... Last arrow. Oh, he just about oh, killed God. us. Nice. Wow. You uh, you downed him. Woo. All right. Well, five star Ike Deer. Ooh. Not bad. A legendary. Oh, it what is a is. legendary. Legendary wooden shield. Let's see what we have here, guys. I don't know what any of that means, but it only has a block power of six, and I'm just not going to try and tank anything with that. But we'll tear it apart and use it for stuff. Guys, let us go ahead and rest. Get ourselves saved up. And we'll fight the next one. Um, Yeah, ready for this one? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Let's get our uh, let's get our next boss. Ike the around two. Hopefully not five stars again. Oh, he's going to appear right behind us, guys. I've got an arrow charged and ready. He Kaboom! Looks so... Okay, a two-star, just regular Ike here. Not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and get Your down there. Your small time. Yeah, I'm going to get in here and help you with this one. We've got this guy, guys. No problem. Owie. Okay, that hurts a little. <laughs> Owie. Owie. Don't get hit by him for sure. Yeah, no. Ooh. Ow. Oh, yeah, we're, we're chunking him down, though. He won't last long. I had my shield up. Don't even tell me otherwise. No, oh, no, you don't. Almost got him, guys. Almost got him. Nice. Yeah. Not a problem. Anything? Uh, just a couple more trophies. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Um, oh, got a glowing helm. Uh, it's just a, it's just leather, but it'd be good to go spelunking with. That would be cool. I do want to go and spend some time in the crypts and get as much treasure as we can, so we can start buying things from, from Haldor. Yeah. All right. Let's go again. The next Ikea. There he comes. Here he comes. Whoa! Oh, he's just a five star. <gasps> There's still... two of them! There's two of them! Oh, it's a twin! Ikea, the twin. Oh, oh my God. gosh! At least he doesn't reflect damage this time, though, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh, two of them? Are you kidding me oh, right now, game? Let's try to get him in so I can attack. Oh, he just tore down these trees. Oh, that was a pain. That was a hurt. Don't you die on me. Not if I have anything to say. Oh, that hurts so much. Guys, he's too big to get away from. I literally can't oh. just... Oh no! Smacked me and died. Oh no, I can't run from both of them. They're too big. Gen genuinely too big. No! Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm stuck! Oh! This is what I get for running and looking over my shoulders and trying to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, man. We're getting our stuff, and we'll be right there. 
Oh no, guys, we came oh. here with no rested bonus. I was foolish. I was oh. foolish. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look, a portal. Ah, there we go, guys. Nice and well rested. I hope Timely's doing all right out there. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. We've got one of the IQs coming across the water at us nice and slow. I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of arrows in his nostrils. There we go. Oh, you're already back. Whoa! Oh, that really? Wow, the reach on that lightning is something. That's something, I'll tell you what. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, he's so big. It's so difficult to roll away from him and to like time that dodge. Wow. Yeah, finding them in the trees actually seems to help. They get all caught up and stuck and turn around. Yeah. Okay, this one actually seems to be taking the damage and and actually like... Oh, does his twin not take damage? I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know, but we've almost got this one down. Oh, but man, Timely, did you survive that? Yeah. Wow. I 27 health. I got hit by one of those. I'm very lucky the second one didn't catch me. Oh, guys, looks like Ikthyr is a little stuck at the moment, trying to climb over his other twin, Ikthyr. And I think we're going to get him. Nope, he turned to look at us. Ah, oh, I just need enough stamina for one more arrow. Here it is. We got him. Uh. Oh, yeah, his twin disappeared too. Oh, my <sighs> gosh. Wow. Oh, two purples. Here, let's see if we can split those. Hey, hey, go away. Hey, hey, go away. All right, what'd we get? I got a purple flint axe called the Norn Rend. Indestructible, axe's skill plus 11. Wow. Yeah, it's actually pretty, you know, it's a flint axe, so it's still pretty wimpy, but uh, it's a cool, it's a cool bunch of um, stats it has there. What'd you get? Yeah, yeah. I got the Doom Shell. That is a, uh, let's get, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of the storm. This is getting ridiculous. These mods turn every biome into something more, more treacherous. Yeah, that uh, Monster Nomicon, jeez. That Doom Shell, um, gives you some health regen, but the main thing on it that's neat is, uh, it gives you 14% thorns, so whatever something would hit you with, it reflects 14% of the damage back at them. Oh, there you go. Just like that first like theory we were fighting, that'll be nice. Yeah. All right, let's go try and disenchant a bunch of this stuff and maybe even throw a... We should throw an enchantment on your at gear because I feel like that's the weapon that's really hurting things right now. So let's get all of our stuff together and see what we can break down. Oh, yeah, get rid of that Nord Ren. That's okay. Guys, look at all this new stuff. Legendary Essence. Epic Essence. Look at all this good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and toss these in the chests. Timely's got everything nice and neatly organized over here. Yeah, you want to try and enchant your at gear? I was going to maybe try and enchant my chest piece and get a little more defense. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. What kind of what yeah. kind of enchantment can we give uh, Can we give Timely, guys? So before you do it, um, if you... Well, wait. Oh, let's see. If you want to enchant yours with something yellow, we should have enough. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to craft that those like five of those blue rune stones into one yellow one. I am not if you can't do it here, just just like have it in your inventory and open up your like your regular like your. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Regular... Rare, yeah, rare rune stone. Okay, craft one of those. Yeah, we should use this and... rare enchant for your ad gear. Honestly, I'd rather okay. I'd rather the weapon have the big buff. I'll put a enchantment on my chest piece for a little more defense. Yeah. Um. When you're on the enchant panel, um, go ahead and you'll like you've got those options. There's magic, rare, epic. You click on rare, it'll show you what you need to enchant it. Um, right, yeah, I'm getting them yeah. now. There we go. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's give this awesome ad gear. A, uh, what? Wait, what? What is uh, this? Is rare? Yeah, rare. Okay, so yellow is rare. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Boom. Oh, I do believe Timely is going to enjoy this. So we've got attack stamina use, minus 12%. Very nice for a two-handed weapon. Whoa. Attack speed, plus 20%. Whoa. 
It says health critical, so that might only be when your your health is low. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm a Berserker, so I get increased attack damage whenever my health is low anyway. So oh, this yeah. Is, this... That is super nice then. Yeah, my bow is okay. Um, I probably would try to change it, but I like the spearage damage on it, and you can't really do much more. It is a fine wood bow, which is what we have. Maybe if I made another fine wood bow of my own, I'd try to make another one. But, yeah, yeah. guys, let's go ahead and see if I can level up this chest piece. Not level it up, but uh, yeah, let's put an enchantment on a blue one. We need dust and reagent. Alright, let's try this, guys. Let's put something on my chest piece here. Uh, physical damage reduction plus 1%. Hey, I mean, I'll take it. All right, well, yeah, we'll definitely have to start farming up some more of those bosses to get more of those, because that's that's pretty awesome. Do uh, later bosses drop more of those? Yeah, yeah. what they'll do is uh, later bosses have, they drop better gear, their their trophies. Like, so Ikethyr drops, you disenchant his trophy into the blue runestone, but then if you do the Elder, he gives you rare runestones. And I'm not sure about beyond that. It's, uh, I haven't... I haven't, I haven't reverse that far yet. Alright, well, we'll have to check it out as we go. Well, Alright everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap it up for today. We're running out of food and that's been absolutely crazy. I can't believe those boss fights went the way they did. That was absolutely nuts having not one or two, but three five-star bosses because, you know, technically the twin, I think, only counted as one. I don't think we were doing damage to its clone, but uh, technically had three five-star Ikethyrs chasing us at, at some point today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was absolutely crazy, and the bounties are always fun. Guys, we're going to have to hunt um, and take on some more of those bosses, get a couple more of those runestones together so we can enchant some more of our own stuff because, yeah, that's going to be super handy and probably essential for us to survive out here. But, yeah, guys, next time we'll be venturing out to the burial chambers around here. I'm really looking forward to... Uh, diving into those little crypts and, and stealing all the goods and the gold we can and hopefully buying something a little more powerful from Haldor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know that we'll be able to save up enough money to buy a whole set of armor for ourselves, but maybe we could just harvest the copper around here to level up this armor. But if we could buy each of ourselves, like, a really nice weapon, that would be cool. And, guys, I might change my class next time because we can encharm our on and off. They Half the time they work and half the time they don't. I'm going to be real sad to, to see the zone charge go because I really like that passive bonus. That's something I really enjoy. I uh, really love passive stuff. But yeah, I think I'm going to change my class again next time. Not feeling as useful to timely as this one. There's a couple more classes we can check out though. So I'm super excited to get into that too. Anyway guys, we're going to let that wrap it up for today. If you had fun hanging out with us, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. I'll be bringing you a new class timely i'll be bringing you some more enchantments in the next couple of episodes we've got a lot going on hopefully buying stuff from haldor so much to do guys but anyway guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and we will catch you in the next episode as always thanks for watching Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Guys, thanks again for joining us for the Modheim series. We've built up the base a little bit. I say we, I mean Timely here. Timely's been building up everything. We've got a nice shack back here. It's all supplied and stocked up. We've even got the log choppers. We've got a nice little garden out here. Guys, look at this, with plant it, right? This is plant, or plant everything, or plant it. Well, let me double check. It's, it used to be plant everything, and then that developer dropped it. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's called plant everything again. So plant everything. So yeah, we've got some blueberries and some raspberry bushes growing out here. Timely's been meticulously planting carrots. Look at those precise squares. We've got seeds growing up here, guys. This place is coming along. We've got a wall going up everywhere because believe me, ever since we introduced those spiders, we've needed some defense. Lots of defense. Oh yeah. It has been pretty oh, rough. Yeah. Oh, look at the mod. Oh, that's too cool. Is that part of the same mod? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Plant everything. Um, you eventually get to. Yeah, you can plant uh, vines. Um, and you'll see these these vines are naturally found in the game. On the if you go to the meadows, uh, you'll see things like that on it. And you, you know, if you ever thought to yourself, man, I want to plant with that, um, this mod lets you do that. He's got it up on his house too, guys. Look at that. So many things. So many cool things. 
Anyway, guys, in the vein of things being really difficult, we were going to go and raid a bunch of burial chambers around here, and we're going to look for treasure. We're going to look for uh, gold coins. We're going to look for rubies, amber pearl, amber, anything we can get to sell to Haldor to try and build up a whole bunch of cash and hopefully buy at least one of us or both of us some kind of like later end game weapon. I think we'll be all right with the armor we have for now and we can harvest up some more copper and hopefully some iron pretty soon to get some better armor. But mostly I just I just want to be able to hit a little harder. <laughs> and take harder hits. <laughs> yeah, actually uh, a, a later weapon will have a better block for us and a parry. Speaking of that, guys, so this weaken and charm ability with the enchanter is not serving me very well. I'm thinking I'm going to change up classes and, uh, so yeah, I kind of wanted to change up classes, and, uh, I I've been trying to decide. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I'm kind of leaning back toward the archer or the rogue, because, uh, honestly, guys, oh, there's, there was a good little glitch right there. Honestly, guys, sometimes my internet connect connection is kind of crappy, and, uh, the melee game is a super gamble for me right now, so archery in a little distance seems a lot safer and a lot more supportive, and we can definitely help Timely out a little better that way. What you cooking in here? Are you cooking in here? What you cooking in here? in here. I need a spice rack. Oh yeah, we gotta hang some spice racks. That's gonna be really fun to get to. Oh, I like the shelf with the can. Guys, I need to get on here and do a little more decorating. I'm always so busy doing other things. I never get on. My house is definitely not as cool. Look at this awesome Good shack. Yeah, we'll keep building the base up. Timely probably we'll keep building the base up. This place is gonna become something amazing. I already, I already like the look of it, guys. I'm a big fan of these multi-tiered bases. Just get you different sections. Make it all nice and look at, look at all the paths you can make. I don't know. It's great. Anyway, guys, let me figure out what I need to become something. I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of leaning toward the rogue. We've already done the archery. Yeah, let's do a rogue. Let me find out what I need to be a rogue, and then I'll be right back. Ah, yes. All right, here we are. I had timely come with me because I need an escort. It's, it's a dangerous world out here now. Things are. Things are different, yeah. Just walking around in the guard pose, the block. <laughs> okay. Who knows? So, honey, turns out if you want to be a rogue, you gotta like sweet things. And we are rogue now. <gasps> oh, guys, did I mention we turned off? So we mentioned it in one episode, and then I think we forgot about it. But we definitely turned friendly fire off. Oh, yeah. That really didn't do that much damage. Oh, I need to eat something. That really didn't do that much damage. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I, I guess, like, yeah, that really doesn't do much. Hit me again. Man, you've got a big two-handed weapon. So I guess it's pretty, it's pretty tame, the amount of damage you yeah. deal to your allies. But still, that's going to be, uh, yeah, totally forgot about that, I think, in the previous episode. But let's go read what my rogue abilities are and learn a little bit from Hugi here. You talking to this bush? I am talking to this bush. <laughs> You it's don't funny because Hugo doesn't show up for me. It looks like you just ran over to a bush. You're like, let's go look at what I need to learn. <laughs> it's all written. You know, you're just flipping the leaves over and you're just reading the instructions underneath all of the... It's Valheim talking to you. All right, guys, so we've got a poison bomb we can throw. That's pretty cool. A fade. Oh, it lets us set a point and teleport back to it. That's pretty cool. And a backstab. Instantly move and deal a critical strike. Yeah. Give it a... Give it a... Give it a, give it a... Give it a try. Point at me and backstab me. I guess you have to have a dagger. I don't know. Invalid target. I must ha I must oh. need an enemy. I might need a dagger. Actually, a dagger would be nice. And guys, we all know Hiccup's a big fan of the knife and bow. It's a good combo for Valheim. It really is. Um. Anyway, let's throw a pipe. Yeah. What is it? I, I want to say pipe bomb. That is a poison bomb. <laughs> oh, I saw it. All right, nice little, nice little poison bomb. We got the fade. We'll run away from it real quick, and then, oh yeah, look at that! We teleport right back to it. Oh, and it lasts a little while, so we can use it several times, guys. Dude, it, it, it's one of my favorite play styles. You, you feel Ooh. like a real trickster, just juking around to enemies like that. Yeah, that is awesome. I kind of want to find a neck or something around here and test out the backstab before we go. Uh and hunt in the dungeons. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this is perfect. Yeah. We'll use a bow, keep our distance, and then this will really give us a quick, immediate, like, either exit from battle or just some really cheap ways to, oh wait, here's a deer. Ready? Ready for the backstab on the deer, guys? Hi, yeah! Not enough stamina. <gasps> okay. Oh yeah, 
I did so many trees and bushes, we didn't even clearly see it. But, yeah, that's just like an instant critical hit. We don't technically need a knife, but guys, look, we all know knives have like the best backstab and the best, like the highest crit chance. Maybe that's what I'll try and buy from uh, Haldor by the end of the day. That might want to be one of the cheaper weapons too. That'd be really cool. Or a bow. I could use a good bow. Well, we have a good fine wood bow. Oh, so um, here, look, look in this direction over here. You should have rogue and then like rogue uh, with like a one under it. Yep. Um, lock and then press attack. Press the other button. Oh, yeah, uh, the one disappeared. Then, yeah, you might not have seen it, but you threw you you threw a knife. Uh, takes 20 seconds for that to respawn. Um, come out here real quick. How many abilities Should... does the rogue have? <laughs> Dude, they're 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 packed. Uh, let me know when that one comes back. Should there be... it is. I got it back. Yeah. Okay. Now jump and then jump again. Oh, double jump, guys! What if? Oh, this is gonna be an awesome playstyle. Yeah, Super Survivor. I like this. Mobility. Got a little bit of escape. Gonna keep the bow up. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be so nice. Guys, we're gonna have fun in the crypts today. Today is gonna be a good day. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. We'll set out in the morning. Yeah, okay, let's get going. It's time to get out to the crypts. Do the uh, oh, lovely day for rain. I was gonna say, yeah, we wanted to, you want it was your idea to sleep. Alright. Yeah. Where's the closest one? So I've got a couple marked on the map, guys. Closest one I've got's right here. Yep, I see that one. Let's get going. Stamina, stamina, don't fail me now. There we go. All right, we got attacked by a troll on the way out here. But here's our first, uh, here's our first burial chamber. Yeah. Let's get get out of your tree. Yeah, let's get this tree out of the way. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get in here. All right, looking for treasure. Any kind of treasure, really. Hey, yellow mushroom. We have company. Have a knife. Ah, oh, yeah, a knife just does a little bit of damage. Ooh, dark in here, guys. Very dark. Never think to bring a torch. Oh, wait, I did bring a torch. Hey! He literally swung the moment we opened the door. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! I'm okay. Hang on, guys. Gotta swap the weapon and the torch and the shield. There we go. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, that side was full of a bunch of dead ends. Nothing really exciting. We only have the one, the one chest and the one little area with cores. But we've still got two more sections to search. Let's go this way. Uh oh. Ooh. Backstab. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Feeling pretty cool, actually. Uh-oh. Really don't think poison bomb is going to help against uh, skeletons. So I don't think they care about poison. Oh, no. I would assume not. Uh, dead end in here. Dead end. Anything good on the ground? Rubies or anything? Oh, man, that is a tiny little dead end. Guys, we're not doing good. First crypt. It's kind of a bust. Maybe. We're not done yet. Guys, that was Tiny the, crypt. Yeah, that was like the smallest burial chamber ever. Alright, on to the next one. Into the next crypt we go. Chamber. It's a chamber. These are not the sunken crypts yet. I don't know why. I get them all confused. Damn. Behind you! Ooh. Aggressive so-and-so! Alright. More aggressive. Oh, he's a... He's a healer. There we go. Yeah, out of here. Oh, behind us. Oh, more. Oh, guys. You're getting ambushed in here. Any more? Are we good? <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's see what's in here. Oh, they've got a big room back here. And a rancid. Uh. I'm going to get him with the backstab. Got to save up the stamina, though. Boom. Poke. I did some damage. Ah, uh, yeah. I already feel more useful. I swear, weaken and weaken didn't seem to really work on much, and then charm, charm worked half the time, but half the time is not okay. And then it just, yeah, and then it just bugged out the rest of the time. Yeah. Oop. Nice. Nice. Ah, there it Ooh, is. Nice. All right. That good. Yeah, it was very. Man, we were whooping it. That was a good run. 
Get all that gold. <laughs> yeah. This one really opens up, I think. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is one of the staircases, guys. I've only ever seen one or two of these. Backstab on the ghost. Don't like ghosts. Really don't like ghosts. Ah, oh, timely. Ah, man, ghosts are the worst. Can't, yeah. Can't see their attacks. I know. Oof. Winding. Oh yeah, very, very spiral. Oop, hey, you. <laughs> we'll backstab for you. Oop. Throw that knife at you. Oh yeah. All right. My chest. All right. Wow. Five food. cores. Yeah. <laughs> Five core, or yeah, five cores. That's a kiln right there, and uh, so there's some blue pants. Oh, blue. Lots of blues. No, not five. Um, blue, you said. Oh, it's a party in here. Oh yeah, a bunch of skeletons. Get out of here. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I think we're we're doing all right on the gold and the rubies, and we should definitely be able to to get somebody a cool weapon bow and knife or get you a big old battle axe or something oh man a battle axe would be so nice how do you get out of here I'm lost again no <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay okay cool. we're good we made it we found the exit all right guys I need to go make another torch uh, but then we'll try and look around for another uh, burial chamber this was the last one I had marked do you have more around here no no that, that, yeah, it's, I think we had the same ones marked so uh Let's see. I'm sure there's things pretty, pretty packed. Yeah, let's run around. Thankfully, we seem to be running into less spiders, which is super nice. Hmm. Oh, found it. Did you find it? Let's All right, in. guys. We found our next crypt. Let's clear out the guard and get inside. All right. Let me see if I can make another torch real quick. You can get in here. I rolled I'm right in. in. I rolled right in. Uh oh. Shouldn't have come in alone. Ha! Ah, that backstab <laughs> is actually pretty nice. I can't wait to have a knife. It'll do a lot more. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go Let's go straight this time. Yeah. Ah. Buttons. Buttons. But. But. Okay. It's always such a hassle for me to just pull out a weapon and the torch. I don't know why. I know how to do it. Oh. Oh. That's a good short dead end. That's good. That's good. Right, let's see what we got over on this side, guys. Oh, that's a dead end. That's good. That's good. Ah, that's real good. Dead. Oh my gosh, really? What's with all the really small crypts today, guys? This small chambers. They're very Chamber. Just barely. Maybe that's. Ah. Maybe that's why they're so small. Keep calling them crypts. <laughs> We've insulted them. <laughs> all right, let's go find another one. Ah, don't mind us, guys. We're gonna sit right here and get a get a rest of the bonus. Hi, Skellington. He he doesn't seem like he wants to hit me. I think everything's okay. Hey, <laughs> we had a thing I going. I thought we were friends. I know. <laughs> still a little bit more of this dungeon to explore though oh, oh. nice aggressive not aggressive enough just another core we have so many cores guys we'll be able to make plenty of portals oh. <laughs> Ooh, we got some tough ones in there backstab now I don't know where I am Ah. Yeah, that disoriented me hard right there. Sorry. <laughs> Are you good? Oh, I can see skeletons behind this one. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Wait, let me eat. Okay, here we go. Backstab. That backstab all three of them? I think so. Wow. Yeah, it looked like they all got staggered. Oh, my gosh. More cores. All right. So this chamber is paying off pretty well. How much do cores it, sell for, Dead End? 
fit in. Do cores sell for a good yeah. bit? Could we sell them, uh, our extra yeah. ones to him? Not sure. I pro probably think you can sell anything to him. Cool. Another door. This looks like a dead end. Oh yeah, small dead end. I think that's the crypt, guys. Or the, the chamber. It's chambers! These are burial chambers! <laughs> uh, anyway... Yeah, let's go on and get home. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can buy. Let's trade in all our goods. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Finally made it home. Home sweet home. Time to get some rest. And then we'll do some bartering with Haldor in the morning. To the beds. Oh, no. All my fires are out. And I have no wood. Nope. Wait. There Ooh. we go. There's a fire. One of them is working. We're good. Okay. So Haldor is a shrewd businessman. Or so I hear. That's what, that's what he's saying. That's what he says. I am also hearing someone... Is someone beating on the fence back here? What is happening out here? Yeah, I'm going to grab all of these rubies, amber, and amber pearl here and try to sell all of these and see, uh, see how much we come out with. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's sell all the amber pearl for 44. Not bad. Rubies, a stack of 20 goes for 440. That's not bad either. A stack of 12 for 264. Amber's going for six coins, up for 120 for 20 of them. Not bad. Amber Pearl, getting 110 for those. Hey, that actually looks like everything we could sell. Actually, it looks like Sertling cores don't sell for much. Two, two coins. Oh, two coins. Two oh. coins. Also, it looks like weapons are the thing we're going to want to make. We want to sell stuff to them. We're going to want to make our own weapons. You know, we could just buy ourselves buy both of ourselves a be the belt the strength belt oh yeah there it is yeah should we get each of us one of those yeah yeah that'd be cool whoa yeah look at that there you go buddy oh nice oh guys I think that's giving even more carry weight than it used to not gonna lie I don't remember it giving 150 yeah. do you does yours give 150 yeah I remember it being it was, it was about 150 was it Guys, let's purchase us one of these epic rune stones. Awesome. And then let's take a run up to the witch's cabin. The oh, witch's yeah. cabin. Yeah, let's get under that enchanting. I saw you added a new ladder, a new way to get up over here. I like this. That's uh, super convenient, actually. So we enchant. I've only done this a few times, guys. <laughs> let's go ahead and enchant our pants. We're going to get a new... New enchantment on our pants. All right, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and enchant these pants into something nice, some epic pants. Are we ready? Here we go. Now those are some excellent pants. Wait a minute, what? Okay. Elemental damage reduction, very nice. Slash damage reduction, plus 9%, pretty nice. Frost damage reduction, pretty nice. Plus one comfort though. That's... Whoa. That's actually pretty wicked. And we got four, guys. There was a small chance for us to get five enchantments, but we only got four, which I say only. That's actually really awesome. And the extra comfort is going to be super nice. Well, then. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's pretty wild. I like it. All right, guys. I'm going to take some of this fine wood we've got that uh, Timely's been saving up over in the corner. We're going to steal some of that from him. And... Uh, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to level up my fine bow. We didn't actually buy a weapon today, but we are committing to the archery roll pretty hard. So I'm going to go ahead and try to level this spirit bow up as much as we can. There we go. Max quality. Not too hard. Pretty easy. Just need hide and find with. Super nice. Look at that. So, yeah, we got a couple of new things today. Got my new bow. We did get a new axe, but I'll be trading that out for a, a dagger pretty soon, guys, because... Uh, the rogue really benefits from the dagger and the backstab and the critical, so we'll be we'll be leaning into the daggers pretty hard, changing up our playstyle just a little bit. Probably gonna hang on to the shield though, because the shield is always handy, always. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. Hope you had fun hanging out with me and Timely and running around in all the burial chambers and collecting as much treasure as we could. We both have this awesome carry weight belt now, so that's gonna make life and you know, gathering materials a lot easier now, so things will start rolling along a little faster. We'll be uh, moving on, probably trying to challenge the Elder again sometime soon, uh, maybe in the next couple of episodes. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of nervous after our last bout, so we may want to level up the armor to max level and, and 
and maybe get some new weapons too. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I don't know if we can. Yeah, maybe buy something. I don't know. Well, all right, guys. If you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. Lots more stuff coming your way. Lots more creatures. Lots more little gadgets and doodads and enchantments and weapons and items and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, stick around. Hope you guys are having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And we will catch you in the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and guys, this is my buddy Timely Crow. Welcome back to the Modheim series. It is storming out right now. We're having to seek shelter in our little uh, our little our little supply shack here, as you can see, and it is just it is just coming down out there, guys. Look at it. Look at Actually it looks really awesome with your with your uh, witch hut right there. That's a really dramatic picture. I like this. Yeah. We've got our berries growing. Timely's got an awesome little uh, mushroom garden going on over there, guys. They're just uh, popping up all along the logs there. More of your plant it, plant everything. We figured that out yeah. last time. What was that, plant everything? Yeah, yeah, plant everything. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we need some better armor. We're going to work on trying to get our, uh, our copper gear up to level three because we've almost got it all up to level three. I don't know if we can go. Can we go higher than that? Can we go to level four yet? I don't even know. Mm. Worth a try. Definitely worth a try. We're going to need all the armor we can get, especially with the bosses being as tough as they are. And in order to get all this done, we had to build ourselves a forge. Guys, look at this. The forge is closed to great orbs. Go away. <laughs> there, oh, we there we go. There's tap everywhere. I know. Look at look at how filthy. This is why. They're just rude. They're rude customers. Anyway, guys, check out our awesome forge. Yeah, it's got, nothing's going on yet. We're going to have to go out and get the supplies today. We just recently built this, but... It's a nice little, nice little place to fix your stuff. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to have to go out and find us a bunch of copper. I'm sure there's a bunch around. I don't think we have, I don't really have much marked on the map, actually. Uh, let's see. One, two, I've got, I've got three. You got three? Awesome. Yeah. That should be plenty. I don't think we really need a whole lot to get the armor upgraded. And guys, once we get the armor upgraded, we're going to set sail and try to find the elder location. We really need to summon him again and redeem ourselves. And we need to summon him in to continue the progress on this map. Because we have beat Ike here, but we haven't beat the Elder. And beating the Elder will make the enemies... <coughs> Sorry, giving out. My throat's giving out there. Beating the Elder will unlock a little more of the enemies and make them stronger. Level everything in the world up a little bit. Yeah, I need to get back on track with that. Alright, well, let's go mine some Kappa. Where's the nearest, uh... Where's the nearest little cache here? Uh, right here. I think that's one that you also yep. know of. Yeah, we just found that one. All right, let's get the chopping. Hopefully we don't get swarmed out here. We did have the forest move just before we started recording, guys. So hopefully that'll give us a break and we won't have to deal with another one of those little events anytime soon. Does the pierce damage on my pick help me mine faster? <laughs> I think so. That's, that's, that's what I've, you know, I, I've decided that that's true, whether or not it actually is. <laughs> I'm doing, what am I doing? I'm doing nines and eights and tens here to the kappa. Okay. Um, got one that has plus pickaxe skills. Let me see what I do. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, uh, that plus definitely does. I, I'm doing like sixes and fives, so. Oh, that's cool. Um, huh. Oh, we got some gray dwarf. Gray dwarf visitors. Always. There we go. Ugh, oh, stamina. Need more stamina all the time. Forever. Oh, is the storm finally over? Finally. Hey, hey. Where did you come from? hi -ya! Oh, I don't have enough for the backstab. <laughs> wow. You guys were like mining in this fog layer, and it is it's actually kind of hard to see in here. Oh no! My pick is busted already, and but I've got of uh, 13, 13 pieces of copper already. I'm gonna go ahead and run these back. Also, what's the coal situation? Yeah, let's go ahead and fill up the kiln. I have no processable items. Wow, my hammer broke. My hammer broke breaking the wood. What? That's really cool that they added it to where uh, the, the pickaxe strikes multiple places on the uh, metal nodes. Um, it was like a stealth buff to 
for mining. Yeah, it really shows. It really, really does, especially uh, especially in the swamps too. No, yeah, you can definitely feel it in in all forms of mining. It's it's much nicer. Okay, taking a break. Need the rest of bonus. Trying to get some comfort. Oh, hey, I have 10 comfort. Does the cartography table give a comfort bonus? Or is it my pants? Pretty red. Wait, I think it's my pants. My pants are so comfortable. That's right. My oh, yeah, dude. Yep. Got those comfy pants. Those are some comfy pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have to get a little more copper. Yeah. All right, we've had some uh, noisy neighbors knocking on the fence all night. Couldn't get any sleep. I'm going to have to go deal with that. Oh, where are they? they they're gone. But gone by daylight. Literally heard that smashing on the fence all night long. Whatever. Let's see how the copper did. Oh, hello, gray dork. What are you doing? <laughs> Approach me, sir. Gosh. All right, yeah. How do we do on copper? This thing's not really smelting. I'm gonna check two on pieces. the roof. Two uh, pieces. Oh, we uh, sealed it in too tight. Thing. That's crazy. Uh, I didn't think it was, honestly. I uh, definitely in one of my old houses, I built the kiln straight to the dirt wall behind it, like, and then I built uh, dirt up around it, <laughs> and it, it worked fine. Interesting. Yep, it's going now. There we go. All right. Well, we've only got nine pieces so far, guys. Let us sit around and smelt some of this up and gather a little more. I'll bring you back when that's done. All right, guys, the copper is smelting, but we are going to need a little bit of tin so we can make that bronze to level things up. The tin is all over the shore, so hopefully the copper will smelt while we're out gathering our little bits of tin, and then we'll be able to get the tin, and copper will be right, right down the road, because we really need more copper than tin. Always, always get way more copper than tin. You need double copper for, uh, for bronze there. Never forget. Double copper. Why do these skeletons look different? Skeleton warrior. Will you have found uh, one of the new mobs? Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, they look very different. Do they hit harder? They don't seem to be very aware of me. No. Oh, okay. We got. We took them down. That wasn't too hard. Interesting. All right. We're not going that way. <laughs> let's uh. Let's just get a little bit more tin over here. All right, all right, guys. I think all the tin and copper is melted. I think an evening is a couple evenings have passed, and we've been cooking, and all is good. Let's see what we got out here. Oh yeah, we're pretty well prepared. All right, we need a bunch of bronze. Let's melt up the bronze. Oh my gosh, look at that copper disappear so fast too. Okay, 25 pieces of bronze. I think is all we needed for. Both of us. Let me see if I can upgrade my stuff. There's the bronze helmet. Let's go ahead and bump that up. Go ahead and bump up the leggings. Guys, I might want to put an enchantment on my headpiece. The headpiece is the only thing that doesn't have an, uh, an enchantment. Oh, yeah. We'll need to get to the forge to level four. But, yeah, it looks like um, level four armor is a thing that could happen. Anyway, okay, I'm going to throw this bronze in here for you so you can come and level your stuff up. While you're doing that, I'm going to go check the prices Haldor has. I know they'll probably be different when we come back, but... Epic black metal knife. It's actually Ooh. pretty cheap. We need five of the what are these? The iron bounty tokens and 1650 coin. That's actually pretty awesome. And it has a 90% chance for an epic mod and a 10% chance for a legendary. That's pretty awesome, guys. I might want that. Yeah, I don't think we're quite. We don't think we're quite that wealthy anymore. Having all that coin. We bought the belts. All oh, the belts. What can we sell? I think if we make a couple of bronze things. Bronze axe sells for 500. It's not bad. Ooh, no, bronze buckler sells for 672. Guys, I'd only need to make three of them. Yeah, if you got like, oh, the materials, go yes. for it. Yes, let me see. Guys, let's just throw together the rest of that bronze. I was going to try and upgrade a weapon, but if I could get a new weapon, then. Oh, yeah, we're just going to burn through the rest of this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Bronze it up. What's it take to make that shield anyway? Four wood, ten. Ten? Uh. Don't worry about my armor. I'd say go ahead and get that. Make what you gotta make. You sure? Oh yeah. yeah. I, I deal more damage the lower my health is, so. 
Uh, looks like we're only gonna have enough for one. How many do we need? Three. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, no. There was already 10 in there, so we have 23? Oh, I need seven more pieces. Guys, hang on, we're gonna go get just a couple more pieces of, of copper and tin real quick. Meow. Okay! Now we've got what I need. We went out, we got exactly what we needed. Smelted up that 30 bronze. Here's the 30 buck, no, not 30 bucklers. <laughs> The three bucklers. We just need three. Oh, guys, this is exciting. Yeah, this will be awesome for my rogue playstyle now. Haldor, I have some bucklers for you. Allow me to sell you this bronze buckler, and allow me to sell you these bronze bucklers. Ooh, I think we have what we need. All right, so the mo we have the money. Do we have the ba the token, the bounty? To oh, we do. We only need five. Oh, I'm so getting one. Here we go. Buy that thing right there. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh, is the forest moving again? Perfect. It, it sensed you <laughs> You leveled up. That's right. All right, let's go over these stats real quick, guys. So we got attack stamina use minus 15%, damage plus 14% when the health is critical, and life steal 1.9%. That's pretty fun. Let's go to war. Backstab! Oh yeah! I'm actually really happy about the stamina usage because uh, I never seem to have any lately. Oh wow, black metal knife feels good. <laughs> Doing some damage to the gray dwarfs now. Did you poison me? Excuse you, where are you guys running? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good with this knife, this is awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, born to stab. Haha, you, you guys are hurt by my poison. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Why are there always so many? Backstab! Yeah! Oh yeah! Nice! Ah, I'm out of stamina! Uh oh, big old brute. Wow, very big brute. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Poke him in the ankles! Poke him in the ankles! He's real big. Oh, poisoned again. Stinking shaman. Uh oh, guys, it's getting dark out. It said the forest rests, but I don't believe it. The forest never rests. The forest never rests. Ah, finish him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, skeleton. A splitting skeleton. More legendary gear. Oh, another, another one. There it is. All right. Wow. Hey, my knife skills keep going up real quick, though. That's nice. Yeah, I like the knife. That's my thing now. We're good with the knife. Let's do that. Oh, wow. How have we missed this one? All right, well, not that we need it right now, unless you want to make a couple more shields to get you a weapon. Oh, uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right. All right, let's get a good night's sleep. And guys, in the morning, we're going to set out and see if we can scout out the Elder Summon location. Sorry, there's the hiccups. Haha, <laughs> hiccup gets hiccups. Anyway. Oh, wait, well. Yeah, it's bedtime. That was exhausting. All right, everybody on the boat. Everybody, Everybody on the boat. Let me zoom out here. Where are we going? The Elder really isn't too far away, is he? Nope. We just gotta go a little north and loop around a little to the west. He's he's not very far away. We'll be there in no time on Graveler. Graveler. Look at that boat out there in the mists, guys. Isn't it awesome? All right. Make sure you got everything you need. Ooh, I gotta go dump a lot of this money and stuff. Oh, I'm carrying too much crap. Oh man, every time I get on Graveler, I'm like, oh yeah, look at this thing. It's about time. Let's add a little a little wood for the fires. Get the engine going. <laughs> yeah, right. It's yeah. awesome. Oh, I'm all out of resin. All right, that's all the torches we get. I mostly did the inside. Oh man, this is a big boat. <laughs> All right, guys, let us navigate big old Graveler out of here and get back on the open seas. And I'll bring you back if we run into anything exciting, but if not, we'll see you at the Elder Outpost because we'll be uh, checking out that... No, not the Outpost. We're going to check out the Summon location. Probably get that ready for another boss fight because just like we were farming Ikethir's boss trophies, we can summon... or we can farm the Elder's boss trophies. You said that gives better stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, his trophy's, uh, it's like a one higher tier of runestone when we disenchant it. Right, okay, that'll so, be awesome. May, means yeah. better, more more chances for better, um, better enchantments, and we can actually, like, try to enchant several times and customize. It'll be super helpful. All right, out on the open seas. Not quite, we haven't hit ocean yet, but... Oh, wow, look at the swamps right there. I didn't know there was a man one right, right, right there. I know that'll be nice. Actually, we could build a bridge across, or even just come over with graveler. I mean, honestly. Yeah. That's silly, to you. yeah. The, the ladder dance. <laughs> the goofy little wrist twirling ladder dance, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop, stop the boat! Stop the boat! Stop the oh, boat! Oh. Do you see that? Something killed a... Something killed a, a sea serpent. We didn't. Huh. Look Strange. at all of that meat, though. That is so much... Sur I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, even perfect. More... Oh, guys, I'm gonna fade. I'm gonna put the fade right here. Ah. I hope this works the way I want it to. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, look at this! What a nice... Okay, before the fade goes away. Oh, look at that! Oh, man, ah. that is handy. Ooh, ooh, feeling cool. That was awesome. All right, well, I'm... Well, we're not going to cook it. Not while the boat's moving, because it'll fall out the back. But <laughs> we're going to store that and cook it later. and That's awesome. Free serpent meat. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Uh. Oh, wow, guys. Looks like the elder is literally going to be somewhere right in front of us. This is a good parking spot. Oh, except the ladder's on the other side. <laughs> yeah. ah, dodge! There we go. I'm gonna go take care of this little spawner over here so we don't have to deal with that. Near our landing site. Get out of here. Smack. Okay. There's that problem dealt with. Alright guys, we had to run back into the boat real quick and reset our rested bonuses. Make sure everything's good to go. Make sure we're good to go. And we're going to run out. We're going to check out the Elder Spawn location, see what that looks like. Maybe take down uh, one of our bounties real quick right before we sign off for the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, look at it out here. Look at it. Oh, I can see the Elder Summon location from here. Oh. All right. Well, let's go. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm really liking the little raised hill behind it. We should build yeah. some kind of like little defended fort tower thing to flee to when one of us is hurt. Oh yeah. That would be nice. Guys, I'm not gonna take this. Yeah, we're not gonna take this lightly this time. We're gonna build some defenses. We're gonna build some little spike wall circles just to just to trap up and squeeze through and, and confuse all the gray dwarves because uh yeah that ultra fight last time was no joke yeah this is perfect like this height right here could get a good good shot with the arrows make all the gray dwarves come around and up to us on either side this could work out really oh, yeah. well guys we may have to hang Speak out to the devil i know right we may have to hang out and yeah really set up something because this uh could be nice. We may do that. We may live out here on the boat for a couple days. All right, guys. Well, yeah, we may come back and set that up a little more. But uh, let's go. Let's go take down a bounty real quick. Yeah. yeah. Before Wait, we, 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 what do you got? So I've got a bounty right here. Ooh, let's do it. Yeah, it looks like it could be in the Black Forest. Could possibly be in like a river between them. Not sure. But yeah. Let's go track that down and see what we got out there. Oh, guys, there's some more of those new skeleton mobs out to our right here. They're very bleached. It's the shoulder blades that are different for me, I think. Ooh. He doesn't seem to notice us. <laughs> yeah. Does that turn back into a meadows over there? We should go look for bees. Bees. Ba -ba -ba bees. All right, where is this guy? Oh, here we go. Oh, he's down on this side. All right. Sliding down. Surfing. Yeah. Now, where's this thing? Guys, we're going to run around for a minute and try to find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. You got a troll on you, huh? Let's go help Timely out, guys. I don't know where this creature is. We're not, we're not finding our... We're not finding the creature we're looking for. There's a five-star 
regenerating skeletons stuck in a stone over here. <laughs> it's kind of weird. All right, let's help Timely out. Big old troll. Big old troll. Not what I... What? Uh-oh. What is that? Uh, he's not where the game says he is. And he's not... Oh, there it is. All right, I think our internet finally caught up, guys. <laughs> Me and my terrible internet. Backstab! I don't think that backstabbed him at all. Ooh. Nope. And killed you. He wasn't facing me, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. That was really, that was really odd. All right. Well, we've got a portal set up here. Uh, Tomley's got the ingredients for a portal on the boat back there, so I'm gonna just chill until he gets that set up, and uh, yeah, then we'll we'll probably wrap it up whenever I uh, get my stuff back, guys. <laughs> I don't want to end the episode naked. Ah, yeah. There we go. The benefits of any portal. <laughs> you can take any portal yeah that's super nice all right let me get all my stuff back on jeez wheeze i don't know we'll take one more run by that uh that bounty but if it's not there we'll just head back to the boat man that's one huge skeleton oh yeah 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 we ran by him on the way out to see you look at this thing oh he just killed a cra crazy dwarf it's real funny poke poke we'll leave him he's he's only dangerous to gray dwarves which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. Look at all these feathers. Whoa, look at that big deer. You! I can't believe I fell short on that. I found him. You found him? Yes. Oh, look at him. He's just the tiniest little... The tiniest little... Ah, oh, well. One knife. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's okay. can't believe it was a neck, though. That's awesome. Look at all these other neck. Oh, ah, there it is. We had to get his minions. Some of them have minions. Pretty cool. Interesting. The tiniest little neck. We're gonna have to start taking on bigger, badder bounties. <laughs> the necks and gray dwarves and stuff. All right, let's get back to Graveler. Do you have that like your bonus? Yeah, here. Let me let me uh, get the bonus. Ow! Where'd you come from? Yeah, I don't have a rest of the bonus. Thanks. All right. Oh, guys, look. Another one of those awesome rainbow butterflies. Look at it move. It's so fast. Those are crazy looking. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. Thanks for hanging out with us and coming along to find the Elder. We're going to go ahead and get something set up here so we can have a little bit more defense, some kind of panic box, and... Hopefully something to funnel and distract and destroy a couple of the minions he summons because I think that would be a lot, a lot, a lot of help actually. Because <laughs> the last time, yeah, yeah, he summoned so many gray doors on us last time. It felt nice to uh, underestimate the the elder. The elder and vanilla had become a little bit, just became pretty easy. So uh, it's nice to get put in our place by a boss again. Yeah that, yeah, that felt good. I just took him recently in my Hearth and Home playthrough, and uh, yeah, between the arrow and the axe, it, or Akir, actually, I think I was using on him, it was a pretty pretty exciting but pretty simple fight, and not, not nearly as chaotic as what we went through, so to be able to farm him, we're going to want something set up, especially with this armor set. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. Hope you guys are having a great day. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Thanks again for joining us for the Modheim series, guys. We sailed, we sailed out. I keep saying sold. I've done that like four times today since we've gotten on. We sailed out to the uh, <laughs> to the elder location here, and we found his summon location. And we're gonna build that up a little bit today. We'll get into that. Let me show you guys about where we're gonna build that. We'll talk a little bit about what we're gonna get built up, and I'll, I'll clip that together in an awesome little montage. But uh, yeah, we need to get ready because the last fight was pretty uh, pretty rough, and I'm I'm nervous for this one actually. I'm a crow in a crow's nest. <laughs> Time to the crow in the crow's nest. Oh! 
Oh, nice catch. Definitely thought you were going to bite it right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should eat, guys. Look at that. I only have, like, 330 health. <laughs> Foolish. I think anytime a game, anytime a game allows you to like make those ridiculous leaps and then just press a button to grab onto a ladder or a rope, uh, it always feels. I, I think it always feels good. It makes you feel like you're some swashbuckler. That's just like, you know, they know their boat so well that they're just like, I'm gonna jump off of here and dynamically catch this ladder. You know. I don't know. Some Pretty of those fun. falls are like, man, your your, your wrist would just rip off of your arm. Just, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> just it wouldn't be good. Anyway, guys, let us let us get out here to where we're gonna build, show you about what we're thinking, and then we're gonna set to it. And then after this, we're gonna get into sailing around to look up uh, some serpents in the area because uh, we need some serpent meat. We're gonna try and get some of the best food we can for these fights. We may even stop by a swamp and see if we can grab some turnips real quick. Not that I want to deal with any star draugr or anything, but uh, we can swipe some turnips. And just get some better food. We just need lots of meals. I want food and meals because, uh, yeah, the health and the stamina are going to be so helpful. All right, so here's our little platform. We've already got a little staircase up here, guys. We're going to try and throw down a nice little, oh, yeah, we've already, Timely's already got some gathering done. He's been doing a little off-camera work here. Yeah, we're going to build a little platform up here, something nice to, to sniper down on the on the elder there. Might build a little walking platform out to these triple trees right here because that'll give it a nice strong base support. Ow, who's throwing rocks? I'm talking to people here. Do you mind? <laughs> Are there more? I think there's more back there. Anyway, we'll let time we deal with them. <laughs> so we're going to build this up. We'll get some spike walls around here. We'll really make it defendable. Probably even throw some little spirals of spike walls down there around uh, the summon location itself because he does summon so many minions in the middle of the fight. I forget if that's harder bosses or if that's monster nomica. I don't know. Something Something makes the bosses do a whole bunch of different things now. <laughs> that's yeah, that's hard, harder, hard, hard bosses. Yeah, yeah, hard bosses. Um, yeah, that really changes the dynamic. Those. Yes. Oh yeah. For yeah. Sure. Anyway, guys. So yeah, that's gonna take a little while to build up. So let's get to building, and then we'll set sail and go and try and get us some better food for the fights. Yeah. Let's get to Ooh. it.
Well, all right, guys, I guess we got our little fortifications all set up. We got some spike walls around. We got some multi-tiered level stuff for me to shoot archery stuff off of. We got a bunch of things to distract people down here while all time is fighting. There. We just got a lot here. I'll just show you. You know what? Let me just show you. Look at this thing. Look at it. Does that scream defense or what? Let's do a quick tour real quick. It's getting kind of dark out. We've been working on this for a while. Oh, yeah. Spike walls everywhere. Keep out. Nice little defendable wall here. Yeah. You can even climb up here. Oh, you can shoot from up there. We've got a nice little walkway out here. Guys, it's getting dark out real quick. Yeah, this is probably where I'm going to start the fight. We'll start with our little shots right here. And last but not least, I got a little sniper tower up here we built. Because, uh, I don't know, I just want multiple places. He's probably going to be tougher, you know, than the normal, uh, elder we're used to. <laughs> so, I expect a lot of this structure to be destroyed in the fight. So, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be exciting, though. This is going to be a really awesome fight. But, before we do any of that, we need to do a little more prep work. Let's go venture around, see if we can find some turnips and some sea serpents. And let's see if we can get us some better food for the fight, because that... That will really help. That'll really help. Oh, yeah. When did you find the time to build that awesome little bridge? I did not see this happen. <laughs> I must have been distracted chopping wood and building up the, the fort. All right. In the morning, we set sail. Hey, are the potions done? The potions are done. That's good. Guys, we're trying to save up a whole bunch of minor healing potions for the boss fight. All yeah. right. Let's see if I can weigh anchor here. Oh, we are moving. Oh, are you going to be able to get in the crow? There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Graveler's set and sail. Let's go see if we can... Uh-oh, am I stuck on something already? Let's see if we can find us a serpent. Possibly some turnips. All of it would be good. Okay, what you think? North? Just do north? Say... Maybe a little north... East. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, guys, I didn't make any extra arrows. We only have a couple arrows, but that's okay. Maybe we can throw a poison bomb at him. I'll throw my little uh, my little rogue knife at it. We'll have to get some tin when we get back, too, and, uh, I don't know, maybe start a little turnip farm? I don't know. I don't know. We might not have access to turnips, but if we can get them and get them started back at the other base, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. We're coming up on land to our right. It's a uh, kind of angle us to the left or yeah, let's... port side. Apparently, oh. this is a black forest plan. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Back, back it up. Back it up. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here, or is this my game being glitchy? No, I'm seeing a bunch of just like a bunch of stacked. Uh, of birch trees? Birch. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna anchor the boat, guys. I'm gonna take a second to swim out there and uh, go collect all that, cause uh, that's a lot of fine wood all stacked together. Oh, timber. Look at them all fall. All the trees. Oh man, all right, that's all of them. How much did we end up with? I've got an even stack of 50 fine wood. Yeah, uh, I ended up getting uh, 36 out of that. Nice, guys, that was a odd little side side thing to find. Go get to my spot. I like, I like the crow's nest, but I really like to sit out here on the, on the front little, I don't even know what this thing's called. All right, we're sailing again. Did all those birch trees just come back? That is strange. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. Okay, just making sure we both see that. Guys, we literally just got the boat underway, and they just kind of, uh... Yeah, they popped right into existence again. Oh, wait. Wait, I see it. We do, we have a serpent. All right, time to get back on the boat. We don't want to be out here. <laughs> oh yeah, here he comes. We have us a serpent. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, he's four stars. He's huge. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> oh man, look at that mouth. Look at this guy. 
He's huge! I did not come with enough arrows for this. Oh, he's so big. Uh, he's... Yeah, okay, okay. He's All under right. the boat. Yeah, he's under the boat. What is the light blue star? Is that... That's not splitting, is it? That's... That's curious. Okay. Oh, hey, we're coming up right next to one of those... Guys, let's see if we can... Maybe get ourselves pushed up against the... The abyssal chitin creature out here. Ooh, 80... What did he hurt? Is he hurting the boat? I got him harpooned. Oh, yeah. Can you pull him up on the on the deck? We'll see. Ah, it's not looking like it. looks like he's getting caught underneath. All right, new plan, though. We're going to pull him up on the abyssal shell. Oh, yeah, pull him up to the crow's nest. Oh. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Oh. Serpent escaped. I gotta. Okay, I'm throwing down the back. anchor. Oh, he's coming. Okay, there we go. Come and get it, big guy. Ooh, look at how big he is. Oh, big roar. Oh, yeah. Harpooned. Alright, and then we're just gonna gut him with the black knife. Get him up here. Look at me, big guy. Look at me. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> no. Can't. Uh oh! Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Timely! Timely help! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm alive. Everything's okay. All right. He escaped. Okay. All right. All right. We need a. We need a like a lower. Here we go. We've got an easier shell to pull him up here. I think over this way. Maybe a little more sloped over here. I don't know if that's... Yeah, should we move to a different side of the shell? Would it be easier to pull him up on... Is he just getting hooked? There's, there's land um, near here. We can probably get back on the ship. Okay. Oh, Ooh, man. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice leap. Okay, my turn, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can just run right alongside him here. Oh, yeah. Climb, please. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, All let right. me... Yeah, which way's, uh, which way's land? You harpoon him. Uh, Keep him with us. To our, to our south. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go... Uh, come on, big boy. Nope, come on. You're coming with me. I'll, there you go. I'll aggravate him again. Oh! Why did I do this? Oh, why do I do no. this? Why do I do these things? Oh, he just chonked you. <laughs> oh, why do I do these things? Oh, man. Hey, we just got all that fine wood. Slap a portal down on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, any portal. Yeah, what do you, what do you call on this one? Boat. Boats. Okay. Walking through the portal to the boat, guys. Hopefully, this works out. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I just wanted to shoot it once. Oh, it dumped me in the water. Oh no. I guess the portal was in motion. Oh. Okay, stop, stop, stop. There it is. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Ooh. Hello again. There's the body. Oh boy. How am I gonna get that? Where, where are you going? I don't, think I, I don't think I can see it. Oh, okay, uh, go ahead. It's, oh, oh, okay, I see it there. Yeah, it's a little further up on our right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and heal up. I'm gonna pull it around so that the ladder is on the other side. You don't have to. I'm gonna use the fade if you can get me close enough. We just gotta make sure the boat's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we can just make sure the boat is still. I'll jump out, okay. grab it, and fade back. That should be close enough, I think. Now I just gotta let him put some distance between me and him. All right, now's now's the time. Yeah, Items recovered. Ah, oh, sneaky nice. rogue. Yeah, that's so Smart. nice, actually. Okay then. Yeah, back to what we were doing. Um, do you want to, yeah, do you want to harpoon him again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did it, uh... 
Where did what go? I swear there was a, I swear there was a rock. Right near us. Huh. I don't know. Okay, all of this is super shallow. I think we might be able to even pick his stuff up, even if he does drop it and it sinks a little. Yeah. Okay, guys, we pulled up beside this little rock. Yeah. I think Timely's going to try and harpoon him. We've got him lured. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can get us a big old serpent trophy. Uh oh, oh, bad. The water came up way too high there. Oh yeah. Come on, serpent boy. Oh yeah, we got him down to a little less than half. Oh, he's not liking me right now. Hi, big guy. Come on. <laughs> Stab him in the eyes. Ah, not actually hurting him. Kind of around on this side. Ha! Oh, you're, you're getting him. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. in the water though. Oh, oh, I'm gonna drown. Nope, okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, yeah, I kinda had to fall in the water there to get him. Yeah, oh, I got him. I could finish him right here. I think we could probably. Uh oh. Yeah, you think the water's yeah. shallow, enough, shallow enough? Should we finish him? Oh, lure him this way. See if we can drag him this way. Look at how shallow it is over here. This will be good. Oh, come on, I don't want to shoot him anymore. He's so low. Yeah, look at us. Look at us. Yeah, yeah right. we could. I think this is. That's it right there. All right, all right. Uh, I'm going for it. Oh no, the water. Go down, water. Oh, you got him. You got him. Yeah. Come on, knife. Yes. Oh yeah, guys. Wow. Look at the trophies. Oh my gosh. Ah. Look at all the meat. Tro oh my gosh, so much meat. And so much scale beneath us. Oh my gosh. That is actually looking like a black metal axe down there. I'm carrying too much. Oh, of course I am. Oh, these are heavy. The serpent scales. Oh. oh, yeah. I'll come back for these. Wow. So many serpent scales all of a sudden. Holy crap, guys. That was awesome. Let us get all this onto the boat and tally up our score here. Yeah, does not it's a black metal axe though for sure. Oh, yo, this is your jam right here. I do love me an axe. Um, here, check this. Yeah, what'd you get? Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. So now we got the black metal knife and the black metal axe. What does the axe do? Oh, it's throwable! Oh, and the stagger damage. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, yeah. Now we need to get me a better shield. Then I'll have this thing. Do not throw it in the ocean, Hiccup. Do not throw it. I'm tempted to just, I just want, I want to throw it. I love throwable stuff. Right. Holy crap. Well, that was crazy. I think that took a couple of, like a day and a night in game. That was uh, quite the, quite the adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do we have in here? Tally it all up. Oh my god, guys. 30 serpent meat, 40 scales, and five trophies. We need to hang this trophy. Do we have any bronze or bronze nails on this ship? Oh, guys, look at the poor fish. He got washed up on the rock. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Oh, yeah, we gotta have one of those on the boat for sure. Man, we should really replace the dragon head out here with that. Um, eventually. Might be kind of tricky to do out here in the ocean, but uh, we get back to shore for sure. Oh, yeah. Back to shore for sure. All right, so the only other thing... Oh. I think we're looking for now is turnips. Should we go track down a swamp and see if we can get us some turnips? Or, I mean, should we just skip that since it's going to take, it might take too long to grow those before the boss fight. That's a good point. It's true. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of want the second tier um, foods, though. Don't you need, yeah. you need turnips to get that, that new spice rack, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Guys, what do you think? I'm thinking... I'm thinking spice rack. Let's go find a let's go find a swamp. We can we can take spice a, rack. Yeah, we'll take a few nights off camera to just grow them up. We only need a couple of turnips to get the spice rack, and then you know don't necessarily need turnips for the recipes. Might not be a bad idea to farm up some of these leeches, make some better healing potions too. Oh man, big fan. Yeah, just getting ready. I don't want to underestimate anything anymore. Nope. My gosh, that two-star wraith that decked me. This copper shield was like it was like holding up a textbook to block myself with. Like, <laughs> it did not work at all. 
Here we go. This looks like good land. We can hop down and just go take a look around. I really don't want to fight much. Don't even have any poison resistance potions. Mm -mm. Oh, we found a crypt. Or funny. no, not a crypt. No, yeah, it is a yeah. crypt. These are crypts. Yeah, the, yeah these, these are not chambers. <laughs> we don't have the key, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and mark this. Now, where are the turnips? Ooh, ooh. Are you all right? Ooh. Oh, 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 wow. Three star, not good. That, that might just outright kill us if it hits us. Yeah. No, you don't. Oh, nice. You staggered it. Whoa. Nice. Hey, let me throw a dagger at him. Here's my wimpy dagger. <laughs> or did you get I think you got him. Nice, more chains. We'll be able to hang some braziers. Yeah, just getting a few of the later game things to help us out here. Yeah, wow, there's a lot of poison. I'm I'm kind of hurting. Oh, here we go. Turnips. I got two turnip flowers right here. Oh, wow, we've got some guck right here on the ground. I don't know that guck yeah. is going to be super handy for us. Oh, look, more turnip seeds. Big leech out there. Where? Oh, wow, yeah, look at this guy. Three star? Three star. Nice. All oh, the blood bags. Oh, my gosh. That potion just fought it. I don't think it actually healed me at all. Hey, yeah. more turnip seeds. God, oh, this is awesome. Oh, man. Oh, wow, Leia, look at him. Shall we? Curious spirit infused. Oh. Four star Draugr, guys. This might be very dangerous. I'm totally down, though. Let's do it. We've got so many turnips and everything, and the boat is actually not too far away, I don't think. Uh. It's just making his way. Sneaky. Ha <laughs> ha! Backstabby. That was nice. Ah, come and get it, big guy. Oh, guys. Oh, oh. We just. We just got poisoned and stuff a whole bunch actually from running around and trying to get stuff. Uh, timely, are you near enough? I want to give us the IQ bonus so we can actually like sprint around this guy a little bit. Okay. Oh, leeches in the water. No, no, don't poison me. I don't need poison right now. Okay, okay. Let's calm down. Start fighting a little more tactfully. By tactfully, I mean lots of backstabbing. Oh, you staggered him, nice. Oh my gosh, I do no damage. Oh! <laughs> He's so big! Nice. Oh my goodness. How many entrails? Five entrails and some kind of awesome tunic. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, look at this. A rare troll hide cape, which is what I'm wearing, but health regen plus two per tick, movement skills plus five, and elemental damage reduction. Wow. Oh, it's a chest piece. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I thought it was a cape. We'll have to scrap it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was exciting. That was an awesome little final battle there. Awesome stuff, though. Guys, look at that trophy. I'm so digging it. That's so awesome. All right, so I ended up with... What do we got here? I only have five intestines, but 15 blood bags, nine ooze. I mean, and where are the seeds? Yeah, we end up with 15 turnip seeds, guys. That's awesome. Got to get this back to the... I don't know. Actually, I think we're closer to, um, yeah, I think we're actually closer to our main base here with uh, Haldor. We should probably just go there and start planting these turnips. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. We're going to try and steer out of the swamps. Not always easy with this big boat. We get caught on everything. <laughs> uh, but we're going to figure it out. We'll get home. So yeah, we're going to get back to the base. We're going to plant up all these turnip seeds, hopefully get the spice rack and be able to make a couple of new and different recipes to help us survive a couple of rounds with the with the, uh, with the the elder, because I'd like to summon him several times and farm him up for all the goods that he's worth. Uh, hopefully enchant some newer stuff. Could be, could be awesome. It's going to make for an exciting couple of fights. Especially if we get another, what was the one we fought in the last one, the three star? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who knows, we'll have, maybe we'll have the Elder the Twin or something. No, I do not want two Elders. Two Ikethears was tough enough, and he's he's a wimpy little beginner boss. Uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. Oh, it just started raining. I love that every time we set sail, it has to pour. Like, sometimes it'll get sunny, you know, midway through the voyage, but it's always got to start raining as soon as we set sail. Yep. 
<laughs> anyway, guys, let's get home. You guys have a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next episode. Onward! Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Guys, thanks again for joining us for the Modheim series. Today we're taking on the Elder. Uh, we've got all fortified and we got everything uh, built up around here. You can see that in the background, our nice little fortification. I'm just going to say that a lot today. It's the fort. This is, yeah, it's going to be awesome uh, fighting up there. I'm going to hang out, hopefully, on the little treehouse out there and shoot some arrows. Because uh, today, yeah, like I said, we're taking on the Elder. We're going to farm him, too. So we're going to fight him several times. Hopefully, it won't be anything too insane, <laughs> like another five-star twin or something. I don't I don't want to see two, two Elders running around here. No. Uh, guys, I've got a bunch of arrows. We've made a couple of tasty potions, a couple of medium healings with a few uh, blood bags we found, poison resistance for shaman. You know, we came fully loaded. We've got sausages, black soup, carrot soup. We, we're, 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 we're ready to go. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty tough today. Yeah, way better than the, <laughs> the last fight. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at my inventory. Guys, I'm going to go back. <laughs> All my stuff is like half busted. I need to go back and, and use the forge. I need to go back and use the facilities real quick. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll get this boss fight underway in just a second, guys. Let me go and, you know, fix my crap. All right, we're back. Everything's fixed up, except I'm eating the wrong food. Oh, God. <laughs> it just goes and goes and goes. I'm running out of breath over here. <laughs> uh, uh, that was great. Anyway, all right, let's eat the real meal. And uh, I actually didn't bring any of the summon stuff. I assumed I assumed you had that in your pockets. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's good. I always forget. I don't know how many times I've gone out to fight bosses and I forgot. All right, there goes Timely. We're going to take a position over here. I want to use the treehouse first, guys, because I don't know. I just want to. Look at that oh. arena. I'm also going to uh, do, that? do this. Oh yeah, we're gonna fire pit off the the staircase. Okay, hopefully we should be pretty safe up here. Oh my gosh, let's get these gray dorks off time, please back. You know, of course, you know, and the and the boss is gonna summon a bunch of these guys while we're fighting him too, but they're gonna be wandering out of the forest nonstop. Yeah. All right. Say when. Go for it. We got a good view, ready to back you up. Oh man. Oh god. I know, I'm scared. Watch it just be uh, a normal elder, just a normal. Yeah. Here we go, guys. A... Cue that beautiful nope. heavy metal. Oh man. Oh, gotta put my resist on. Holy oh, crap! God. Oh my god! What? What? No! He's he he can heal himself! Oh. Oh! So okay, good. fire arrows. I'm so glad I brought Oh my god! Nothing happened. He didn't throw any vines. I didn't see any vines. Okay, he he definitely threw some. Uh, okay, he's. We're not gonna be able to do enough damage fast enough. We we gotta. We just gotta. I okay. We're gonna have to get the knife and just get in there, guys. I don't. Wow. What is this monstrosity? Oh my god, he just one-shot me. Oh, oh no. Oh no, look at how big he is. This is obscene. We're never going to kill this thing. I thought oh! I... Oh, oh man. Oh no. He's so big. I can't get over it. Look at how giant... Oh, what? His roots appeared on the platform. No. Oh my god. Gosh, no, I'm gonna get up guys. We're gonna climb Don't. up to the highest tower. Oh, we're climbing up to the highest peak. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this. He's still almost as tall as us. All the way up here. I'm coming back. I don't know. No, we don't do enough damage with the bow and the fire arrows. We're gonna have to go down there and try to knife him. But the stamina required to do this. Oh, I don't know. Do not, do not try and block. It doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't even see, did you just die again? I didn't see it. Uh, no. I don't even want to get hit by the roots. 
Oh! Oh! Nope. Dead. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many stars is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six stars. Insane. Oh. That happening, too. That's... Not a normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it would happen to us. Oh my gosh! Items recovered. Items recovered. <laughs> fleeing, fleeing now. Oh my gosh! Let's see if we can get dressed without getting ourselves killed. We ate the wrong food again. Yeah. What? What? Actually, though, what do you do? I'm coming. Six stars and the the freaking tree heals itself. Are you kidding me? What do you do? What do you do? Look at me, Whoops. big guy. Oh no, rolling out, rolling out. Okay. I'm coming back. Do we have a plan? Is there a plan? Uh, just get really good at dodging, I guess. But, but. <laughs> Oh, oh man, he's so fast too. Look at oh. him. Well, he's just he just covers ground so quickly. Yeah, he just <gasps> Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, like we rolled and, and technically I guess we dodged, but you know, in reality that that squished the crap out of us. That foot came right down on our tiny little Valheim body. Knife him in the toes, knife him in the toes. Oh my gosh, stamina, please. Oh, guys, I don't have the rest of the bonus. That's why we're doing terrible. Oh. Okay, well, so we could totally do this. Oh, it just, it just hurts so much. <laughs> ah, ah, I do. I feel like an ant trying to take on a person. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to come back with some fire uh, starting stuff. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, let's light the ground on fire. Oh my gosh. Have a poison bomb. Just take one. I don't have the stamina to throw the poison bomb. Can I get the stamina to throw a poison bomb? Please just throw the poison bomb. Thank you! <laughs> Ow! Be right back. The gods are merciful. Get that off my screen! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep spawning at the sacrificial stones? I'm coming home! We were not prepared. We <laughs> I thought we were. <laughs> to fight this? No! I can't believe- the, the mending is what gets me. Alright, need the rest of the bonus. Guys, let's get the rest of the bonus. What is this? No! <laughs> it's in my house! There's a what do you root. mean it's in your house? There's a root in my house! Oh, okay. Everything's okay now. I'm sitting down. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Oh my... He's like, you can't escape from me. For real? What my, is... My roots are endless. <laughs> <laughs> Even my Valheim guy. Look at him. He's got his mouth hanging open like, what just happened? Like, <laughs> just... Okay, back out to the battlefield. Oh, I forgot to set the spawn point at the bed! Ooh, okay. I died! I just got here! <laughs> we, we went from the... Ooh. We went from the teleportation screen to the near dead screen. The dead screen. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy crap, where is my stuff? I don't even know anymore. Oh, is this it? Please be it. Items recovered! Yeah, here we go, here we go. Put everything on, put everything on! Alright, I'm going in. I'm taking the knife and we're poking at some toes. Poking at some toes. I'm not even hitting him. Okay. Still not hitting him. What's going on? Yeah, we're gonna cover the ground in fire. Oh! That hurts so much! That hurts so much! Dude, you survived that? I did! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he burning? He's kind he is. Of... We need some bonfires. Oh, we probably don't have the material for that. Man. Yeah, we need He's all healing. the fire we can get out here. 
All right, I'm just gonna get in and try to distract him. Well, you get no! <laughs> I'm so good at this distraction game. Why am I not using fate? It's right there. There's a button for it. And I keep forgetting to set the spawn point at my bed. Oh my gosh, look at all the fires, guys. He is burning a little. Oh my gosh, look at his health fight it, though. That's not right. Excuse me! <laughs> oh. Oh it's my gosh. impressive that you can survive that. Ah, uh, okay. We're we're just we're getting all of our stuff. I didn't eat all the best food. I feel stronger. Ha, <laughs> Maying Yard. Yes, please. All right, we're going to fade back here. Yeah, look at him. How are we going to do this? Look at these fires. Stab him. Stab him. Don't stop stabbing him. Stamina. Stop on me, big boy. I dare you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There go, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at his health drop, though. Oh, no, you don't. I feel like I'm playing the, the Street Fighter. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm out of stamina. I can't roll. Oh no, okay, we did. Oh. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keep going. Oh, he turned to you. He turned around to you. Look at him. No, he's Look going down. Drop. He's going down. Yeah, we're doing this. No, no challenges to... Uh, I take it back. I take it uh. back. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He just, he, he just roared at me, like, he just called me a punk. He did, though. That's going to be the thumbnail. My dead hiccup corpse with all the fires and the foot and the six stars. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not, guys. I don't know. It might make a good one, though. Okay. We'll be right back. Hang in there, you man. Know what's, <laughs> what's funny is that the... Oh, man. Yeah, he's hit me with... Oh, oh God. I wish we could see what's happening right now, guys. It's it's just, it's just chaos over here. I'm coming. Hang on. I'm, just, I'm healing, and so is he. But uh, we can heal. I don't know. We can do it. This is possible. This is possible. It's totally possible. Keep his health down. I'm going to get my stuff. Oh, great to works. Get the what the. Oh no. The knife is almost busted. What does it take more durability to wail on a six star boss or something? Or did I just hit him that many times? I swear I just fixed this thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're here. We don't have the best stamina, but we're here. We're here, Rumble. Me. Oh, he doesn't like, like the axe. Stamina. Roll hiccup! Oh! Nice. Good roll. I only have so much, so little stamina. We have. Um, I, I ran out of the good food we prepped. <laughs> I kept dying with it. Okay, there's the stamina, guys. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in with the axe. He does not like the axe. Yeah, that doesn't Yeah, much. yeah. Oh! 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 He's so big. He is so big. Look at him, though. Half health, though. We've so got this. Backstab him. Backstab him. Oh, the backstab did okay. Tasty yeah. meat. Tasty meat. Delicious. Delectable tasty meat. Oh. You know what I really need to see in this game? Oh! Oh, that was Nuka good. Nuka <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is <too> <laughs> oh, It's going to be the teaser. Just a bunch of us laughing. And visuals of this. The feet. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Nice dodge. Ah! Uh, yeah, it's played really well today, guys. Like, oh, I'm so glad too because we need we need good internet for this. This is nonsense. He's not attacking me. Hey, I, I wonder. I think we're confusing him. I'm on this other side. I, I think we're just I think we're kiting him really effectively. Oh, here come the roots. It's not like to think we're kiting him really effectively. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna believe we're doing that. Oh yeah, backstab, backstab again. Come on, backstab. Back. There it is. Yeah, that's a decent chunk. Oh, we've got a shaman out here. I do not want to be poisoned right now. Not what we need. He is so big. Come on, stamina. We've got this, guys. Oh, chop this tree. What was my last fight? Lumberjack tactics. That's right. That's what we brought oh, here. Uh, finish him. Uh. 
Yes! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? I'm sweating. I'm like definitely drenched over here. <laughs> and, uh, his drops are over there. Holy crap! Oh, look at the gear. Well, yeah, six. Okay. Well, I have two. I have a purple axe and a purple knife. So you, you go ahead. You grab these. I guess I'll, oh, I'll grab them and show them to everybody, and we'll toss them to you. Wait, guys, yeah. before we do this, let's clear out. Look at all of the summon things. Let's clear these out real quick. Also, all these fires. I'm just loving it. The atmosphere is awesome. <laughs> we just keep these up for the next few fights. We could definitely do two more. I, like, the last fight that we did... I was mildly frustrated because I was like, this is, I'm usually way more prepared than this. And this time I, I went in being like, oh yeah, we got this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh man. Not even mad. That was awesome. That was awesome. Was... All right. Let's see what he dropped. We'll repair our gear. We'll come back and we'll fight him again. Let me see what we have here, guys. Where, where's Timely? Let's meet up with Timely. Did this really work? Like I didn't, I don't know that I saw it really affecting him too much, which is really a shame. <laughs> The one positive, I think, is that if without these fires, we would have been swarmed by Grey Dwarves. That's true. They, yeah. yeah, I'm down to leave them up. We need to go back, get the rest of the bonus, and fix our gear, guys. Look at my stuff. I don't know. The knife is about gone. Anyway, let's look at the gear we got from that drop, because that was that was pretty sweet. Let me let me open up the inventory here and see what we got. So we have a giant cask. It's an epic troll leather helmet. Blunt damage reduction cool. plus fourteen percent. I'm gonna give this to you because you're playing the melee game more than we are, really. The health regen plus three point five per tick, and then health plus twenty. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if you want it. Maybe the armor from your your copper helm is better for you, but that's pretty awesome. Oh wow, I know you like you're you're a harpoon wielder, and this is the nilpime bar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Attack I'll speed plus 28% when your health is critical, pierce damage plus 13%, and it's weightless! Ooh, always good in this game. Ooh, I might keep this for the bow, uh, unless you really want it, because I know... Well, stamina, everybody needs stamina, but uh, we've got some awesome bronze leggings of recovery. Stamina regeneration plus 14%, that's pretty sweet. I think you, I mean... I don't know. You're it, like I don't know. You're able to dodge around more, and your abilities uh, have lower cooldowns, so you need you need stamina more. It seems. Yeah. All right. I'll do that. Well, that was awesome. Oh my gosh! I can't believe we actually pulled that off. That was uh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, he, he some yeah something had him confused because he was like. <laughs> I'm happy. I don't know if it was the fires or if it was us. Uh, be like split like splitting his attention but yeah it, it paid off it worked yeah holy crap all right guys we need to go brew some more food <laughs> and fix our stuff we'll be right back with another another elder fight because they've all gone so well so far <laughs> <laughs> all right back here back at the back at look at all those fires <laughs> every time i come out here i know i've already seen them a few times but every time i come out here i'm just like wow Look at Timely down there. Heck yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we've got, you know, this is the last bit of food we were able to make for at least black soup um, and sausages. I think we've got plenty for carrot soup still. And I've got a little bit of minced meat and deer stew on me. There's more of that at my, my house if you need that, Timely. <laughs> um, all of our stuff is fixed. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully without so much of a giant surprise. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's... Uh... What what will what will these ancient seeds get us next? I don't know. Roll them, roll them, and find out. We're up at our sniper perch. We're ready to go. All right. It's coming in Here at the comes. right. Here we go, guys. What's it gonna be this oh, time? I'm nervous. Me too. It's okay. Three twin. Oh, okay. Well, it's just three star. <laughs> it's a three star. Where's his twin though? Oh, they're standing up together. I see them. Um. Are they stuck on each other? Go ahead, throw your vines. Yeah, yeah, target me. Aren't I annoying? <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's real. <laughs> oh, man, he's real. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, hey, that's all right. Get them. If they're not looking at you, that's the, that's the plan. Oh, my gosh, my entire structure is crumbling. Guys, we can't stay out here anymore. It's all falling to pieces. <laughs> Nice. Ah, we defeated him. Got him. Is it though? Did they destroy this? Is there no support for it anymore? 
There isn't. They took out all the trees underneath my little tree fort. That's funny. I think the ladder's holding it up, actually. Oh, man. Oh, that was awesome. All right. Yeah, I need to join you next time. I don't know. The, the archery thing. Oh, look at you. Are you hurt? Do you need a healing potion? I have a couple extra. I got it. Yeah, I'm on healing. Right. Um, so tip for any berserkers out there, um, whenever he, if you feel like you can't take a hit from him, you, well, so you can use berserk, which increases your movement speed, uh, but you get in there, you get a couple hits in, and then he starts to stomp. You just dash through him, you deal damage, and you're out of the way of the stomp. Oh, clever. So that was... No, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, it's a super nice class. I like these classes. All right, guys, what kind of goodies did we get? What kind of goodies did we get? Ooh, I like this Azir Spike. Epic Bronze Spear. Oh, it's got recalling on it with slash damage and attack usage. Uh, like a negative attack use, stamina usage. That's got pretty- recalling on it? It does have recalling. Does that mean you can throw it? Okay, so you can throw spears uh, Normally. baseline, right? Oh, like, like that's right. <gasps> but you can just chuck that spear and it re- Try it. <gasps> what? That's oh, awesome. I am so pleased right now. That, just, yeah. Oh my gosh. I need to go swap back to the Valkyrie Club. <laughs> it just, oh, I am so entertained right now. Oops. Okay. I'm going to keep this one. Sorry, man. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's all you do. That's, that's amazing. Oh, all right. What do we have here? Hey, this is the same pants I had. Uh, Embla's apparatus. Uh, it's a it's a cultivator. Stamina regen plus 11. Uh, attack speed, which is whatever. Weight minus 90%. This thing is indestructible. Let's go ahead and add that to the... Guys, Timely's the house and, and, and homekeeper in this world. This is his world. I just visit and we hang out and do all this awesome stuff. So we're going to give that amazing tool to him. Indestructible is nice for any, any, uh, oh, yeah, for any tool. Right, for any tool. Um, and then we have an awesome... Oh, parry plus 20%, health plus 25, durability plus 80%. This is a bronze shield I'm just going to swipe and keep if you don't mind. That's oh, cool. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I really like that bronze spear, though. Does it do more than the bow, actually? Because I might just start throwing it rather than arch. It might. I'm going to have to test. Guys, let's test this out. Find me a great dwarf. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's successfully test this. hi -ya! Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, guys, look at that. <laughs> On a two-star. Oh, man, this is my new favorite weapon. This is my new favorite weapon. Ah, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. It's that, so exciting, I'm so excited. That, that'll yeah. last you for a while, for sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this game. Look at this, look at this spear. Oh, it's all beautiful. Look at this. Ah, all right, let's get back to the bosses. <laughs> look at all the death around the boss area. Shoot. Insane. Okay, well, other than all these silly... Well, I'll keep some of these trophies for breaking, but let me <laughs> let's dump some of this useless crap out of the inventory and summon another boss in, guys. We're good to go still. Um, or at least I am. Yeah, let me get a, let me get a rested bonus real quick. How, uh, oh, yeah, that's, there's that. H how, how is that still standing over there? Guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everybody. I don't know when I got it, but check this thing out. Got this pocketed troll hide cape of recovery. I was literally just going over to the witch's hut over there, you know, dropping off things. Like, all right, we'll scrap this and scavenge that, and it's all going to be good. And I saw this, and I was like, where did this come from? But that's amazing. I love that. That's that's a great cape. That's a great cape. Ah, I love the that's atmosphere. Sorry, what? It's a caper. <laughs> it's a caper. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, yeah, we're gonna fight down here uh, this time. Got the spear. Gonna be chucking the spear all over the place. I love it. I love it. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Wait, can I have a shield and a? Sp <gasps> you can. Oh, 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 dancing. Did it just dancing. increase your health? Or did oh, you just eat oh, food? Oh, 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 no! I just ate food, but the shield, guys, the shield does give me plus twenty-five health. Oh, I saw your health drop, and I was like, that was the shield. Now I'm really dancing, yeah. All right, anyway. <laughs> um. So I like I like this, uh, you do the challenge emote, and it looks like he's putting something into the fire. 
Um, <laughs> here, I'll do, I'll do it real quick to show you. We're going to do it together. Yeah. Well, actually, I'll uh, take off my thing here. And... There you go. Um, yeah, say, say when. Let's do it. One last, one last elder fight for the day. Oh, oh man, the ground is shaking so hard right now. Here oh, he is. here he comes, yep. What do we got? Four star, the twin. Oh, yeah, another, another twin. twin, all right. Which one's the real one? This one! Stab him to death! Oh goodness, have a spear. <laughs> oh, get me out of there. Oh, this is awesome. The spear. the spear is the new best thing ever. I feel like Odin himself throwing, uh, oh, th throwing Gunnir. Oh, it's, oh I see, it's <gasps> funny. I see your no! spear hit him. Oh! Oh, no. I got smashed. Just... Oh. Okay, I'm back. Where is the stuff? Gotta get the bag of stuff. Oh, look at you fighting him all by yourself. Whooping him, too. That's awesome. Uh, where's my bag? My bag of tricks. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, okay, we're getting away though. We're getting away. It's okay. Everything's all right. Oh my gosh. Brutes and great orbs. And... Oh, oh no. I got trapped. His health regens a little, but not as much as the mending. Right. No, that was that was ridiculous. The mending, six star, the mending. Never again. I'm gonna have nightmares. Oh yeah, we just playing the long range game with the shield out here. There you got him. We're working on it. Just the spear toss. Oh! Infinite ammo. <gasps> uh, so that happens. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh, he's over there. All right. What? Uh-oh. I wasn't, guys, how are we going to get there? I don't even know how to get to my body right now. Oh, get him, Tyler. <laughs> oh, he's oh, oh. Oh, oh, get him. You can get him. Ooh. Okay, I can at least tank his. Oh, oh, I died from what? A stray vine? Finish him, finish him. Oh, yes. He's going down. All right. <laughs> I did not help out too much that fight. He dropped two legendaries? Hang yeah. on, we're coming right back out. No, 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 I just got my stuff. <laughs> Go away. We're trying Going to get to... trying to get dressed here. Okay. Phew. Is that yeah, is that all over with? Oh my gosh, two legendary items. Let's see what we got, guys. Bop, bop, bop. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, this is another one for the homemaker. We have a legendary cultivator. <laughs> Look at that thing. What is... It's actually... It's not that impressive compared to that purple. But uh, we can still... We can scrap it. But... I don't even know what to say about this cape right now. Oh. Uh... Legendary troll hide cape. Blunt damage reduction, 18%. Elemental, elemental damage reduction, 9%. Stamina, plus 35. Ooh. Indestructible. Poison damage reduction, plus 17. Weightless. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> the, the swamps, like, that right there is... Yeah. This was made for the swamp. Oh, my gosh. I'm still perfectly happy with my carry weight and stamina regen if you want this one. Yeah. That that is awesome though. It's part of a set too, and I guess the set gives extra bonuses. Oh man, you got bones, the boneless wrap. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so if yeah, um, so you know anyone you know, anyone who's who's a Diablo fan, a WoW fan, any kind of like the the the, the Diablo esque MMO or uh, like RPG player knows the uh, you know set bonuses are always fun. Um, starts out small. I get. If I get the other pieces of this, which are like Serpent's Bane, Ragnar's White Shirt, Ragnar's Iron Sides, uh, find those. Two 
if I work for two of those, my health regen is just plus two per two per tick. It's pretty good. If I get uh, oh, it seems like no, you get you get, I also get a uh, you you also get a hundred percent health regen. So that plus two turns into plus four plus whatever your base is. Three is you get an another activated uh, berserker skill. Um, for 10 seconds, you cannot regenerate health, but you gain between 50% to 200% damage wow. based on your missing health. That's awesome, actually. It has a cooldown of 3 minutes. That's rad. Your, if you get four set, four, all four, your melee attacks, any melee, melee attack that, that deals frost damage, deal an additional 50% weapon damage uh, as frost in a cone in front of the attacker. Wow. That's some so, wild that's some wild stuff right there. That's crazy. <laughs> On top of all the other stuff, you know, stamina and destruction. Right, yeah, poison, no, that's uh, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my gosh. Cool. And if the later bosses are gonna drop higher tier stuff, higher tier than what we're getting right now, like or or not higher tier, but uh they're gonna drop that higher tier stuff more commonly, right? It's a higher chance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And if you enchant, like if we have if we have legendary enchantments, uh, like the reagents, um, we you have a chance to craft or enchant a uh, set piece. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can just make your own set piece and just have a chance. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, because you know how rare are all these pieces? It's nice to have just that random extra chance to get it up oh, and here comes the rain to put out all of our fires <laughs> i was enjoying the atmosphere all right guys i guess i'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the episode of today holy crap that was crazy all of those elder bosses and especially that first one right off the bat i didn't know if we were gonna be able to take that one <laughs> yeah if not for the, the the power of just base building and fires which feels like a tribute to the the creativity you can use in a game like Valheim. Right, yeah, use everything at your disposal because that that challenge was pretty pretty close to insurmountable. That was nuts. Oh my gosh. And oh my gosh, all of this awesome armor and all this new gear we just got. This is great. These are so fun. All of this is so much fun to mess with. I love this spear. This is going to be my new jam for a long time. I think this is thing, this thing's going to stick with me for a while. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Modheim. we got a lot more stuff coming your way. Hopefully things are going to chill out a little bit after this, and we won't be so stressed all the time. But, you know, maybe we'll come back and farm an elder at the end of a video occasionally just to see what new stuff we can get because no, <laughs> Timely says, no, I don't, I don't want any of that anymore. We're done here. <laughs> no, we, we will be back. We will come back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next episode.